Yo, what's good? Yo. Yeah, I started two minutes early. I don't know why. I just did. Oh, shit. Let me go get my ice for my cup. Like that. Hey. Smash that like button while y'all waiting. Here we go. Let's get it. Smash the like button as y'all get in. What's going on? You know how we do. Straight to the music. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We about to get millions. We about to get millions. Topic of discussion. Ain't about money, ain't about nothing. Let's talk mills, that's motivation. I keep it real, these niggas really hate. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We about to get millions. We about to get millions. You see how we living. They mad that we winning. Get up and go get it. You stuck in your feelings. We grind and we flip it. Keep minding your business. Six shots at your fit. Fuck you and your feelings. Why you mad? Go and tell them why you mad for. You mad? Doing bad because you doing all that back to First class, a lot of stamps in the passport. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Got his girl off the alcohol and Adderall. Yeah. Face down, ass up like a matador. Long strokes in the throat, she a mad dog. Keep calling me the goat like a Capricorn. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We about to get millions. We about to get millions. Who gives a fuck how you feel, nigga? Eat your thoughts, spit it out. I'm a real nigga. Free Henry with the Tommy, he was hell figure. Big homie, get the word, I'ma deal with you. Niggas trapped in their mind, who gon' let them free? Sound wildin' on the set, I'm like, let it be. As long as whatever he do ain't next to me. Let niggas be in tune with they feelings, ecstasy. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We bout to get millions. We bout to get millions. Gave a crumb, one more, what you expect? When we pop, you come and roll like it's rough sex. Bet that go over your head like a hoodie. Try to teach niggas how to be official, but they play a hooky. They get knocked, but they tell, about to see my bookie. I see you pussies in your feelings, yeah, y'all getting mushy. Yeah, I felt that finger, only let two slide, and he's still in danger. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We bout to get millions. We about to get there, Run up the score, tell her never lend a hand. Now we in the field, marching with our own band. Money clean, clean, thick and fan. Can't wipe the trip off, shit stain. Watch alert, the time is out. Only had it for a minute, they know it's out. Spent money before I spent time. The way the band make it better, we gon' shine. You stuck in your feelings. Get the fuck out your feelings. We about to get millions. We about to get millions. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you have just entered Hocus Four Fifths Rabbit Hole. 64 grand, dollar dollar bill. They call me Hocus Four Fifths, and I'm from Castle Hill. Get ready to throw in your critical thinking caps and take a deep dive where belief systems are shattered and your reality is changed forever. We cover everything from government corruptions, pandemics, world news, flat earthers versus globe heads, artificial intelligence, UFOs, aliens, and other strange phenomena. The only spot where you can be educated. I never shine by myself. I put my niggas on. And entertained at the same damn time. The number one place for alternative news and media. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hocus Forfeits Rabbit Hole. God DJ self, right? And when I'm not up here ripping now the ones and twos on Power 1051 every day, you know what I'm doing? I'm riding home. 
down the rabbit hole with my man Hocus Four Fifth. I'm always watching and listening to that down the rabbit hole information. Hocus Four Fifth in the body hole. Hocus Four Fifth in the body hole. Stop tapping, bro. Oh shit! Oh shit! Just another day, just another day, just another day around the way. Feeling good today. Feeling special. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, yeah, was, y'all gotta slow down. For real though. Y'all know I appreciate it. But fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yo, these motherfuckers, I know they need to see it, but shout the Houston Riders on his first super chat. Then Yoli on a second super chat. Then Houston back. On a never Houston chat on twenty dollars a piece. Check this out. This is what we're gonna do, right? This is what we're gonna do from now on, y'all. And I'm gonna be repeating this throughout the night. If y'all motherfuckers, let me not curse because y'all might feel offensive, but y'all know how I am. No, let me be me. No, honestly, it costs to keep the lights on in this rabbit hole. The rabbit hole lights need to stay on. So it costs, since it costs me, I need at least thirty dollars an hour for my time, all right? So we need that in Super Chats. No, for real. It'd be about 150 of you guys in here at a time. If I'm not worth 50 cents a minute, I don't even understand why I'm doing this. If I'm not worth 50 cents a minute, we live in here every night. It shouldn't be Yoli and Houston supporting the way they do all the time and the same people over and over. Shout out to Houston again on a dub, the big dub. Shout out to Yoli, you know, the big dub. Shout out to Houston on a big dub. But look, just because they support, don't look at it like, oh, they already supported for that hour. No, 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 no. I'm talking about within the hour. So hour two, you hour two, we're going to holler at y'all for them super chats, all right? We need at least $30 an hour up in here, man. And there'll be too many people in here. And if y'all don't appreciate it and don't respect it, okay, I'll just cut it off. I don't, no, no hard feelings. But, it, you know, these lights, it, it, it costs to keep these lights on in the rabbit hole. But that's how we move from now on, man. We need, you know, like, we need the support. It is what it is. And I'm not going to stop asking for the, the support because every other creator do it. And they get their support from their people. So I don't know what's what is so hard for the rabbit hole to budge, to support. I don't care if it's 99 cents, $2. You niggas got a dollar a day. You niggas got you niggas got a dollar a day to give me, man. Be a lot of y'all motherfuckers in here. All right? So y'all gonna give me my dollar a day. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna give me my shit. I'm telling y'all. Yo, for real. We, we, I, we need that financial support. We don't only need pull up and support. We need both. Let's go, y'all. I want to see y'all match my energy. I, I really do tonight. I want to see y'all match my energy. So somebody match my 20. Let's go. It's Friday. I know a lot of y'all got paid. Stop playing. Stop playing. But I really want to see. Okay. There we go, Cat Baby. I love you. Thank you. But I really want to see who matches my energy. Come on, y'all. Y'all say y'all fuck with Hocus the Rabbit Hole. Let's see it. We we really got to come in with that energy of support. Drops of bags on Hocus. He deserves it. So let's go, family. Shout out to Cat on the big super oh, chat. Shit. Oh, shit. Is what we doing, all right? So we gotta keep these lights on, man. Um, that's the most important thing to me. Keeping these lights on so I can bring you guys the content that you need every night and more. So one way or another, it's gonna happen. And you guys are gonna help. I told y'all this. You guys are gonna help, but you ain't got no choice. Because now nah, Houston gotta relax. Not another one. Houston that's Houston third. Hold on. Oh, oh, Hold on. Shit. oh shit. I'm playing, y'all. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Houston, don't send no more. See, I I, I don't want to do that, man. I don't. See, my brother shouldn't be the only one. Not the only one. Pardon me, y'all. I don't mean the only one. Y'all know that. But he shouldn't be. Like, when I say only one, I mean, like, it's a lot of y'all in here. That 60 that he sent could have been split between the 50 people in here as, as a dollar a piece. Come on, y'all. For real. No, no, this is real shit. Y'all don't understand that people have people have lives and and and, and the lights the lights really got to stay on. And it's on you guys to support this movement to keep it going because 
I am shadow banned on all platforms. So maybe some of y'all don't understand what that means. Y'all probably think that, oh, that mean that, you know, they not pushing his content. No, that means that I'm not able to make money from shadow banned because of the fucking content I give you niggas every day. I was making racks off the internet. They start, they, they got me. So the, the community is going to have to uphold it. That's it. So you motherfuckers going to give me $30 an hour. You going to give me 50 cent a minute. You niggas is going to give me 50 cent a minute. I don't even care. Like, I'm going to make sure y'all give me 50 cent a minute. Shout out to Charles Sparks on the Super Chat. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Charles. We see you. That's 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 what the rabbit hole is gonna be looking like from here on out, man. The support, man. We gonna no for real. Because maybe, maybe some days some of y'all can't do it, but somebody can do it every day. Ah shit, this nigga Houston again, man. That's already 80, man. What's up with oh, you? Damn, saying? Houston. You got that's some okay. We still big flex. Big flex on him, man. Ah, man. My bro shouldn't have to do that. He shouldn't have to. I know he wants to do it because he, he understands support. And he do out the kindness of his heart. But that should be between the 62 people in here. That should be a dollar fifty a piece. And you could put that in the super chat, dollar fifty. I don't understand some of you that don't understand support. Especially where it's needed. Especially on a platform like this. This is not your average platform, man. This is not, man. They, they shadow banned me. They shadow banned in my pockets. They shadow banned in my pockets. So if y'all want me to continue to do this, the lights got to stay on. See what I'm talking about? T-Real TV. All Super Chats get shouted out. Thank you. Thank you, T-Real. T-Real, you know I'm on my MAGA shit now, too. Make America great again. I'm on it. I'm on tri Trump. Trump. <laughs> Everything is appreciated. Everything is appreciated. You know, everything is appreciated. So we already started the night over a hundred dollars. Thanks to Houston. Thanks to Yoli. Thanks to T Rail. Ah oh, shit. See y'all. See Yoli. Y'all got a chair. Y'all keep going. Nah, we ain't doing. Uh -huh. Nah, we ain't chilling. We just getting started. We just getting started. I don't want you in Houston going crazy because I, I need them to understand that they need to do that. They just need to be a collective effort. Just let us love on you. Damn. But we just setting the tone. That's what me and Houston doing. We setting the tone. You know what I'm saying? Listen, one thing I learned about money, and someone taught me this years ago because I was really hard with accepting money, but they were like, the when you put out with good intent, it's going to come back to you tenfold. So this 40 I put tomorrow, I'm going to get $100. Like, I just know it. it's going to come back to me. So just know, just think of money like that. It's literally an energy flow, especially when you have good intent. You're su supporting somebody. It is going to come back tenfold. Okay? So. Have a bomb for that. Definitely drop a bomb for that. I think we got another one. Shout the clouds. Shout the clouds. That's 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 e that's uh that's Europe money, right? That's e that's Europe money right there, right? Shout the clouds. Good looking. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yesterday, I'm not going front, man. I felt. Uh oh, hold on. Let me go back to the con. Oh, shout to my nigga Brown and what? Shout out to my oh, on, stop. Oh, we ain't even 15 minutes in yet. These are people that understand support that's needed. Not like a scamming support. This shit is needed to keep the lights on in the rabbit hole. Every night. Y'all want to see this live every night. Y'all gonna give me $30 an hour. And I'm gonna fucking tell y'all y'all gonna give it to me. Or I'm gonna cut the live off. My time is worth 50 cent a minute. If I can't get 50 cents a minute out of you niggas, fuck am I doing here? 
Let's go. Shout the brown. Shout the cat with another one. See, look, I ain't want to make it about the shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, we can't get no content yet. It's only 15 oh, minutes. Oh, oh, shit. Y'all go crazy. Y'all go crazy. Y'all go crazy. Let's go. We in a bunny hole. In a bunny hole. How can fuck pet in a bunny hole? In a motherfucking bunny hole, man. If you're wondering what's going on, you know, I, um, I'm telling everybody what's going on from now on. Like, yo, we're going to need some support in them super chats for the live to stay on. And, um, at least 30 an hour. And it ain't even 15 minutes. It's already about a hundred, hundred and fucking 60, 50, $70 or something. We ain't even 15 minutes in. Charles Sparks with another one. Chill. It can gunshots. Stop playing. Niggas is going, niggas is going crazy. Because yesterday looked at crazy. Montrese, we was in here two and a half hours. I got $5 super chat. Montrese is the only one. I'm like, I'm not sitting here for two hours for. Niggas can't even send donations in. Everybody doing on every other platform everywhere. I'm not letting, I'm not going to allow nobody to, to run over me. No, not my community. Let's go. And shout to those who get it. Shout to those who understand, even though I'm talking like this, I'm speaking with passion and not trying to play y'all and not with aggression. I'm not trying to make nobody do nothing. I'm just talking. This is how I talk regular. So when I talk to y'all, I got to tone my voice down. Please, guys, can you please, you know, um, support the Super Chat? You know, we really need to keep the lights on. Um, We need some help. Get the fuck out. Y'all ain't respecting that from Hocus 4 Fifth. Y'all not respecting that. Y'all know y'all not. Y'all don't want to hear that from me. Y'all want to hear, let's fucking go. Support. We need that. Keep the fucking lights on. Because it is the only way that we're going to continue to do these lives. And free up some time so that I am able to do more of raw content for you guys. So we can come to the table. So I can quit my fucking day to day. Because that shit ain't even helping out. That shit is barely helping me make it. That's not what I want to do with my life. I want to do this. I could have been a fucking kingpin. I keep telling y'all. I could have been a drug kingpin. I said no. 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 Yo, I've been offered things like here. This is soap, FBI. If the F, this is Mama Dolly soap, just in case the FBI they watching, and they want to act crazy. <laughs> but I've been offered things like here, but bigger than this, like this big and this like squares, like here. And I'm like this. I'm good, man. Here, take ten of them. Nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Shout out to T Rail on another super chat. Let's fucking go. That's a fact, bro. Let's fucking go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Go check out my documentary. Come on, man. Support a nigga who changed his life and that's riding for the people. I appreciate I appreciate the way y'all came in here tonight. Because, you know, I'm one thing I I, I don't do is never I, like, you know, I got personal issues too. And it's not all financial. It's personal. And I, I and I wear that shit like. You know what I mean? And I don't ever come to the rabbit hole with it. I still show up every night. And y'all still get the same energy from me every night. But I can tell y'all, I can tell in the last three or four days, it hasn't been the same energy. I know y'all know. Y'all know, Hocus. Y'all been with me for years. No, it hasn't been the same energy because I, I need to, I need a certain type of support from my people. And when the people don't respond, it's like, damn. They think I'm lying or something? Or they, they think I'm Omar or something? They think I'm... <laughs> Shout the diamond. Thank you, man. Thank you. I love, I, I, you know, y'all Y'all really, um, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm feeling overwhelmed oh, shit. right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm feeling overwhelmed. They're going to make me cry. No, y'all ain't going to make me cry, but I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the love tonight. I'm feeling like, you know, maybe they, maybe they can hear me now. Because usually when I speak for myself, y'all can't hear me. But maybe y'all can hear, maybe they can hear me. If I keep saying it, if I keep telling them, maybe they'll believe me. Fuck. Let's go, man. Let's get into some content. Yo, look. <laughs> y'all really the OD in like, if it's $30 an hour, y'all OD for the night. But I'm not letting them off the hook. Like, I don't care if it's 99 cent. Every top of the hour, y'all gonna send something. Even tonight, even though... They OD Yolian and they really showed a lot of love. 
I'm still gonna make these other people not make it. I can't make nobody do nothing, but y'all know what I mean. I'm gonna let other people know they need to show love too. Just look a look at this, man. Look at oh my god, look Jamaica. Shout out to Jamaica, man. You know, I don't yo look, let me tell y'all something, right? You deserve a gun shot. What I don't want, I want it to, of course, everybody in here is a part of the community, but I want it to be a community effort. I don't want Jamesha, Yoli, Houston, Brown, you know, uh, 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 um, hold on, hold on. Who else? Um, who else? Could real, Charles. Where is Hocus? So what he was going to say is that he wants different people, not the same people supporting and stuff like that. Oh, you bet. <laughs> I pick myself out by accident. I don't. Oh, look at my nigga Coco. My nigga Coco. Chill. Y'all yo, go. Coco. Oh, shit. Crazy now. <laughs> Damn. Y'all go crazy tonight. Oh, that's deserved. Like, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You deserve it. I need to go hit that. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? It's like, what is that? What like, is that? That's a lot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. oh this shit. That deserves a piece oh, of shit. shit. Oh, Run it back. Run it oh, back. Oh, what the fuck I'm talking about? Support. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is what support looked like. But at the same time, I don't want it to be the same people. I don't want it cat, Charles, T. Real. I want everybody in here to understand what support looked like. I don't only want Yola, Jamesha, Houston, and Coco. And Diamond, everybody. I don't need a lot from nobody, but I need a little for er Stick a Houston again. <laughs> Houston. Big Houston and Big yeah, Coco. Nigga, nigga, Let's Houston. go. Yeah, that nigga oh, Houston. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, that nigga oh, Houston. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We already like 250 in tonight, something like that. Probably <laughs> more. We more than that. Because between Coco and Houston is 200 and you and you 40. Right. That's 240. Then Brown 10 is 250. First eight by we almost had 300 and it ain't even 30 minutes yet. We almost had 300. It ain't even 30 minutes yet. And now I, I wasn't even asking for this. All I was asking for a little from everybody. $30 an hour. And we had 300. <laughs> we added another zero. <laughs> we said we're gonna make it 300 in an hour. Word. Probably more. <laughs> Who the Justin nigga? What he told crazy? Now I can stop panhandling. Bye. You banned for you banned and you out of here. That's what we doing to people like you. You a hater. Go run tell Clubhouse that. We 300 up. They go T Real with another one. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't even getting to the content oh, yet. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, they ain't even letting me. They like, yo, fuck oh, that. Shit. Thank you. They showing me we support you, Hope. Okay, I appreciate it. Cause it's needed. I wouldn't keep asking if it wasn't needed. It's not that I want to feed off y'all. I don't. I don't want. I don't want Yoli Brown and motherfucking Houston and Jamaica. I don't want to live off of them. But I wouldn't mind living off the community and giving back to the community. I wouldn't mind that. If everybody is a community team effort, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. But now nah, I don't want the same people. I, I, I really don't. I really, I really don't want the same people looking out all the time. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Because they because everybody got their own lives, own issues, own problems, own thing going on. But we have the potential as a community, and I'm going to always keep saying this, to take this shit to a fucking crazy new heights, man. And when I'm feeling good, and when I'm, when, you know, every, good things happen, man. But if I, if I'm like, if I got to figure it out, I can't, I can't attend to this. I can't even attend to my content. Then it's like, all right, I'm not living in my purpose, so I'm already not feeling good because I'm not doing what I want to do. I want to come live every night. I want to create content, and put it out, right? And then I got to go figure life out. And then I don't know what that what that's looking like. I got to go figure it out. So I got to take away from this. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Got to put that Coke over joint back up because that was super big flex right there in one shot. Shout out to, oh, shout out to Big Nubasol. See, Nubasol too. She always supporting too. I don't want the same people, man. Shout out to Nubi. Oh, Thank shit. you, love. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nubasol always supporting. Always. Oh. Since fucking, yo, y'all don't even know, man. Since fucking Clubhouse, Nubasol always 
Cash App, Cash App, never even come and talk. Like always, just my I just wake up and it'd be mad cash apps from Nubasol. <laughs> like, yo, Nubasol, I think Nubasol is rich. I'm telling you. Like, I think Nubasol is rich because she has a lot of money. She just be cash apping me like like randomly. Like I'm talking about for years. Like literally, like just I'm like, damn, this girl must got a lot of money. <laughs> well, or maybe she really appreciates me. Let me say that. Maybe she really appreciates me. And I appreciate you. And I really do, man. I really do. So I'm going to ask y'all to even chill. And I know this is how it might sound stupid. But why would you tell niggas to stop sending you super chats? Let's get to some content. I, you know, like, hey, I'm overwhelmed right now. Y'all y'all did, y'all, y'all looked out, did a lot tonight. And um, I'm glad that when people go back and watch this live and for the people that say they're able to see this, this is what's needed. For a community like this, I'm not I'm not DJ Academics. I'm not running with the narrative. I'm not sucking dick. I'm not dick riding. So they're not going to push me to the algorithm to get to where I need to be to make the money on my own. You guys are going to do that for me. I'm not these other. I'm not Adam 22. I'm not DJ Vlad. I'm not pushing that type of shit. Y'all know. Yo, I got a video for y'all tonight. Matter of fact, hopefully I think I saved it. It's a woman from the ADL. One of y'all sent it to me because y'all know y'all be sending me shit. And um, she's basically talking about she she's talking about um how they censor people, how they have an artificial intelligence program that's already into all the platforms. So when you talk about certain things, and I was telling you this, Brown, and I'm and, and she confirmed it. When you talk about certain things, it automatically flag you and, and it stop your reach. So she said she said this out her mouth. You're gonna see her said she said yeah because it's um Project Veritas uh, is um got the camera. You know how they do? They went undercover. She's and she's from the ADL, so you know that that's the anti defamation league. Y'all know that's the little hats. Anyway, she was like, "Yeah, so it's kind of like you know we give people freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach." So we she basically she's telling you that they 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 fucking shadow ban niggas. And if I don't got my reach, I don't got my money. But you can still you gotta you gotta bust through the algorithm, bro. I'm telling you, like it's like certain things you do post, it be good, it be good topics. But then it's just like you know you gotta stick to a quick and trendy and like you know what's popping on Twitter type shit. But like that Donald Trump post type shit, I don't think that was like you know. Uh, um, no, uh, the second uh, one, bro. The second uh -huh. one with the with the elderly man. I I wasn't talking about the, the the one that um the first one I posted that was getting numbers. Not that. It's when I posted the one with that when they killed the elderly man, the FBI. I'm telling you, oh, that's, yeah. that's when my shit starts. I, I, I kind of think it was the Epstein one. Which one's the Epstein one? I believe it was the, the one with the, the 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 one you got the most on. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think they I think they shadow banned you after that. Like talking about Epstein, like oh, like, probably. Like, <laughs> you want to know why? Cause 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 ain't no way in hell, ain't no way in hell that you get three hundred seventy three thousand views and then you go to, and then the next one they they um they suppress it. No. No, no. Way. Yo, pause. Pa <laughs> Shout out to Sherry real quick. Sorry, Brown. She did her big one. Sorry, Brown. I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. My bad, Brown. I had to point that out. Shout out to you, Sherry. Oh, she shit. always stays supporting. I love me some her. I'm Ooh. sorry, Brown. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Shout out to Sherry. She did her thing. Woo. Oh, man. Nah, that, that's real love right there, though. But, um, what I was saying was that, like, I, I think it was like, you know, uh, be, be careful with that pedophilia shit too. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like it, you don't, you're not shadow banned because you got a, uh, it's like a steady algorithm of like a set number of like, you know, views on the, um, on your shorts. You just got to keep posting, keep posting. Like, and then like, if one don't do good, keep the one with only a thousand, so that is it's feeding off that algorithm. You feel what I'm saying? I'll take the rest of them down, right? Yeah, but some of them just take them down. You can repost them later. Or like if they still like relevant uh, throughout time and is age well type shit, but like you know as far as Instagram, your Instagram be going crazy. It's, but yo, you know, so I'm still shadow banning. Is it my my numbers I'm getting right now, Brown? Is shadow ban numbers? You wouldn't even believe that because they're pushing it to my followers, but not to other people. You wouldn't even believe. I can show you my motherfucking analytics, bro. So, so that goes to show you my followers really respond on on Instagram, bro. No, they 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 shadow they shadow ban you though, but you go bust through that algorithm though. Like yeah. it was like you could tell because like from what you was getting like previously, and then it's like you know 
but then it, you can see that when you bust throughout the algorithm, like on like certain pictures, like you get like 40,000 views and then it go like 500, but then you'll bust again with 10,000, like, you know what I mean? So it's just like, you got to keep posting and keep it, uh, keep it going. Like, you know, don't let, oh, if they suppress this one, it discourage, just keep it going. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, you already like, you know, um, have the capability of like, you know, getting hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah, it's a fact. No, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely keep going. Just, um. I'm gonna slow down on the pedophilia content, vaccine content, and uh, shit like that. You know, can't it, you, so let me tell y'all something. Just always send me the celebrity stuff. Let me. I, I forgot to do the sexy red one. You did send that sick because celebrity gossip it busts through the algorithm. It, it right. always, you know what I mean? So send me anything celebrity. Hey, with that decapitation, I forgot, bro. You should have did the. You should have told the the most the most chilling part about that uh, decapitation shit though. Bro, what I have posted, what I have posted in the chat, how they they de- they tried to put the baby's head back on and then like uh, wrap the baby. I didn't up. even know that till today. You said that shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, part. They, that shit, that shit, greedy. And then it's weird. Like you gotta, uh, we can watch it later, whether here or, or uh, on on uh, Discord, nigga. On the news, they said that the person who did it didn't even work there. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, she didn't work there. That's a fact. <laughs> like, like what, wait, hold on. What does that mean, though? So they have, I guess, uh, one of the ladies could probably tell you they have certain uh doctors that they contract That's contracted, with. yeah, yeah. They but you're still responsible. Yeah, like the hospital in her still gotta be responsible because y'all trusted this person, y'all had y'all contracted, and no, she like yeah, she gotta be responsible. No, they making it seem like they don't know her, like like well, or like not saying like they don't know her, but like like oh, we ain't got to do it here. We ain't, they ain't on us. Like we ain't wow. work with us. Like type shit. Nah, that's on them. Fuck that. That's on them. It ain't her, definitely. But then you gotta look up the person who owns that hospital. That bro is ugly. It's ugly right now. I I pray for the for the healthcare system and shit, especially for black women. They really don't care about black women or I not just say black women, women of color inside the um the Medicare system. Like that shit is owned by some shit called like Prime Health um net and this they got the face this this indian nigga but really it's this asian nigga that own it he bought up like all the fucking hospitals out here he bought them like all across the country like a gang of fucking hospitals and like they 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 um and that hospital is owned by him so now they under investigation for for a wide number of things like as far as going back to um you know overcharging people for their medi um their medical and their medicare um you know um people dying in their hospital all type of shit like they they really fucked the healthcare system up and i was just um you know uh one that they just put on display and they trying to like cover that shit up they don't want niggas talking about that shit like you know it's, that shit should be bigger than what it is because it's uncovering a lot of shit concerning um uh, prime health prime health the person the umbrella company that owns all of these fucking hospitals and it's sad that you know certain people with with that that doesn't get shadow banned don't speak about it and that's why because they get the word from up top stand down don't talk about this one all right cool and they comply you know, money rule these niggas. I, that's why I said like it's gonna take the community to help me because money, money rule these niggas. Like they check that. You know, like you, you are the y'all the people. So I'm gonna talk about with us, like what we really going through. But I, I want to say name so bad, but I'm not even gonna do that tonight. Shout out to Sherry once again on that big, uh, big, big, big flex. Salute to Sherry. Salute to Jamaica too. Thank you. She, you know, once again, she said, "Why slow down?" Yeah, you know, thanks for the support. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Nah, but um, that that yeah, that, that that shit is like that hospital shit, Brown. It's crazy because um, it's like I said though. You know, I, I wanted to really hit the angle, Brown. You right? I, I wish I would have knew that. I would have definitely said that. But I wanted to come across and let the people, without saying it, because I know I get shadow banned. It's like, yo, where y'all voices at? Like. Oh, cause a black woman did this. Oh, oh, oh no, no, it was a mistake. Oh, that, that but this black woman, a black woman baby was, and a black baby was killed. Black woman baby was killed, and a black baby was killed. So it's like, it's very hypocritical that I don't see certain people talking. So I really wanted to come from that angle. Like I'm throwing shots without throwing shots, hoping people catch it. They ain't catching it though. Some people are, but they ain't catch that part really. Like they know all it's fucked up in the hospital. People is not really catching that he, you know, if you were you Genesis, 
where you're gonna hire your minions to be the place where you, people are born. You would think Ku Klux Kamala get on this. <laughs> Ku Klux Kamala is great. Yo, <laughs> Bro, that's wild. Like now you would think she like at least she try to at least pretend to be a spokesman about this shit, you know. Wait, what are you talking what about? Is what is Henry talking about? No disrespect, but he says a fact and then adds a tone of fiction to it. I'm gonna fall back. What what you mean, Henry? I don't understand. Oh, you might want to come up and, and, and um talk and say that. He said no, they didn't. Oh, because he's talking about no, they didn't wrap the head back on the head was stuck inside. I heard the same story Brown was talking about. I think he's talking about what you saying, Brown, about the head being put back. They try to cover it up, bro. I don't know if you know oh, about they that. They did, they did put the head back. The head was they said the head was detached, and all they did was stuck the head down and wrap the baby up. That they they they, they said like that that was in a um in a report. And 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 they and they because the coroner had to call them and tell the family. That is horrifying. Like this, I don't know, man. Yeah, this the world fuck? just like, oh my god. Like imagine just, and like the fact that she really gave them their baby like that. Like you know what I'm, I mean. The whole thing is terrifying. But it's like y'all really had the audacity to hand them their baby like that. Like they weren't gonna see it, and that's traumatizing. Like you know. So it's like shut the whole hospital down for real basically like you know like um no that that and that's facts like that and that's what i was thinking i was just trying to put myself in they shoe. just imagine you have a baby you are happy and then like they put a list bro that is traumatizing that is something like i don't know how my mental health will hold up in, in that in that moment like you know what i mean i think my mental health would like deteriorate in like five seconds and i and i would lose it like just just even like the fact you came my baby then you try to play me like that it, it, it I, I i really lose all self-control and i probably would have ended up in jail for sure like, you really had the audacity to just pretend that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God. I don't even want to think about it. I just, sometimes the shit that I be hearing in this world, I'm like, it's demonic. Like, that to me is demonic to even think you could have, hand somebody their baby like that. First of all, the fact that you did that. But to be able to do that and then have the audacity to hand them the baby, that is demonic energy. And I think we forget that there are some people in this realm physical realm that are demonic and that's what it is so so i think henry henry has a misconception so henry the head was stuck inside it's not that the head detached from the body decapitated mean that the 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 neck like the spine detached from the spine like that so yeah it was stuck but they end up getting it out and they decapitated it by by doing that so it's not like it had it had no head. He said he's confused. I'm trying to explain it to you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tamani. Tamani Astrid. Thank you for the super chat. Really, really, really appreciate y'all, man. If it's really coming through tonight. If you're just walking in, right? If you're just walking in tonight, I need y'all to scroll up the comments and see all these super chats. Matter of fact, I'm going to highlight them one by one. So we're going to do it real quick. And then we're going to get back to the topic. We got Houston with the dub. Then we got Yoli with 20. Houston with another 20. Cat with five, Houston with another 20, Charles with five, Houston with another 20, T-Rail with two, Yoli with another 20, Clouds with two, Brown with 10, Cat with five, Charles with five, T-Rail with another, with another two, and that's Charles with another five, Diamond with five, Jamaica with 22.22, Coke. Well, with Coco with a yard, with the big yard, a hundred. Houston with another twenty. T Real with another two. Nubasol with a with a dub. Big Shirley with a yard, a hundred. Shemesha upped it to ten, and Tamani upped it to ten. Now the reason why I'm highlighting this is because I'm letting it be known, you motherfuckers gonna give me fifty cent a minute, and they just OD and said we gonna give you way more hair, Hocus. I'm you to keep the lights on in the rabbit hole. It's gonna be at least thirty dollars an hour, and it be so many people in here. Everybody give a dollar. It'll be way more than that. You gotta stop being cheap. Each year I got a dollar a day for me, at least fifty cent. 
and I'm t- and that's 50 cent and 30 dollars an hour is 50 cent a minute. And if I'm not worth that, then I don't know what. All right, the lights need to stay on in the rabbit hole. Okay, I need the financial support. I, p- I put the word need there for a reason, and I'm not afraid to ask for it. I'm asking for it, and I'm gonna keep t- talking to y'all like this because y'all have y'all gonna propel me the way I need to be. Y'all don't got a choice because y'all not gonna meet nobody else like me because ain't nobody else got, got the got the heart, the platform, got the courage, got the background, got the respect. They, they not out there. They don't have all of that. You are gonna find some people that have some. Only thing I don't have is the finances, and 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 I'm being shadow banned. Not just oh, we're gonna shadow ban his post. Shadow ban also mean they take away your money. They take away my fucking my content to go out, so they stop my money because of the things that I post. It's because of this. <laughs> well, I'm shadow banned. So you guys have to support, and that's what this is about. They did a lot of fucking supporting already, so I'm not really too tripping too much. But we're going to be bringing it up every hour, like, from now on. Y'all, we need to get them super chats up. Fuck that. Let's keep this shit going. That's how we're going to do in the rabbit hole, man. Like, you know, every, every community need finance, and I need y'all to help finance. That's it, man. I, You know, I, I don't. it ain't begging to me. It's, it's it's letting your people know what you need. So I I, I would think that y'all my people. Anyway, let's get back to the to the titles. I had to, I had to, I got to highlight the super chats more than anything. Cause that's what's gonna keep. That's what keeps the lights on in here. So we're gonna talk about that more than the content. If that's not being done, but it, it's been fucking a blessing already. Over fucking three hundred and some chains. I'm like counting. Oh man, cat baby again. And that's another thing. I don't want. I, I don't want. I'm not gonna say I don't. I don't want. No, 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 no. See, I'm gonna address two things. I don't want the same people. I'm not gonna say I don't. But yo, I want some of y'all that's watching. Like, don't nah. Y'all send a dollar or two. Y'all don't have to send a hundred or, or like you see T Real send two. I, I appreciate that. Send a dollar. Send a dollar. It's 120 people watching. 120 of y'all should hit the super chat with a dollar right now just to shut me up and prove a point. It's a rabbit hole. Let's go back to all these, let's go back to all these other whack ass lives and, and let them know. No, they're not gonna give us the numbers like academics, but academics is not gonna get these super chats like that. Not, not at, at demand. Every 120 people in here send a dollar right now, except for the people who sent money already. None of y'all. Let's see how y'all respond. I just told y'all to do that. Send one dollar. Come on, man. It all it all helps, man. And I'm and I'm gonna address um bubbly. That it don't work like that. It don't work like that. I said at least thirty dollars an hour. Cause the cause the rest of y'all have to support. You're not gonna lean on Sherry. Oh, Sherry paid for three hours. No, no, Shirley paid with no, it don't work like that. She didn't pay for three hours. That's not how it works. She did what she wanted to do and support the way she wanted to support. That she's not she's not supporting for you. You got to show your support, bubbly. That's how we on it. Don't hit me with that. Don't definitely don't hit me with that. Now let's get back to the support. Thank you, cat. Shout shout, shout out the winter. Shout out the mother prophet. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let's go. Shout out to Victoria. Thank you. We I appreciate you too. Thank, Thank you, Victoria. And shout out to my wife, Winter. Yes, I put a ring on it. Shout out to her. <laughs> and to Monty, once again, we are family for show. It's a rabbit hole family. Let's, let's keep the lights on over here, man, so we can keep doing this. I, w- I want to keep doing this. I don't I don't want to do a, a, a fucking day job. I, it's not resonating with my spirit. It's not. It eats. It's eating me up. So it took everything in my fucking soul to come to my community for support. When I come to y'all, for everybody else. So if I'm coming to y'all, let's fucking go. All right, let's get back to the content. Hold on. Somebody else just dropped something. Hold on. Few people. Okay, they dropping. They dropping it. And YB, what's good, bro? Appreciate you. Let's go. Thank you. Um, Chuck Chuck Beaver supported the cash app. So anybody that want to hit the cash app, the Venmo, Zelle, or PayPal, if you look on the screen at the bottom, you will see how you can support to cash app, Pen Pal, or Venmo. I noticed like 10 people left. People leave when you start talking about money. For some reason, they get offended. Like, but they don't get offended when um when 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 Marvel Studios do a new movie and tell you the ticket is $20. 
and you take your kids and you pay that bitch. You don't ask no questions and you go watch that shit. Motherfuckers is phony. You motherfuckers is phony. Good looking, y'all. Ray Sean. And then Coco, you had Coco sent that hundred already, man. I, see, I don't want to keep, you know, I don't want to bleed my people. I don't want it to be the same people. I don't want to bleed my people, man. Shout out to Ray Sean. Keep the lights on, family. You all, come on, man. Shout out to Coco again, though, on the 10 after he sent the hundred already. Sent another 10. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want y'all to send no more of y'all sent. As far as you know, what I'm talking about, like, come on, man. Thank you, Big Perry. Shout out to Big Perry. Let's go. This is a rabbit hole. Just keep the fucking lights on in here, man. No, um, oh Lalette. Thank you, Lalette. Look at this hater. Look at this. I'm I'm gonna shout out the haters, then I'm gonna ban them. Damn, Hulk, you trying to get school clothes? Look at this hater. I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to fucking pay for your mother because she's a whore. And it costs like it co she charging me too much. So I'm, I'm trying to get the mother for your mother, you fucking hater. I was going to ask if it was okay to roast him, but you already just slaughtered him. So Ain't I'm going to mute up. up. And got him up out of here. Shout out to Lillette. Thank you, Lillette. Regina. Shout out to Regina. Thank you. Help keeping the lights on. Shout out to Inez Hoss. That's Christina. Christina. Thank you. We I, love you, girl. Hey, I would. Love you. Love you more. Appreciate you. Claudine, Claudine in here. Uh oh! Hey, my big sis. big sis! Right there, that big sis right there, bro. Keep it flowing. Information must get out. I don't care if half of you niggas leave. I don't care if half of you niggas leave because uh, niggas is leaving because they mad that y'all sending me money right now. I promise you. They're like, oh, this nigga right here, I'm mad for money. I'm leaving. Uh, right? They mad y'all sending me money. I don't care if half of you niggas leaving and people only send me money. Stay. We gonna run the content because at the end of the day, this shit is about support and getting information out. Not about you niggas. It's not about you. Don't be mad at me because I created the best platform in the world that's not able to get out there because they shadow banned. Don't be mad at me. Cause I brought I brought some of the most talented people on planet Earth together that that can mesh together and actually give you some real content. Don't be mad at me. I brought some of the greatest personalities in the world to me. On, on the same stage and 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 we you know people like to hear us speak and to give information don't be mad at me don't be mad at me that's all i'm gonna say and i appreciate everybody you know um thank you very much this just you know i feel like my voice was heard and my my um passion was heard let's get back to the content let's definitely get back to the content so we was uh what we was talking about? We was talking about um. Oh, you know what? The decapitation. Yeah, yeah, because he he think, he think that it wasn't a decapitation. You nah, I got the uh, the CNN statement right here. If you want to read it, like it's like it just pretty much. Uh, I can just read the um the part. It said, uh, "Let me see where it said." Uh, Or it said, according to the statement from the family spokesperson, when Ross and Taylor demanded to see their baby, hospital staff told them that they were not allowed to touch or hold their child. Hospital staff allowed the young couple to only view their child dead. The statement from the family spokesperson read, during this viewing, their baby was wrapped tightly in a blanket with his head propped on top of his body in a manner such that those viewing him could not identify that he had been decapitated, according to the statement. So where's the fiction? Facts. And big shout to Spencer on the super chat. Appreciate you, Spence. Let's go. Let's keep the super chats coming all night. Um, facts, Brown. I, I, you know, agree with that. Where's with like, you know, the, the, the head was decapitated. But Coco told me to play the video where a uh, dude explained it. And which one is that, Coco? Because I'm about to look. Did I save it? Did y'all send it to me? I get so many videos, y'all. I fucking be like. My fucking DMs, I gotta imagine. People send me everything. My DMs be crazy. I be trying to get back to everybody, but it'd be difficult. I'm not sure which video you're talking about. Hocus, I think I sent you the Hocus, I think I sent you the video um today where the lawyer, their lawyer was speaking about what actually happened. You sent it in my DM? Yes. Okay, I see it right now. I'm about to play it. I got you. That's right. I'm about to play it right now.
She was 37 weeks pregnant at that time, and they were really, really looking forward to the delivery of their firstborn child. Her water broke at about 10 o'clock in the morning on the 9th. Appropriately, she went over to labor and delivery over the Southern Regional. Uh, they admitted her and put her on uh, an IV and gave her some medicine to basically progress the, uh, the delivery. She labored uh, for about 10 hours and then probably around 10, or strike that about 8.40 in the evening, uh, she was fully dilated and told her to start pushing. Well, during the course of the pushing, uh, the baby stopped descending. There's something called a shoulder dystocia, fancy word for saying that the baby's shoulders could not fit through the pelvic girdle. It got stuck by the bone there in the pelvic girdle. That was recognized, and what wound up happening after that is just brutal. Uh, Dr. St. Julian came in, uh, and she, in the process of trying to deliver this baby, pulled on the baby's head and neck so hard and manipulated them so hard that uh, the bones in the baby's skull, face, and neck were broken. When Dr. St. Julian finally took Miss Ross to the operating room for a C-section, cesarean section, where they cut the belly and deliver the baby through the abdomen, uh, when the womb was open, the feet came out, the body came out, and there was no head. The head was stuck in the vagina, and the head subsequently was, subsequently was delivered vaginally. She was 37 weeks pregnant at that time, and they were really, really looking forward to the delivery of their firstborn child. Her water broke at about 10 o'clock in the morning on the 9th. Appropriately, she went over to labor and delivery over the Southern Regional. Uh, they admitted her and put her on uh, an IV and gave her some medicine to basically progress the, uh, the delivery. She labored uh, for about 10 hours and then probably around 10, or strike that, about 8.40 in the evening, uh, she was fully dilated and told her to start pushing. Well, during the course of the pushing, uh, the baby stopped descending. There's something called a shoulder dystocia, fancy word for saying that the baby's shoulders could not fit through the pelvic girdle. It got stuck by the bone there in the pelvic girdle. That was recognized, and what wound up happening after that is just brutal. Uh, Dr. St. Julian came in, uh, and she, in the process of trying to deliver this baby, pulled on the baby's head and neck so hard and manipulated them so hard that uh, the bones in the baby's skull, face, and neck were broken. When Dr. St. Julian finally took Miss Ross to the operating room for a C-section, cesarean section, where they cut the belly and deliver the baby through the abdomen, uh, when the womb was open, the feet came out, the body came out, and there was no head. The head was stuck in the vagina, and the head subsequently was, subsequently was delivered vaginally. She was 37 weeks pregnant at that time, and they were really, really looking forward to the delivery of their firstborn child. Her water broke at about 10 o'clock in the morning on the 9th. Appropriately, she went over to labor and delivery over the Southern Regional. Uh, they admitted her and put her on uh, an IV and gave her some medicines to basically progress the, uh, the delivery. Is it playing back? Was that it? Did it start over? Yes, it started over. So for anybody that, you know, had doubts, Henry, I hope you get it now. Uh, yeah, that black woman, and, and, I, and I'm going to stress black woman. When I say black woman, I'm not talking about all black women, but that black woman did that. And I believe that she's, um, you know, part of the eugenics program. And I don't think this is her first time. I just think that this family went, made a big deal about it because it, it was, it's just, this one, this one is awkward. You know how you decapitated a baby? Like, nah, like, it's not. No, no, no. So, you know, how y'all feel about it? I'm posting right now on Instagram for everybody to pull up. No, sorry, I was away from my phone. But no, that's like a nightmare. Like, there's no words. I have no words. I'm just disgusted. 
I am hurt for that family because I couldn't imagine because that's literally one of the most beautiful experiences of your life as a mother, as a parent, as a father, and to have that happen. And it's just like, and this is why people preach. And, and I'm not saying that doulas can't make mistakes or at home pregnancies, there can't be things that happen there. But this is why people preach that. This is why people preach having an at home birth, because, you know, we don't know. It's just, that's all I'm going to say. Just, this is horrible. All I have. Make sure you like the room. Um, make sure you like this. Hit the like button so that we can uh, get the notifications out as you come in here. Hit the like button. Shout to uh self self made self pay on the super chat. Really appreciate everybody in the super chat. I don't care if it's one dollar. You know we appreciate everything. This the super chats is what's keep the lights on in the rabbit hole. Keep the engine running. You know this is a this is a this is a well oiled machine and we got to keep the engine running. Yeah, that that was heavy. I know everybody's sitting thinking like, "Damn, uh, I don't know." I'm a, I'm gonna um, post the link in the chat and pin it because I know some of you probably want to come up and talk. If there's anybody that want to come up and talk about it, don't be shy. Come join the stage. Uh oh, Brown, yo, Brown. I think you was right, Brown. Cause that I put up. At first, it wasn't doing good. I put up the 17 year old Kayla White dies after collapsing. Remember, yo, I looked earlier, it had 40 views. I was like, they shadow banned it. Guess how much it got right now? 2.5. Yeah, I told you that, like, it got like it's a bounce. Right mm hmm. Now, nah, you're right. Everything ain't going to hit. It's like certain things they're going to let hit through the algorithm, certain things they're not going to let hit. And Caleb is a hot exactly. topic. Okay. But it all about it depends on who first though with it too. Like once you, you got to as soon as they drop it, you got to be the first one. I out did that though. Soon, soon, soon as soon as the nigga sent it to me earlier, I did. You know me, I took out my phone, did the quick video. <laughs> I dropped it. I ain't playing. That shit, that shit is way easier. Like I'm telling you, nigga, you did like this week alone since since we had talked about that. You did at least like sixty thousand views on Instagram over probably that. That shit crazy. That's two days, not this week. That's two days. Think about it. It was the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday right. and today. Hocus. <laughs> like, yeah. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So, um, can I explain? Somebody wants to know how the the mother not know that the baby was de decapitated. Yeah, explain it. So, when you have a when they give you a cesarean, they give you an epidural. They have to numb you. They put a curtain up. You don't see what's happening below you because they put a curtain up. They don't want you to see all that they take out. So that's why she didn't know, you know? And then she's numb down there where she can't feel any pain or anything. So, you know, and they probably put her to sleep if knowing them, you know, where she, she was probably totally knocked out because she was probably in a lot of pain when the baby's shoulders couldn't pass her vagina, pass through the canal. So um, that's the only thing that I can explain because I had two cesareans myself and they numb you with the epidural and they put a curtain up. You all, you could be awake, but you don't feel anything. You may just feel a little bit of tugging, but you don't feel them cutting you or anything like that because they numb you from the waist down or the, the, the stomach down. If, if I was the, if I was the, um, if I was the dad, I ain't gonna lie. I would, that Saint that doctor saying Julian Van, whatever, I would have cut her uterus out and watch her bleed to death. And, 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 and that's just me personally, just playing with me like that. Like just off the rip, like you play with me, my nigga, you, you handed me back my baby, you try to shove me my baby with, with the head fucking like nigga super glued on. Cause that's out, bro. I'm yeah, they probably kicked the father out the room when 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 they found out that they had to do that. They they probably put him out the room when they f decided that they needed to do a cesarean. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm killing the whole staff and, and I'm killing the nurses. All that. If you show me my baby like that, like that, that, like no, bro, like that's 
that's psychologically fucking you up. Like my mental health will be at an all time low. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, both of them probably mentally like fucked up in the head right now. Like, yo, when I saw that, when I heard what the doctor, what the lawyer did, that's what I said, Hocus, y'all. That shit just, oh, it did something to me. I teared up for that for that family because that's that's terrible. That's horrible. And more than like Brown, what you said, the whole staff got to go because it wasn't just her that knew at all no. there's multiple people there so it was more than one and the fact that not one of y'all could have stood up and been honest and said some shit y'all all dead wrong y'all all everybody I should get told time it. period but everybody you can't, but they can't tell her right then and there just they no could. it's the fact that they yeah and they it's could? the fact that they the really handed it to her about. you only talking like the other people know like why i'm talking about everybody talk that's involved that about really the nurses gave her, and stuff her, Everybody, whoever was involved and knew that this shit happened and really handed her her baby like that and knew what was going on is dead wrong, period. And they all should get, for real, that's crazy. They all got to go, in my eyes. And they, they covered it up. Yeah, I hope y'all do know that. Like, they they covered it up. It wasn't just the, that doctor alone can't cover it up. Come on, man. No, because there's, there's nurses and the anesthesiologists, everybody's there right. in that room. That's yo man. Just even when he just played just now, that shit just bring tears to my eyes. That is so sad <sighs> to lose your baby like that. Wow. Yeah, this shit left me speechless. Lillette. Like yeah. I know I'm talking about a lot, but it's like speechless in a sense of like I'm feeling like an anxiety right now because it's like it's just me thinking about that for that family. I don't even know that family. Period. I don't have to know them. But my heart is like broken for them. Yeah, mine too. No, really though. That's that's really, really sad, man. Uh, once again, rest in peace to that black baby. That that um that doctor, she needs to lose her medical license. She don't never need to deliver another baby again. And yeah. And she like, I, yo, you know the thing. People play with people, but don't understand that there's people who play with people. Like that couldn't be mine. Like yeah, yeah, I know where you. Mm, let me shut up. Your, your address is online, baby. Are you think you're just going back to work after? Like yo, this is what I'm saying. Like I don't understand why we don't look at them like ops, like how niggas in the street look at each other's right. ops. Like, it's just, yeah, it'd be confusing me. Because hocus, anybody else, it would be considered murder and accessory to murder for those that were around that and covered it up. So it's like, why isn't the same thing happening here? Straight up, what are you guys gonna call it? Medical mal malpractice? No, this is murder. Straight up, and you had accessories to the murder. That's my child, and 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 you think you still gonna just go go back to your office and work? Yeah, I, the way that happened, nah. You know, like during a C-section, you cutting somebody open, you could slice by accident. It's not, I don't. You could come with a million, a million excuses, but the way the head decapitated and all that, nah. You don't, you just don't get away with something like that. And the thing is, she couldn't feel. She, I mean, she know those babies' bones are soft. Like, why would you tug on that baby's head? Head like that, like oh. you know this. You know this. You pulled on that baby's head. You crushed his skull. That fucking bitch, yo. That shit is crazy. Yo, I want to fight her. <laughs> you and me, me both. Yeah. Who coming <laughs> with me? We I'll come with up. you. We I'll finna slide. I'm, I'm let's go, Lillette. I'm, we also go with you. We let's go, Lillette. We finna like, slide. Like we really people. We really need to go and protest outside her house. Like she needs to go to fuck the jail. Like she needs to Not be buried. She needs to be under the fucking jail for real. Like this is crazy. She knows better than that. Mm -mm -mm. We gotta get that street justice. And she's been delivering babies for years. How many, I wonder if how many others that may come up now where she might have done something to a baby. 
That's what I'm saying. What you said? What Mike said? No way. No way. This was a ritual. I wouldn't have let anyone leave the room. <laughs> like, you know, certain right. niggas would have been like, yo, 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 what you mean? What you mean, my baby dad? What, the, what, what you mean? The head of the cat. What? Well, they didn't find out the head was decapitated until the funeral home. They didn't, they, see, they, they, so, you know. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that shit, that shit is fucking like, that shit nerve wracking, like to even think about some shit like that. That's like some shit you, you hear in a movie or something. Like, man, like I said, like, like, it, it, it I, I don't know how they, like, I say that baby daddy is a buster. That nigga's a straight out custer. Like, ain't nowhere in the world, like, I'm leaving the hospital without somebody dying. Like, like, a custer. It, he's a straight custer. <laughs> no, you. I mean, you, you, I'm, like I said, though, her, he know who she is. Her address is, we, we found the address. Matter of fact, I'm about to, this is her shit right here. This ain't doctor. This <laughs> Yo, she's, a, she's a doctor. <laughs> no, she's a doctor. This is public information. She's a doctor. This is her office right here, guys. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure he found out. We don't know where he got playing. Let's just say that. Let's not call him a custer yet. That nigga's a custer. That nigga, she should have been gone. It's already been 48 hours because <laughs> she did that, bro. Not like, the first 48. Nigga, nigga, we, 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 we didn't spit on niggas. We didn't spit on niggas for killing a homie quicker than that. Yo, you're like, right, though. I ain't gonna lie. You're right, though. Niggas that spit on niggas. That's what I'm saying. Niggas be spitting on each other, but niggas would not spit on, on. Like, yo, this is crazy, man. Yo, she's right here in Georgia, too. Like, Oh shit, Lilette. Like, I, I, yo, <laughs> Lilette. Oh, oh, we need to get together. We need to get together and go, I'm six and go stand hours outside away. and protest this shit. We could go like, do a peaceful <laughs> protest in front of her shit. I'm with, I'm with putting out that energy. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Me too. Hey, Me ho- too. Hocus. Hey, Hocus, Hocus, go handle that. You out there, you the only one close. Go get that done. <laughs> it's a few of us out here. It's a few of us out Hit here. Hit that super chat up tonight, y'all, and I'll go. I'll make sure I'm all t- <laughs> hey, no, 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 Hey, no. if you run it up, no, no, don't no, run it up. Not y'all. Everybody, who, not everybody who said, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the rest of the rap go. Let's go. Run that super chat up, and I'm fucking, I'm out there. I'll go out there. This nigga Hulk is thinking Keefy D, cuz. You better chill out Hulk with that. I'm shit. right with you, too. <laughs> I'm right with you. I'm down. Yo, we're going to make some picket signs stand outside of her shit. Yo, go get the cameras. Yo, look. We protesting. Peaceful protest officers. We don't want no problem with nobody. She the cat, but she need to lose her license. She, You know, we. this is a peaceful protest. I don't mind. Like, look, I'm with it. I'm really down. It's just a six hour drive for me. Let's go. She's literally like 30 minutes from me. Not even. What if she, what if she, what if she's a, um, what if she was like a plant? Like, because like, you know, they hire like a lot of like, you know, um, foreigners in different like countries and shit. And I always, and I, and I, I said before how like the, um, the pharmaceutical company and like these saints, they, all of these hospitals built off of the saints. And what if that was an African doctor, um, purposely put there to, to, um, um, you know, do a sacrifice of a baby. Like, you know what I mean? And she posed as a, as a, um, as an African American, but then like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> a whole fucking theory. Yo, could be, could be, man. Let's get these likes up. Let's get these notifications out there. This is the, this is actually the top of the hour. So, you know, we definitely need, y- y'all definitely didn't get so much. But I'm, I'm like, I, you know, what I mean, I wouldn't even ask like if it was me. But you know, I got to keep the same, the same energy. The second hour, let's go. Everybody send a dollar. We need at least thirty dollars an hour to keep this engine running, man. So we need at least thirty dollars during this hour. Hour one, hour two, or uh, the fucking the gas gonna run out, and then we gonna have to run a Discord on you niggas. So let's go, let's get these super chats up, man. A dollar, two dollars, a hundred people in here. If everybody sent a dollar, we'll be we'll be there really really quick. For those who already sent, I don't want I don't want to bleed y'all. I don't. So stop doing that to me because I I don't want to feel like I'm taking too much from nobody. I don't I don't need a lot from nobody and a little from everybody. So let's run these super chats this hour. Let's get it, y'all. It's the rabbit hole. But um come on, let's get them dollars up. Thirty people. One dollar each. Shout, shout out to Charles Sparks early. Oh, Houston. come on. Houston, right, Houston chill, Houston. Houston, Houston. Houston. Houston got to chill, man. <laughs> Cause he you helping niggas out. Now it's 20. They're gonna like, oh, he got 20. Okay. Well, it's 21 now because Charles spent sent, you know what I mean? Oh, look, they go, Aaron. That's that's the 30. They already spent. Already. They said, we're gonna keep it going. Let's go, let's go, Aaron, my bro. 
I don't want the same people all the time, man. Cat too. Come on, cat. I don't want the same people, man. Come on, yeah, y'all. Cat. You gotta let the other rabbit hole people support too, man. Cause they need to understand what that means. You know what I'm saying? Y'all lucky. They saved y'all this hour. Hour two, hour three is gonna get even more spicier. Y'all can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour three gonna get crazy. Let's go. They saved y'all this hour. And I just want to say thank you, big thank you to the Rabbit Hole family for those of you that did send in, in tonight. We appreciate you. I'm already seeing like a difference in Hocus's energy because he feels supported. He feels loved. He feels appreciated. And, you know, I just want to say thank you for you guys keeping the energy flowing. It feels really great. And we're going to continue this going. Thank you guys again. We, are, we just want y'all to know. What you do does not go unnoticed. Every little bit counts. And it's just a way of showing love. And like I said, I wish nothing but prosperity to each of you. And just know that your support is going to come back tenfold to you. Yes. And um, also, if you if you want to support on um, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal, the link is, is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. And you use the email. It's there. Make sure you put every letter right. Some people put hocus45 at gmail.com. That's not my name. My name is hocus45, 45th, You know what I mean? And also hocus45 rabbit hole is the cash app. It's all at the bottom if you want to support that way. And if you don't want to do the super chat, it's all appreciated. Shout out to Mama Dolly on the super chat. Let's go. Everything counts. Everything counts. Even a dollar, it counts. It, it all counts. It's a lot of us. I, I don't need a lot from nobody, but I need a little from everybody. That's, that's what it is. I, let's go. But um, let's move into Caleb White. Let's definitely move into the story of Caleb White. So Caleb White is a 17-year-old, uh, you know, phenom, was, was, was on his way to stardom. He was a high school basketball player from Alabama that, uh, you know, he was, he was dope. He, you know, everybody you know that he was next up. Let's just put it like that. Caleb White died today. I believe it was today, I, you know, but he died. Um, this is him right here. U.S. high school basketball star Caleb White dies at 17 after collapsing during workout. Caleb White, one of the best high school basketball players in the country, has tragically died after his family say he collapsed during an on-court workout at school on Thursday. White's grandfather, George Bernardo Jr., announced the sad news in a series of Facebook posts saying following the medical emergency, despite the efforts of first responders at White Pinson Valley High School and doctors at a nearby hospital, the point guard was pronounced dead. He was just 17 years old. Our whole family was really looking forward to his upcoming senior season and afterwards playing for a D1 school and then perhaps the NBA. But it, but it wasn't meant to be. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Alabama High School Athletic Association said in a statement Thursday evening, it'll be providing grieving students and staffers with counseling in the upcoming days. White, a first team all state selection as a junior, averaged 20.9 points, 3.8 rebounds, and 3.1 assists per game last season. And according to ESPN, he was the number three ranked prospect in the entire state of Alabama. Bernardo Jr., though, said White was so much more than a hooper, calling a teenager an honor student, very respectful, high intelligent, and an excellent role model. R.I.P. Caleb, Bernardo Jr. added, I love you, man. I got the chills reading that shit because it's so sad. It's really it's really so sad that, you know, this happened to this young man. And uh, shout out, sure, real quick, shout out to Dre on Dre631 on the Super Chat. Let's keep them going. <clears throat> Y'all already, y'all already passed the threshold of the hour, but let's keep them going. If you want to show your support, continue to support. But um, it's really sad, man. Um, what I do want to do, if anybody want to talk about it, let's not use the V word, even the J word. Let's just speak. We know what it is already. We know what it is, you know? Oh, Ciara, is it? Oh, my fault. I didn't even see Ciara drop. Oh, my bad, Ciara. Oh, thank you. Thank you uh, for pointing that out, Charlie. Okay, Ciara in the building. Thank you, Ciara. Appreciate you. There we go. Super Chats is coming in, as they should, man. The community is communicating tonight, and I love it. 
And I appreciate it. Y'all make me feel, yeah, money is the motivation. I don't care what nobody's saying. Like, anybody act like they don't need money, the fucking liar. Fuck out of here. Even homeless people in the street, you, you, you got something for me? Yo, man, I'm, I'm trying to get some food. Knowing he want to smoke some crap. Yo, I'm trying to get some food. Holding the sign up. Yo, we need some food. Knowing that nigga want to go smoke. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you need to keep the rabbit hole lights on, man. Y'all not getting it. Like, y'all don't want this no more? But, um, and Wells, again, thank you for the rabbit hole for not judging me and letting me tell my truth and helping me get through my past. Definitely the other night, and Wells dropped the truth bomb on us, and we spoke to the brother and, you know, counseled them through it. He appreciated it. He hit me up the next day. I was happy we was able to do that. This is a place where people come to vent also. We are, we don't we didn't talk people off the ledge. I know y'all remember in Clubhouse, someone was ready. I'm not going to say who they are. They was ready to commit suicide. And uh, she came on stage hard, heavy too. Like, I can't take it no more. I'm about to take myself out. And we actually talked that person off the ledge. And that person is alive and well. We, we had a whole conversation going. I said, oh, stop. Conversation over. We got to focus on this person. So this type of shit, this type of shit you donate into. When you, no, no, fuck donating. Y'all not donating. This type of shit you supporting. Because this is support, not donation. Shout out to um, Nene. Nene, thank you on the super chat. Really, really appreciate you. Yeah, so much love, so much love. See, I like when, you know, other people, so Nene has supported in the past, but when it's spread out, I don't want the same people supporting all the time. Because I'm not trying to bleed my people. I just need a little from everybody. Not a lot from nobody. But, um, yo, Caleb's, Caleb's story bothered me, man. It bothers me a lot, man. When it, when was he Jack Hocus? Let's not know. use that word. Let's not oh, even use that sorry. word. That, that word is I didn't know that's what you was talking about. Yeah, that's a curse word. But, but to answer your question, you know, I don't have to know, but I can assume. That's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm already assuming because, you know, most people, we know what time it is already. You know, and it's it's kind of weird, right? So, you know, uh, shout out to um, Claudine. She brought something up to me earlier. Heavy on Alabama right now. Caleb, Alabama. The fight, Alabama. What was it? Something else she said. Um, something else that just happened in Alabama. What is it, y'all? I don't know if sis still in here. Oh, God. I had it all earlier and I can't remember. But it's heavy on the Alabama right now. Viral content. Wasn't Carly in Alabama? Carly. Yep, Carly. Yes, that, thank you. Carly, Caleb, you know, the fight. What's going on in Alabama? Alabama ain't. Alabama ain't never get this much attention. Alabama ain't get this much attention since Sweet Home Alabama. Am I lying? Big shot to get that. <laughs> Am I lying? Big shot to Gio on another one. Thank you, Gio. Thank you for the super chat. There's a fact. Houston, Alabama been heavy. What's going on? Alabama ain't getting no attention since Sweet Home Alabama. So she brought that to my attention. I'm like, let's listen out for a major event in Alabama. Or could it be some trafficking going through Alabama right now? Focus on this. Could it be some? What is going on in Alabama? We need to figure that out. Keep your eyes and ears open. Something is happening in Alabama that they're deterring us from. Because let's be honest. What happened to Caleb happened to a lot of people. And it's not highlighted like that. What happened to Carly? Well, Carly, yeah, yeah, that needed to be highlighted. It was super cat. And that fight, that was highlighted too. But I'm just saying, still, yeah, that fight was hilarious. That was like, yo, that shit. I can't wait for Uncle Murder to wrap up this year. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> That's going to be crazy. But I don't know. Heavy on the Alabama. Pay attention. Heavy on Alabama. Brown, is Finesse two times from Alabama? No, it was the other. I think so. Honeycomb Brazy is. I know Honeycomb Brazy is. I don't know if Finesse two times from. 
I know he's from the South somewhere. Don't forget, Alabama got Nick Saban. That, that's that's why. I don't know who that is. It's a nigga, the coach for the um the football team. They won like a gang of championships. Like Alabama was, oh, had. Um, oh yeah, the coach for the coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they had Alabama. They had the whole uh, league in the stronghold for like five years, ten years. Or they say he from finesse two times from Memphis. And some really, I ain't gonna lie, he really goes. I like him. Yeah, that nigga's a weirdo though. I, I like his music though. He be but he be gassing and shit. But like. It's just like a lot of these niggas be weirdos to me. I could tell, like, nigga, I could tell a nigga gangster, like, if he was really out here, like, you really, you know what I mean? Some niggas just be telling the story. Mm hmm. Now, but I heard him, like, niggas that, niggas that could do this, to me, like, 99.9% would be nice. They could make the beat while rapping. Like, and I heard him go off on that shit. I was like, ooh, like, he was just, like, I didn't know he really could rap, because, like, you know, it's a thing that we got up north that we feel like, and I know LA got it too, because LA niggas can rap too. We kind of feel like not a down south niggas can't really rap, rap like they, they do them, but you know, it was it was just it's called. Not no, it's not no lyrical lyricism in it. It's yeah. just like you yeah, know. That's what I'm saying. Son got lyricism with him. That's what I'm saying. He do. It like, just be the beats. Exactly. You know what I mean? And he, but he got he got some lyricism with him. That's what I'm saying. Like I heard him going off. He was banging on. He was like he was at a radio station. So I'm like, oh nah, this nigga really can rap though. He he's not a nigga that's just out here. Like you know what I mean? He can really rap. I'm shocked. Other person life is easy though. Like you know, like you're not rapping about shit you did. Like all these niggas, I just take it for granted. <laughs> like like when I listen to gang maker music, I listen to the grimiest underground shit. Like I'm talking about, I listen to the niggas that like you know uh, go to jail before they make it type shit. Like I will be listening to that type of music <laughs> type shit. Like, <laughs> like, like uh, when I listen to drill, nigga, I like my drill to be really destructive, like really, really fucking violent, and like you know, I'm it, it balances me out. Then I go feed the homeless while listening to the like that type of dark, dark drill shit. It's like a balance, bro, and like. I'm so, I'm so serious, like you know what I mean. I need to hear about you, nigga, kicking over candles and shit like that. And that shit, I partake in, but it's just something like, huh, like you know. This nigga brown crazy. Nigga said my drill. <laughs> I like my drill, like really ruthless. I, and I, 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 I overstand. You know what I'm saying? And I even felt guilty because I'm like, not just because you know K Flock was my little bro, but like I, I, yo brown, little do niggas know. I think I told y'all this. I, I I knew K Flock when he had two thousand followers. That's a little. That's my you my set. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, but anyway, like I was telling niggas like, yo, the little homie about to go, and he wound up going. And I always like from here would would talk to him and um, like you know yeah you know how I am like yo bro and then, yo yo guys you big bro big bro whatever. But I felt guilty, you know, being this reformed gangster, liking his music though, like really liking this shit, like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, like, yo, like, nah, this shit is hot, man. I see why all these little niggas, like, because it gives you, it, it rounds you up. Like you said, it rounds you up. It's like, shit crazy, man. It's, a, it's yo, it's something about that fucking, I ain't gonna lie, that frequency, it's something about it. It's tribalistic, bro. It got, like, tribal drums in it and shit. It gets you damn, right. like, you know. And then, it, and then they, it's like the, um, the tempo was sped up. So it's like, that's an adrenaline rush. Cause it's sped up. It's not that. See R and B. Put the phone nigga with chop. Murder up. Put him in bed. Right. Let me clapping this shit. Clapping this shit. Like it's that. It's that adrenaline rush. R and B slowed us down. It made us love. It's, it's like, the cadence. Do you mind Ew. if I stroke you up? I don't mind. You mind if I stroke you down? I don't mind. All through the night, R and B slowed us down. It made us want to like you know be mellow. That shit, like that shit got you, you know, it is, yeah, you're right, y'all, it's the cadence, it's definitely. Yeah, it's like a mix of the cadence and honestly, like the frequency, it really is. It just brings out like, I mean, I'm going to be real with you, I feel like we all, we need balance in our life. And I don't know if it's the Gemini in me, shout out to the Gemini's, Christina, my good sis, she knows what's up. But we're balanced. Like we're either love or we're violent. I'm gonna be rude. <laughs> like it's either one or the other, you know. But it's like I feel like you need. You can't always be love. There's gonna be times where you do have to get violent. You do have to 
if you got to get in your warrior bag, if you got to protect your children, let me tell you, you're going to see another side of yourself that you ain't never seen. I would, if I got to protect my babies, I'm definitely, I'm, oh, hearing, I'm, in I'm, <laughs> I'm oh, hearing drill music in my head, period. Ion in the building, pull up. Ion, my baby. Hello, Ion. what's up, y'all? Shout yeah, out to the rapper. Let's, let's check first. Let's make sure that nigga talk, because you know niggas be coming. No, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's <laughs> me. Oh, my God, That's what's up? Thing. I shout out to the rabbit hole out here on YouTube. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, Brown Skin. Hey, um, uh, everybody on the stage. We have Debbie. But I just wanted to say this. When you were talking about the frequency, I think that a lot of people don't understand, um, you know, that frequency and, and, and vibes and all of the other stuff like in spirituality has been promoted through the music specifically when it comes down to lower middle class people to cre create them to be violent beings right so you know um i think that everybody should read a book there's uh it's, it's called a sound healing i forgot what it's called and it shows the different type of frequencies and and kanye west talked about this too on how and um black culture the music gets the violent frequencies right um, but, you know, in, in other cultures, they get the peaceful and the abundance frequencies. So that's very important. And I also wanted to say with the person who had just died, the young boy, I mean, they're legitly pushing the agenda um, of that. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> that people are dying of the vaccine. And now I believe that a lot of these people are not dying of the vaccine, that they're just killing them off to kind of fear among their and to kill them fear monger them into mentally killing themselves <laughs> like you know there's a way for you to do that if, you, if they push enough people to mentally believe that the vaccine is kill, and this is why i said that people shouldn't have got it because now they can mentally fuck you over to make you believe that you are going to die um and 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 your brain will start to eat at different body parts and will help will, will create different types of diseases for you specifically to help you you know, just kill yourself off. So, you know, a lot of y'all just be careful with these frequencies. Um, just be careful what you intake and, and understand that um, <laughs> that if, if, if the collective of people fear something, that they're going to push that to kill off other people. I don't know what y'all think about that. So, uh, I agree. The, no, I agree. But the V word, I because, um, yeah, we going to. We gotta keep that off YouTube, Ion. They 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 struck. They actually hit me with a strike, and then and then I appealed it and I won. But and they said it was actually because of misinformation on the V. So, you know, but everything you said, I agree. With. Well, you can you can sue them and appeal it. So sound sound frequencies is things that actually medical professionals actually use. So frequencies is nothing new. I mean, you can prove that it's it's the truth and actually sue no, them. No, and frequencies. Win. No, I'm just talking about the V word. You know, YouTube. The what? The V word. That's what I was saying. You know what I'm uh, talking about? Oh, I didn't talk. I didn't talk about the the V word. Oh my bad. Word. I thought. No, yeah, no, I didn't no. say anything about that. Like I knew. I knew that was all a ploy. I didn't say anything oh, about I, that. Because I see Bro said slow down with that word, and chat thought I thought maybe you said it. Forget it. Never. No, I wouldn't. No, I, I didn't say that because I just know that that just wasn't a thing. I just know that this was a ploy to build separation and like get people to actually think uh, to create a new hierarchy of things. So, no, 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 I'm not going to say that, but I, I am going to say that a lot of the things that we see and what's going on is like a ploy to, you know, get people to mentally fuck themselves over. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Ayan, it's Yoli. I miss you, boo. Hey, Yoli, how are you? Long time no speak. I love, I love hearing all of y'all voices. I usually listen in. Um, you know, and I don't speak and I usually do bright in the chat, but I decided to come up because you were spitting today. Hey. Hey, Ion. Hey, Christina. Hi, Debbie. What's up, Browns and Jesus? Hey. So I agree with what y'all was saying about like the, up, frequency, the frequency thing, because um, I always do this like lately, like the last few weeks, I've been in like a bad mood. I'm in like a bad mood, right? So I'll put in my AirPods and like listen to sound frequencies. And I swear instantly, like they will calm you down, like instantly. Like your mood will change instantly. I don't know what it does, but it definitely does something to the brain to where like it changes your whole mood and relaxes you. 
and there's different ones you know they have different ones ones for they even have sound frequencies for you to grow your hair you'd be surprised like mm. some... what wait stop playing on me what we doing what we doing <laughs> And the frequency. What? They do. I'm serious. They have. Can you, they can have you just some. send me the frequency? I'll send it to you. I got right, right. <laughs> Which one? Know. The hair growing one? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Hold on, yeah. I cannot. Send it's so it. funny. What are we doing? Nah, man. I, I need my waves back, man. Brown. I've been, I've been talking about this shit for years, but Brown, he don't believe me. My shit was like crazy. Like, I need my shit back. Uh huh. So yeah, like in um in the movie um they call Tyrone, they have a scene. They have that. They have a scene showing you how the frequencies affect um you know people. They even have a scene where there's two black men fighting in the damn lab, and they playing rap music. And then as soon as they switch to R and B, the two black men start hugging. I'm just like, this is wild. That's why they took R and B out. They destroyed it. They use they use clowns like Trey Songs and and even even Drake. Like I love Drake music, but they destroyed R and B. They turned it into they turned it into something else. They they turned it slutty. They didn't, they they took it away from love. And you know, no Drake do got a love song, but it's really the industry. I would I would blame them. I'm not even gonna blame a certain artist. The industry they stopped pushing the, the love songs because people still making love songs. They just don't push them. They don't. You know, and I hope that um, you know, I know, you know, shout out to Mary J. She's about to drop soon, and I hope that it's received because I know she's gonna have some heat, some love songs. I want to hear love songs again. I don't, I don't hear love songs. All I hear is a booty hole brown. <laughs> my booty hole brown. I, I don't know. Hey, no, yo. I don't know no other line from her. I don't know. No, I don't know none of her. <laughs> I don't even know her. If you play a song right now, I, I wouldn't know that's that's her. I probably heard the song before. I wouldn't know that's, that's the only thing I know about her that she said her booty hole is brown and she said it like that. My booty hole brown. I can't wait to hold. Well, you know the algorithms. They're that's pushing. true. You know yeah. the you know the algorithms are pushing her and like Suki right now. You know because that's what they want to push to the forefront. You know, so I'm sorry. Ooh. I like Suki. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Not like that, like you know. We your 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 thought. We already knew that. No, though. not like that. I like. No, I, in your past life, you was a thought. So yeah. You could, oh, you I understand see. Suki's um. <laughs> uh, you understand us. Uh, I understand. Suki. Yeah, yes, I understand. Right, I understand her psyche. I like how you said that. Yes. Yeah. So in your past life, that's why you under. That's why you like her. Just like all the men, all the men like sexy red. And you know why? Because they can resonate with the thought side of sexy red. Man, that bitch. No. Nope. What she like? What men in black like? That they don't drink a coffee and smoke a cigarette or shit. Nah, that's oh sexy red. <laughs> my god! <laughs> I'm done. I'm logging off. Sexy red don't look like. I'm about to pull sexy she does, red. Like that bitch like dirty. I never seen sexy red. Sexy red. She's sexy that bitch in her like own dirty. Way. She's sexy just because her name is sexy red. Like. Oh Lord, she just she she turns herself sexy. Yo, this is crazy. I right, look, I, look, look, look how much she's not in the algorithm. This is crazy. Look, I put sexy red in Google. Look what came up as far as images. Look at this. Sexy red. Look. Wow. They she's not even there. Bunch of white women. You see this? Can y'all see that? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Look what I put in the fucking um type. Sexy what, red. What, what, what? What if you put up sexy brothers, just a whole bunch of booty holes popped up? That'd be crazy. Like. <laughs> oh, look, not one black woman. Yo, this is crazy. Hey, they hey, doing her dirty. Hey, Yo, this black. Has to go up. Bro, this, bro, you, Sexy Red is a big artist, bro. You put Sexy Red in Google, that's supposed to come up, bro. You put my name no, in Google. No, she's not. You put my name in Google, you're going to see a bunch of Hocus Four Fifth shit, bro. She's a, she's a, a bigger artist than me, bro. Like, come on, bro. Sexy red. You put sexy red, bro. Come on, bro. She supposed to show up, bro. Not a bunch of white women, bro. They got not one picture of her. Not one. Come on, bro. They doing her dirty. Let me see, sexy red rapper. You gotta put sexy red rapper. That, that, that no, I ain't gonna lie. I just learned something just now. Yeah. But she still wait. Where's she at? Oh, there she go. They got trippy red up there. Yeah, trippy red. Like, yeah, they doing her dirty. This is sexy red, y'all. Let me find a better picture. 
type in. Because she looks like a lion. Look a bitch tall. And that bitch like that bitch built like a termite. Yo, they do not got her in the algorithm. Look, look where is she? Why they got trippy red? Be nice, Brown. What was is her name spelled with two X's or something? You know she looked dirty. Oh, I think type in, that's type why. In her her yeah, her name was spelled as I think two X's. That's what it is. Oh, oh. Hey, mm-mm, keep my lip. All right, that's what it was, y'all. My bad, my bad. It's just her name spelled with two S's. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So what happened, Brown? She ain't sexy. She has some sex appeal. No, she she she's not. She now, does did you see that bitch without no makeup? Like her, her skin is fucking horrible, bro. Her skin looks nasty, bro. Her body is not all of that. Like if she take that wig, that weave out, and that makeup off, bro, she looks like a regular, dirty project bitch. And and, and, and and like people hyping her up, bro, and whatever. I get it. Like they do that to everybody. But like the only real bad like rapper, like female, is is Lotto. And, and like she's killing everybody like um, effortlessly. And and I'm, I'm the first nigga to say that. And um, you know, sexy red is she? She's not cute to me. <laughs> Damn, B. That's how you feel? Damn. How y'all, feel? how y'all feel in the chat? How y'all feel about Sexy Red? Oh, look. Like, yo, they really do. like a fucking hot Cheeto that you drop behind the couch. Let me, all right, Sexy Red, no makeup. Let me see what pop up. Let me see what pop up. Ain't the Crip Keeper. Not the Crip Keeper. Uh, she, she look all right, bro. She's not ugly. She's not oh, it's ugly, sexy though. with two Ys. It's not two X's. It's two Ys. I don't think she's ugly. I think she's attractive. And it, she don't not got a lot of pictures on the internet, period. It don't matter if it's two X's, two Ys. They ain't really got her in the algorithm. Let me see. She's not ugly, but I understand what Brown's saying. She's made up, though. Like, yeah, like she... she They're put together. Yeah, she's well put together. I, li- I like her style though. It is more her style than anything. I think and, you know, I think that um the reason why people like her is because that um she's relatable. One. Two, she's 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 like every she's like that hood friend that everybody can relate to or everybody wants. Right, right. Right. She's I mean, the girl she's the girl that you call if you if you know you in a fight and you can't scru- scuffle and and she come for you and she scuffle for you that's that's the type of um friend she gives and she's and she's the fun hood girl that's her brand image yeah, oh look at henry k is wild the nigga said she look like super hot fire and drag <laughs> yo nigga, yo you know pop stop it bro nigga said hot cheeto with dirt the rabbit hole is not jacking her but i don't think yeah. that's ugly though. i'm not even gonna sit here in front of her like that she's not ugly She's not ugly. Oh shit! Someone said, "If you can't see that it's a transformer, you blind." No, that's a whole woman. You know what? This is Atlanta. Let me just shut up. I, no, Christina, this is Atlanta. We don't know what the fuck going on. Bro, they posted her sex tape and everything on social media. She got a vagina. Yeah. Wait, I need it. It's on. It's on social media on Twitter. I need it. They posted everything, so she she's a woman. She has a whole vagina. She not ugly though. Suki is pretty too. Nah, but she wild tomorrow. She like raw. That's why bitches out here in Atlanta is giving out all this fucking disease tomorrow. She love raw dog and all that. <sighs> I don't got nothing to say. Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Don't tell me you on your raw dog Atlanta shit too. Cause... I'm not on no raw dog Atlanta. Nothing. I don't. I don't. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm not playing Russian roulette. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no. Not me. It is crazy. This this world is crazy. That's all I gotta say. The algorithms be pushing some shit, man. I be noticing. Yo, for real, right? The algorithm push what the fuck they want. And the algorithms be pushing. I'm like, yo. Wow. That's crazy. Like, they don't even push, like, classy women like women doing you know like for example this girl out of africa she own her own law firm they not pushing that in the algorithm though i wonder why honestly as men uh we like hoes 
but we don't want our wife to be a hoe. We want our wife to be everything that, like, you know. Um, that is a retarded uh, logic, though. But it's true. I'm just giving you game. Like, you know, our wife. At least you're honest about it. Yeah, like, like men. They do. They love promiscuous women. Um, they love things. They love when women dress promiscuous. They love, um, you know, the idea of a promiscuous woman, but just not them. Not the one you go tie down. Because yeah, it, it, y'all it's not cheat because on wives to... with the hoes. Y'all what? cheat on your wives with hoes. So it'd be like, oh, no. and it's sad because y- yes, yes, and it's sad because oh, is, are we moving to relationship talk? Wait a fucking minute. Ah! Hold on, hold on though. But we gotta send them super chats if we want to go down this rabbit hole. Are, are we going to go down this rabbit hole? Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Is this the hair growing frequency? No, it's a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Brown. Continue. I just had to say that. Relationship talk vibes. Oh, okay. Uh, no, nah, I was just saying, like, at the end of the day, when, when men cheat, it's not it's not out of emotion. It's not a net that a man, a, a man a, um, if he see a woman that he want to have sex with, it's only because of a physical attribute, not necessarily we want to have any type of emotional ties with that. Um, and I, I just feel like, you know, um, like, um, I, I'm not uh, big enough on cheating or, or anything like that. All I'm saying is, is that at the end of the day, men um, like the idea of hoes. They, that's who they want to have sex with. But but like you know, other women like they categorize women. Like I, I don't know if um, real niggas do. Like you know what I mean? You like oh she's she's for the streets. It's something, but she's a sexual object. Then this one right here, oh she's someone that's stable. And really, I'm gonna be honest with you. The only reason why a man one wife a hoe is to protect his own insecurities. And, and, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like you know what I mean? I have to worry about oh who she fucking on? Oh did she fuck the homie? Like that we think about shit like that. Like you know, it, it's it's really to protect. Sounds like a bag of bullshit. A bag of bullshit. Shout out to on the super chat, but you lucky you sent that comment with the super chat or when it got posted. Because my shits was my shits was better than you know. All right, we ain't gonna argue. Let's go. <laughs> Wildin though. Shout out to Jazzy. So men want a hoe, but they don't want a hoe. But they really want a hoe. Uh, yeah, right. I don't know. I, no, I, I'm you, black, you, I get it. Yo, no, she's right. Okay, let me say this, right? Men, <laughs> no, men want a hoe, but he want he want that hoe to be his hoe. So when I say that, I mean like he want he look. That's why yo look. Yo, for real, just y'all just might as well all just jump into polygamous relationships. It'll save y'all a lot of trouble, and it'll save the men a lot of trouble. Just jump into a polygamous. So y'all like to say, well, you know, you know, men should just be honest from the gate. But you you have to understand, there's this like preconceived notion in this world that most women don't want that. So we might get the woman we like, but we want to stick our ping ping and 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 and, and hold Mary a little once in a blue. But if we bring Mary into the fold and she become a wife, Mary ain't got to be a hoe. You, you know, I'm fucking it up right now because I was drinking. Let me shut up. Hocus, are the polygamous algorithms kidnapping you? I follow this page, Black Polygamy. Because I'm noticing a huge push on my algorithms lately for polygamy. I'm seeing Yo, for real. It is I, men I, live in apartments with four wives, three wives. Because we've been to we be talking about it. Like that for real. They really pushing it on us. But that's good though. I'm happy. Keep pushing it. Thank you, algorithm. Yeah, I'm oh, I'm on a passport, bros. Like like I'm going to be a passport, bro. And, like, I need to live that life to see, like, you know, what it's really about. Because I see a lot of women hanging on passport, bros, which even, um, you know, interests me more to be a passport, bro. However, like, you know, I just feel like, uh, and, then, and, and it's kind of crazy how, like, some women bust it psychological aspects saying that oh man want to manipulate those women or whatever no that bitch is grateful for running water that you bitches take for granted like you know what i mean running water and you know electricity and shit like it's not my fault she's not used to that the, the finer things in life like you know what i mean i get to introduce her to that shit so like you know passport bros seems like the most logical thing so you're gonna go to a deprived community and date a woman y'all complain about women Y'all complain hey, about hey, that's women. Objective. Hold on, let me finish. Y'all complain about women being gold diggers here, but y'all going to those other countries 
to let women deliberately be a gold digger. That's not what well, 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 see, they're not digging for gold. It's more like for, like, you know, um, um, silver or something. I don't they're know. Tra- no, let's be, but, but, let's be clear this, here. This, they're trying to survive. Are they not? They're traditional women. They understand and respect the men. And they're going to do the traditional stuff that you guys wouldn't do because you guys on the, on the Western side think that they, they didn't put y'all equal. So, like, y'all think that y'all, y'all don't know how to, not y'all on here, y'all don't really know how to treat a man. Like, Christina's. Hey, hey, Christina, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Christina, yeah. Wait, hold on. Hey, Christina, I'll ask you a question. Christina, do you hear this, Christina? Christina, do you hear this? <laughs> Bullshit. Do you hear that? <laughs> Bullshit. Christina, do you hear that? What's that noise? You hear it? What? Yeah, I hear it. What is it? It's running water. You see how you did get um excited about that? A bitch overseas wood. <laughs> and like you see, like you, you hard to please. You bitch is hard to please. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my nerves, man. <laughs> so so wait, so you want you want, you, us get excited be, about that? you want us to be like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for running water. Boy, if you don't take your ass on, they gonna run your pockets like they do here. We and just want we just want y'all to respect. Look, this is the oh, I y'all want us to respect bottom tier shit, and nobody's oh, doing that. All we want y'all to do is respect us putting our ping ping in another woman. Bullshit, y'all. That's it. Y'all, y'all go, y'all go ahead. How much it costs to send y'all over there? <laughs> How much it costs? <laughs> If, if I got two wives, then that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about every woman. How much yeah. it costs? How much it costs? I want to get rid of y'all anyway. How much? <laughs> Super chat, 1500 I'm out of here. Get brown here. Get brown here. Man, pass, here. Passport bros for life. Like, they, get brown out of here. I got my passport. <laughs> you got your passport? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Then we going to record it. Then we going to call our phone, put it on YouTube for y'all. We out of here, man. So y'all go to another country. And have fun with a woman who could barely speak English. Yeah. All what right. the fuck that got to do with me? Like, my, see, yeah, look. I don't care words that come out of her mouth. All I care about is what she do. She goes, I ain't you Yeah, just clean up. You that. Oh, what the? I'm done with you. Like, I'm fucking yeah, turn done. around, bend over. Yeah, oh, I, I, sucky, sucky. You understand that? Yeah. That, that type shit. Silent. Christina, get get hopeless. <laughs> you, closer, you are closer to him than me. Go get his ass right now. I, I You know, I would. And then guess what, Yoli? They're gonna get tired. Of it. It. They're gonna get tired of it because men love a challenge. So they're gonna get tired of it anyway. I don't know who the fuck told you yeah, that. Don't they'll don't. get bored. They'll get bored. They'll get no. bored. And they'll be coming back to the America woman. Oh no, see, that's what's wrong with this, this, this westernized woman. They think we want to try. <laughs> we really don't want it. We want it the easy way. That's why we fucking whack up like a thousand women. Men, see, see, I look at I look at us like it's like baseball, right? You take a fucking thousand swings like baseball, your bat average might be 192, but it don't matter. As long as you fucking hit, that's all that matters. As long as you get a hit. So we'll swing a thousand times at a thousand. As long as we get one or two, we good. But we don't really want to be swinging at a thousand. We don't like to be let down, but we like, so what are you talking about? We don't want it the hard way. We want it easy. Let alone having to talk. Oh please! I don't, I don't. I don't like the just men out there that probably like that. I don't. I don't want I, at this point in my life, this age, this stage. I don't want to hassle to get 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 a woman. I don't. I don't want to court you for six months. So I don't have time for that. I gotta take her out. Six months later, she still ain't give me no pussy. Get the fuck out of here. So Lucas, you don't even have a problem with getting. So what are you talking about? No, we just gonna saying. act like he really I'm, struggling I'm, I'm in the woman department. Like, no, we just conversate. I don't, I don't. I don't have a problem getting women, but we just conversating. I'm just saying. Is, are, are you a passport bro reject? Because usually, the passport bro is usually the reject in his. Oh, own. for real? I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, so I'm not. I'm not a passport bro reject. So let me say this, right? I, I let, think- me, let me say this. Let me say this, right? I just know most women that I talk to, or that I conversate with, or mo- most women are not. Into what I, I what I want for my future, and and I and I but some are, and 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 I be conversating with something. I'm just we just talking right now, and uh, um, I don't know. Maybe I might have found one of my wives, maybe two already. Who knows? I'm just saying how I feel. That's we just talking. I'm not a passport or a reject, but I won't mind 
going to check it out to see what it's about. So I'm with Brown. Like, I'm, I'm single. I'm a single man. I'm a single, young, black, healthy man in shape, willing, willing to, you know what I'm saying? Like, just live life. And I, I don't mind going to see what that's about. Okay. So, I mean, check it out. If it works for you, I'm happy for you. I'm happy in whatever you decide to do. But I'm just being honest. I just think that men going, clowning women for being gold diggers in in America that go into another country to basically fund a person's whole life is just contradicting. So basically what you're technically saying is that the bill is just too high in America. So you five dollars five dollars is not a lot of money. Who like, you talking about Jasmine? Put it in the chat. Who are you talking about? Jasmine said you ignore your wife, focus. Who's my wife? Put it in the chat. Get them Jasmine. All but, I gotta say is, I was, 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 was you just saying, Christina? Because well, I want to respond to that. All I'm saying is, y'all complaining about women being gold diggers here, and all we care about is money, and blah blah blah. And then y'all gonna go take care of somebody in another country? I just don't understand it. I yeah, really I, don't. I, I'm hey, listen, so, all right, let, me, let me ask you a question. Why? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't? Uh, um, why wouldn't like a uh, someone living in poverty move to um, or like someone living middle class move to uh, Beverly Hills? Repeat the question. Why wouldn't someone uh, middle class move to Beverly Hills? Why would it? Yeah, why wouldn't they? Anybody would move to Beverly Hills. I know, but why would why can't they, or wouldn't they? Because they can't afford it. Oh uh, yeah, it's too expensive, huh? Yeah, it's cheaper, like some places else. But yeah, that, that's neither here or there. All I'm saying is this, like you know. Um, <laughs> At, at, the, at the end of the day, like you know, spending five dollars to support somebody for a year that that's nothing. That's that's just drops in the bucket. Like you know what I mean? Brown gave it to you with the running water. I don't think they understand. Like, <laughs> y'all want, but that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Y'all like, want, want one of the <laughs> bottom tier shit, and it's and it's and it's, and it's obvious. Y'all, yeah, y'all want women running water is not bottom tier. No, right? y'all want women to humble themselves, and that's the problem. Stop trying to humble women. Period. Because how you got here is through women. Period. Well, we, we understand that, but that has nothing to do with. So you shall. Uphold. How we got here? You just switch the whole. Don't do that. Don't switch no. the whole. <laughs> what the? Yo, bro. What the fuck was that? How you got here? Yeah. How yeah. you got here is through a woman. Hello. So yeah, you should you should put a woman on a pedestal. Who the fuck you talk about? You but, should put a woman on a pedestal. You should want to pay more than five dollars. The hell. It's not about it's not about wanting to pay five dollars. It's, it's well, not even you know what money. five dollars to do in Thailand? Are you fucking playing? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Don't say something. I know I know some Thailand girls. Them Thailand girls ain't settling for no five dollars USD. The Stop ones it. you know, they probably ain't girls because you know at the end of the day. But that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is this: like you know, my hundred dollars in fucking Brazil are going way further yeah, than America. at least like that, though, those women understand. Y'all women don't understand. Y'all don't have the gratitude and appreciation over here. Like, go to Dominican Republic. You might have sex with one of the baddest women in the world for 100 US dollars. Like, y'all women over here, y'all, they got to take y'all on dates. The date, 300. The bag is 400. The the nails is, is 100 now. Nails ain't $40 no more. The nails might be 200. The fucking eyelashes, the hair, the clothes. And then... Uh, you know what? I I realize that I don't want to give you none. When I could go smash fucking uh, uh um um a uh, uh, fucking what's her name Jocelyn or or, or Roseanne in Dominican Republic it might even be their fake name. A hundred U.S. dollars. No. Have them for the whole weekend. You know, and 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 you know what? That's, know. But I'm but but you know what? I find it be interesting. There are women who would allow that here, correct? But. Those those women that would allow that here are not the ones that you desire. So that's the problem. Ha, I got that it. That is true. That is true. I got it. I agree with that. I agree with that. Because there are women here who will allow that. I've seen I see men get away with high rate robbery. No, that's true. I, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. When I go there, I could be like, hey, look, what's up? I can get you section eight. What's happening? What's good? You know what that like you you are act bougie with that, like it ain't nothing, but like you know. So no way. So yeah, so you mean to tell me you want somebody? That's the thing about men. Men want somebody that want, that is gonna accept them where they are. Child, please, y'all better get out of here with that shit. Ain't nobody about to accept y'all where y'all are. Y'all better step to the plate. 
Step up to the plate. What that means? Step up to the plate. Uh, I, I, I want to learn. Step up to the plate. Tell us, ladies, what that means. Stepping up to the plate. Yoli, you was trying to speak. Go yeah, ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I feel like you gotta be ready for that though, because Hocus, you know what I've been through. So I did that for many, many years. I did the whole, like, I just everything that they've described. I did that for many years, and I wasn't appreciated. So the person on that other end also has to be ready for that level of love, for that level of honoring your person. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people could say, I want this, but when you have it, a lot of people fumble that shit. So I'm just saying it's cool to want that and it's possible because it is out there. But it's like, are you are you ready for that? Because that type of love is on a different level. It's a very spiritual thing. It's a very, very intimate on different levels. It's mentally intimate, physically intimate, spiritually emotional. And I feel like there are a lot of people that say and talk about that they're ready for it, but they're truly not. So that's all I wanted to say. I took a black what the hell <laughs> I took a black thick, I can't even I got tongue tied I took a black thick chick on a date Wednesday and got irritated and almost didn't pay she lied about a job she don't work but want this or that come on this so people good. so people shouldn't want things even if they don't work I'm confused but she lied though like this is what men gotta go through we gotta deal with 30 of these before we like come on man but um the girl in Thailand doesn't work Hello. The, the girl in Thailand is a it's a um it's a it's a transaction. What's it's, the transaction? Hope no, you? they 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 click the do all the like sucky sucky five dollar sucky sucky. That's a transaction. It's the, with, with with woman Westernized woman. Lord have mercy. Westernized woman. They want like I just said. They want the, the dinner date. They want the roses. They want this. They want this. They want this. They want that. And then yeah, we want to do the sucky sucky. No, I'm just. Playing. But as a man, you should court a woman. You should always settle to the plate. You should, when you go out on a date with a woman, you should always meet her with flowers. You should always show her that you're willing and that you're resourceful. Always. I don't care what any man says. Like, my dad. What we do is just be a courting. No. You should always show that. You should always show you have the ability to be resourceful. If, you're, if your woman is out with her friends, you should um, pay for her friend's food and everything. You should. What? Like, yeah, that's just what it is. Huh? Why, why do men owe that to women? I'm trying to figure out, like, why men do don't men owe, owe that to women? You don't have to do shit. You don't have to do shit. That's a thing. You don't have to do anything. But I'm just saying, if you really want to show that you really care about somebody, uh, that you really want to court somebody. I can't hear you. What you say? What does women go show for men? Like, why do women always believe that this is what men do? <laughs> You have to open the door. I want my door open too. I I I, I want to like you know. I want you to pull out my chair. What the fuck? Like why is it? Who make that shit <laughs> up? Like that is fucking crazy as fuck to me. I mean, I, I get like, the whole like to be you know, water dined. You know, it's cool. Like, let me like. I feel like it's cool. Like you know when pay, men pay for shit, but it's cool too. It, to pay for men. I ain't gonna hold you on that way. It's kind of cool. Like, you like, I got Yo, Lee! Yo, Lee! I'm sorry! Yo, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm not... Yeah. No, no, listen there to me. Go. Christina, Where's hold up. Hold up. Because yeah, I'm not... Fuck that woman cold um, shit. No, 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 no. It's not even... Yo, Christina, no. do that woman cold shit right no, now. No, no, no. <laughs> We're not gonna do that to my sis, Christina. Because she's right about a lot of stuff. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. But that's also... I, I don't know. That's me. And I'm not I'm not being a pick me tonight. I promise I'm not. But I'm just saying, like, but the thing is, what I'm getting to is after I say this, is it's just a reciprocation of energy. We can do that in many ways. It doesn't always have to be um us pay, you know, someone paying for something. It's just I think what Christina is saying is a reciprocation of energy. And that could be done in different ways. And it's not that hard. It's really the little thing that go a long way. It's valuing your partner. It's, you know, your favorite, your partner's favorite candy is Reese's. So before you get home, you go stop by, give them a Reese's. That small gesture goes a long way. It don't got to be flowers. It don't got to be 
this or that like that just lets them know wow this person was thinking of me they know what my favorite thing is you loving your partner in their love language not your love language maybe your love language is receiving gifts but their love language is physical touch so you know you take that into account and you love them in that you know what i'm saying it's like little, that's what i'm getting from what christina is saying it's pretty pretty much that reciprocation of energy so i don't think any of you guys are wrong i think it's just meeting in the middle you know but i i, I yeah, think I feel that like... reciprocation, i feel like reciprocation on the woman's end should come after she sees like where everything is gonna go with the man if that makes sense i don't think that she should be coming out her body and doing like like i feel like when you do stuff like that men will look at you like oh she doing too much let me let me run away like you i i understand the science of a man and i understand how men think if you start doing too much like buying him boxers and doing stuff like that he's gonna be like oh she thinks she my wife let me run over her no 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 it would like when we see that type of shit, it make it make niggas want to do things unconditionally. It makes when when nigga, the thing is the obligation factor. Like when 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 the niggas start feeling obligated to do things or feel like like he has to do it, then that's where it becomes problematic. I feel like nowadays it's not the 1960s where like you know um you know men just make a cre uh way way more than women. I think women is making you know um almost as much as men and like in most fields like probably like the upper sector. Like you know you probably still have that type of like sexism however we live in a totally different generation now so i believe like you know it should be both ways uh men and women should do for each other like and, and that's just that's just uh what i believe i don't believe that a man should be paying for everything like it's women that really believe that a man should pay her bills or a man should do any, anything like that is crazy to me like that is where do we draw the line from prostitution and, and relationship like but, but then crazy. again brown there's this is the thing and i've said it before right like <laughs> There are people out there for that person. So I think, and I've said it, you just got to find like-minded individuals because what Christina is talking about, there are men that are willing to, and actually love doing that shit. They love courting. They love spoiling. They love paying for everything. It, for some reason, it does something for them. So they can control so I just, you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, but if it, she go ahead, go ahead. Child the Nuba, so Thank you, newbie. Thank you, newbie. At the see Nuba Soul is on point and she lets us <laughs> top of the hour super chat, y'all. Let's go. So rabbit hole. New 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 uh um who rules <laughs> new rules in a rabbit hole. We need at least thirty dollars an hour to keep the lights on. It, it it costs to keep the lights on in the rabbit hole. It's like it's a community and the generator sometimes die out. This is a well oil machine and we need support. So it's 128 people in here. Nubasol already said every hour on top of the hour, we're gonna let y'all know what we need. Nubasol set off with 10. We need 20 more dollars. And that it doesn't have to be everybody sending 10 dollars. Some everybody can send one dollar, three, four. We're gonna add it up, you know, get and if it goes over 30, it's even more of a blessing. But we need y'all to support the rabbit hole to keep this engine running. We need it. Okay, so throughout the hour, I'm gonna keep shouting it out. And if we can't, then we just gonna have to run to the Discord because that means that the lights is gonna turn off because the lights need to stay on. So thank thank everybody. If you're enjoying the conversation, just support anyway, man. And just send a dollar if you can. Come on, you just need twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is nothing to 129 people. Like I don't want the same, I don't want money from the same people. Okay. It's a lot of y'all in here. Support the movement. One dollar. If I can't get one dollar a day from you niggas, then I ain't worth nothing. 50 cents a minute. If I can't get 50 cents a minute, that's $30 an hour. Then I'm not worth nothing to you niggas. It's like Hocus just fuck that nigga. We're gonna listen to him and just not support him. And Load up the super chat. Load it up. Let's go, y'all. Load it up. Let's get it. 20 more dollars. Let's go. Period, cat. Period. Yeah, but all I was saying was just I think it's about finding like-minded individuals. We're not all the same. And shout we gotta to stop Kat. thinking that. I feel like we try to make shout out to you, Kat. Thank you, my man. We we try to make relationships like a just black and white thing when we're all different. And it's like it's about fine. But see what happens is people shout out to Charles. Thank you. Keep it coming, y'all. Thank you. 
um, people are honest with each other from the get go. And then that's when shit goes left because people present a certain thing in the beginning and that's not who they really are. And then that's when you see relationships go left. So I think if people are honest from the beginning, like this is what I look for in a person, this is what I offer. You know what I'm saying? Just find a like-minded person. There's somebody for you, Brown. There's somebody for Hocus. There's somebody for Christina who has the same mindset. There's not somebody for me. There's, there's five people for you. Thank you. Uh, Thank here you. you go. <laughs> y'all know, I, y'all know, y'all, you know I'm not with Hocus and this polygamy thing. He, he, um, you, you know that, right? He need to find I didn't one know good that. woman. Find one good woman and just enjoy his life. Like, what is your problem? But yeah, I agree with what you say, Yoli, wholeheartedly. That's why I'm very honest in the beginning. I'm very upfront about who I am and what I want and what I require. And I respect that. I respect that about each of you because you all are literally voicing what you want. And I respect that because no one could ever say Christina was never real from the get-go. Brown wasn't real. Hocus wasn't real. You know what I'm saying? On what y'all want. And speak it, because there is somebody out there. Keep speaking that shit. What you want, who you want, speak that. You know, write it down, and you will have that. Master, Master, Master Akbaru, Sierra, again, thank you, thank you. I don't need the same people. I need some new people supporting, but I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you, Sierra. T-Rail, let's go. Got a topic. Is it wrong to go Dutch on first date? <clears throat> That's what T-Rail asks. What does that mean, go Dutch? What do you mean by that? Yeah, please clarify. I don't know what that means, um, t Rail. Going go- Dutch means going half on everything. Is it wrong to go half? Boy! Boy. That's what Christina. going I'm, Dutch I'm going to let Christina answer before I do. Go ahead. Boy, I could go out to eat by myself if I got to go half on a meal. Like, stop it. <laughs> Christina. I mean, we talking about like $200 tab. Like, stop it, please. Why you can't split it, though? Hocus, do I look like a go half on a date? Ba- uh, go half on a, a date type of like no. <laughs> Crazy, you know what? But but all right. So so let me ask you this. That's a red flag for you. Like if if he asks you to go half on the first date, it's over. Like you you wouldn't even move forward with him. I'm be like I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm walk right out. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. What if he drove there? Call the Uber. Nah, you ain't doing that. You hopping in the Uber or something? Yes, I'm hopping in the Uber. Absolutely. Ain't no man about to tell me I'm going half on a on a on a meal. A meal? A look a bitty meal. Are we serious right now? I disagree with that, man. What if what if he what if he tell a waitress that you ran out on your on your Porsche and then like you know the feds go to your house the uh, police go to your house they do that to people like you know like that'd be crazy. That ain't gonna happen to me because I didn't run off. You asked me on a date, so the I'm, tab is on you. I'm like spit the check, like you know what I mean. See, like that's how you know you in love. That's, if a man, uh, ladies, let me give you uh, some advice. A man really fuck with you when he pull up to the drive through and he don't separate the orders. That that's when that's when that shit is real. Like that's when like you know he got a thing for you. Like he 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 um tell a cashier to like bring it up together. Like like that's that that's like a big step. Like you know what I mean. And you should like really look at that and understand the compassion and the love that a man is putting in to combining the orders. And um yeah, I'm just giving you some real game. Like I'm just- I just feel like y'all in this chat and y'all in this room on this stage, y'all would never find it in y'all ego as a man. To ever ask a woman to go 50 50 on a meal. And if if y'all do, that's very shallow. But I understand, but I don't understand. I gotta see where she at with him. Like, oh, we friends, we going out. I never hit before. Um, you're never getting no pussy. Like, why do I need to pay for your to, for your attention? Like, that's crazy as fuck to me. Brown. We need to, we need to invest in this relationship so, together. So you telling me you go out and you deliver. Real quick, shout out to Just on the super chat. She made us reach over 31. With that, and but then D here come D with the ten dollars. We've over forty for the hour already, and it's and it's still eight minutes in. Keep supporting Super Chat, y'all. It costs to keep these lights on in the rabbit hole, and I'm I'm happy that y'all starting to see it that way. Yoli, just know it's my treat when we go on a date. Oh, oh, hey, 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 what's up, D? What's good, D? 
Ain't no woman in here gonna say, Hocus, I'll take you on a date. Yo, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, man. Like they see that, and that, that's their yeah, problem. Like, they don't that's... even to pay for the date. From my, they want to take my super chat money. I'm not giving y'all my super chat money. I'm not spending my my super chat money on a date with y'all. <laughs> I'm just All I'm saying is, this shit, I'm just if a man, that. if a man, if a man say fifty fifty, I just feel like, cause at the end of the day, I noticed that a lot of men like lately, like I've been listening to a lot of podcast stuff. A lot of men been saying like, oh. Like, um, women should go 50 50, women should go 50 50 on meals, and like men just make a big deal out of a meal. Where where I'm from, we don't make big deals out of meals, like, everybody eats, right? So, it should be no pressure on food. And if if there is pressure on food, because at the end of the day, as a man, if you're paying for someone's tab and you're paying for you're you're enjoying the experience just as much as me, so why is men acting like they're missing out? Just That's like, and yeah. Just, no. Yeah, so like if we if we never talk, like like a mo, she just trying to. I don't understand that. Like why? What? What? Like like why? Did, the audacity! The <laughs> audacity! Like for you guys to expect us to pay for the meal that like we we just met. Okay, we can go out, whatever you know. Um, things like that. That that's totally fine. But why is it up to a man? Back in the day when they used to do that, that's because women couldn't work. That's a fact. They they that's the only. That's the only reason why they was doing that shit. But now y'all can work. Y'all got business suits, all this shit. Y'all got Candace Owens and shit. All the uh, Kamala Harris, all types of shit. Oh, wait, yo, Brown, y'all. hold on, Brown, Brown. You just said some real shit, Brown. That we don't really <laughs> discuss much. They want us to. That's traditional shit. They want us to be do traditional shit, but don't want to be traditional women. Ooh, wake it up! And then when we go passport, bros, go get a traditional woman. Oh, we using them, but that's traditional. Us paying for uh, the mill, the men paying for the mill. That's traditional shit. So like, you, so what, what, when you keep, cause you keep bringing up this traditional point. Yeah. What about women in this time period? That's not traditional. I'm trying to understand your, your frame of, your frame of thinking. The thing that, that about women in this time period, that's not traditional is that they have this super independent mind state that they don't need a man. Um, what you say, if a man, if you, you, you call an Uber for nigga ain't paying for the whole thing. Actually, if he, maybe he just don't got it and he got to pay half. I mean, he like, yo, can you pay something I don't have it all or whatever? Nigga might be testing you, but, but anyway, um, w- uh, what's not what, what else is not traditional about women today? I ain't kicking it with nobody who who try. Yeah, not y'all in here, but some women act like niggas and they try to dress like niggas. <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, man, we be see women be having the Nike tech suits with the Air Force ones. Like, yo, let us have. Anyway, <laughs> hold on. There's a lot of things that's not true. I, I don't really want to. You want to go there? You want to go there? It's no, because you said you said you said super independence. But the only reason why um women have this hyper independence was because let's be real. Like I think y'all forget that women were trying to be traditional at one point in time. But guess what? They let all the forces that were against them take them away from the home. Correct. So women had no choice but to be hyper independent. Like are we forgetting the society that was created? So G Money said I dropped 400 on the mill. Last time I took a woman out, she ghosted me right after. I'm good, never again. If it ain't Dutch, it will it, it will work. But I think he's saying it won't work. But um I, I, I hear what you're saying, Christina. And and, and G Money, if that was your experience, don't let that ruin your an experience for a woman that you really like and you want to court. And if you really have it, you know, don't have that, don't have that bitter for every woman. But uh, my whole thing is this the, like in a traditional sense, women listen to the men. You know, come home, rub our feet. You know, uh, 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 cook, clean. Um, you know, the meal is done. You know, we, you know, they, they treat their, their, their men like, you know, women want what men <laughs> want. Like, women want to be niggas nowadays. Like, this shit is weird. Like, like, y'all want the treatment that men used to get from a woman. Which I want the men to treat y'all like it's, it's like the shit them flipped. Like he, he, yo, we don't want to argue. It's like it's like yeah, it's like woman that's not traditional, that's untraditional. It's like if they got their own, it's like and not about settling. I don't think nobody should settle, but they but they like they'll have that mind state. Like I ain't gotta do that. I got my own shit anyway. Like like they'll they'll let something good go because just because they got their own shit, like they don't iron no more. They barely they they don't fold clothes. Like you know they fucking you know. 
they making money now, so you know somebody in the laundry mat could fold clothes, so they let them fold them. That uh, part, <laughs> but, but, I, but I think that comes with. I think that comes with the I can do bad all by myself mindset. I think that a lot of women are like, you know, because they're, let's be real here, Hocus, there are women that have tried time and time again where they dated and, you know, they ended up getting used. They didn't benefit from it. They didn't gain anything from it. Are you reading the comment right now that's on the screen? No, what I'm saying to you, I'm speaking on the the same thing I'm saying. Like, he dropped 400 on on a mill and she goes to him. But that's a lot of money, man. That's a car note. That's 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 at least that's at least thirty percent on somebody rent or mortgage. At least it's so. Some, di- so let me ask G Money this: four hundred or come on, four hundred is not a little bit of money. Come on, take you on a date and you just ghost me. Come on, that's not. So G Money didn't have a good time when he spent that four hundred dollars. Gotta ask him that. Yeah, please drop it in the chat. Did you did you have a good time when you spent the four hundred dollars? Did you? If you had a good time, then yeah, that's that's yeah. That, that that that's a good question. What the fuck is that fucking? Are you a fucking escort or was you a fucking date? Like that's what not... the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like 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 that's like this shit is getting the fucking out of hand, bro. That's like not... I, I, yeah, but it's a good that's question, bro. I want to see his answer. <laughs> they that's had a... alien meat. That's not an escort. Like, what the fuck is you an escort? That's not an escort question. What that I'm is an escort. Is, that is. No, a, that is you that don't is understand a, what I'm trying to say, brother. The escort are probably so escorts pay for their own meal and they own and they own way to get in and shit. Like what that's the not fuck? an escort question. <laughs> but if he had a good time, I just feel like he shouldn't look at it in an aspect and say, "Oh my god, I spent four hundred dollars." Like, no, you went outside. You went outside. You sp- you spent money and you had a good time. And and maybe she didn't respond to your back. Okay. Next woman. Hello. But, but, but you know what, what? See, what y'all don't understand is this. Like, you know, are we. And I'm if you, I'm sorry, bro. If you ain't got four hundred dollars in the first day, your ass shouldn't be outside. No, it ain't about. It ain't. See, he obviously he didn't have a problem spending the four hundred dollars. That's not what you want. That, that's not what you're getting. He he don't mind spending the four hundred dollars, but they get ghosted. It's crazy. Like I played it the other day, where it's like men are visual first. I don't care what no men tell you in the world. Nigga is nigga like your attraction first. It's very rare, like maybe in like work environments. I mean, even then, nigga is attracted to you first. Nigga thinking with his ping ping first. Every man on planet Earth, every man, even the bozo, the corny nerd niggas with the glasses, they still want to fuck. They still horny. They just not. They just not aggressive like us type of men. They just oh, they hold it in. But them like- fucking geeky niggas is horny. So everything is visual first. Number one. And they fuck and they fucking it up for real niggas like me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause I they be like, oh shit, I was gonna get him some pussy because he's funny, but damn, I gotta get this nigga some pussy because I need my rent paid. And 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 and, and that shit like it's it, it separate it separates the real that's niggas that, from the fuck Like uh, it, it, it like it, it's just flip the switch, bro. It's like a polarity shift. Like, you know, like the fuck niggas is just paying for girls and shit and just doing it. Y'all think it's okay, that's how niggas supposed to do. But no, when a nigga does that, he's treating you like a sexual object, like a video the machine and, and, and it's essentially just to control you they don't like care that, the money yeah, the money down, it, 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 yeah and, and we're telling you this. like this, this is this is real facts like niggas i know niggas that like niggas got bitches in nigga multiple states and just send them money to shut them up come bounce in town fuck them leave and then they they really be tied down and really committed to them thinking they in a relationship just because the nigga be oh cash after her and that oh breaking her off paying her rent and shit no the nigga is fucking renting you Okay. Let me say this, right? For any any other woman want to come up here and speak, I put the the link in the chat. For any other woman that want to come up here and speak, we encourage the ladies to come up here and talk to us when we talk about relationship talk. Now, let me say this, Brown. I, I agree with everything Brown said. Now, G Money, based on what he went through, the the, the you know the text is still up there, right? Chatted live on stage. Now, what if G Money is like, damn, I paid four hundred dollars for a date. I ain't doing that shit no more. I ain't even get no pussy. You know what? Let me go look on Craigslist. Hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. Hmm. I paid four hundred and didn't even have, and ain't even like she ghosted me. Matter of fact, let me just pay hundred fifty, get my shit off. Oh, business deal done. Back to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. And then, and then now, oh niggas paying for pussy. Now can you, but can you blame them? Chicks like that fucking the game up. Y'all, y'all, y'all fucking the game up too. Ghost the nigga who come on man, you spent four hundred dollars, you just ghost him. You know what? If you're gonna ghost him, cash him, cash have him back two hundred in your head, man. I, I I wasn't feeling you. I ain't gonna be like that. And you know, like, come on, man. 
this shit, this shit is whack. You know, niggas tell you, you just feel like you ain't got to pay nothing. Yo, look, let me tell you something, right? I I don't went on dates and paid everything. And I don't went on dates and went 50-50. And I also don't went on dates where it was like, I'll pay most and then you have a drink at the end. And then the female was like, no, no, I got these drinks because they appreciated that. And I let them pay for it. Why not? I don't feel like I'm a no less of a man because I, I I let a woman pay for my drink. Like no, hey, sugar mamas, Hocus is still single. Any sugar mamas out there? Hi, there's 130 people here. It's the rabbit hole. I know some of y'all. You know, you want some of the Hokemeister? The Hokemeister? Hit me up. I, I'm accepting sugar mamas. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. I, I let a woman pay for my fucking life. Fuck that. Y'all, y'all women do it. If a sugar, y'all got a sugar daddy, he could pay for everything, and that's cool. Why I can't have a sugar mama? I know some sugar mamas out there. I want one. I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping, but like that way that, I ain't gotta ask y'all for super chats. Sugar mama, come holla at me. Go ahead, Christine. The men in my family are like real deal providers. Like truly. Like they got up and got to it and never complained. And never said, "Oh my God, women are asking for too much." Like, nah. If 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 my if my if anybody needed something, it was presented. I just feel like men these days. I don't know if men have gotten weaker or women have gotten stronger, because nowadays it's like it's a problem. Like, oh my God, like it's just all this complaining. I never seen men complain like this before, ever. And maybe I'm from maybe because I I I was born and raised in Atlanta, and like you know in Atlanta tricking culture and like men spending money is a thing. That's you know is a thing. Like I literally was at a party in New York and this girl and I was telling this girl how like I was from Georgia and she was like, oh my god, I love the I love the men in Georgia. They spend money out there in the south. <laughs> and I start laughing. She was like, the guys up here in New York, they don't want to spend no money. <laughs> So then she, I start laughing. I say, "Yes, girl, you better come to the south. They, they, they love to do that." So I just don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like people. The world is changing. Like shit is shifting now. It, it's not the same no more. I'm just not feeling the vibes. I'm not dating. I'm sorry. I'm not dating no man with no tradition. They have to be traditional. You, you have to uplift your woman to be with me. I don't care what nobody say. Like no, up, up, well, uplifting automatically. You. So does that mean financial? Like no, it, it's a combination between financial and um. So let me ask you this: So your wife, you, so have you ever seen the movie Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah, I've seen the movie Pursuit of Happiness. I love that movie. Will Smith, right? You seen Absolutely. that, right? Absolutely. Uh huh. So you're 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 the wife in Pursuit of Happiness. You you're not the you're you're the, the wife that's gonna leave the nigga with the dream, but then he, he and you see what happened? How he ended up becoming the millionaire? No, I was never, no no no. You said no. it. You're the wife that will leave that nigga because he can't uplift the financially. He couldn't uplift her financially. She left him. The nigga had to sleep in a fucking bathroom with his son. Well, what do you expect us to do? I expect her to thug it out. Go sleep in a fucking bathroom with him. (laughs) 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 That's facts, Hocus. Let me take something that's Bible. (laughs) She's not with it. Let me tell you something that's Bible. I love Hocus. Rule, rule number one to Christina Commandments. Avoid, <laughs> avoid, avoid. Christina the, Commandments. Yeah, crazy. Christina Commandments. Avoid the unlucky and the unhappy at all costs. Those vibrations will rub off on you and you will become stagnant, unhappy, and unlucky as well. Did you write these commandments now? Yes. <laughs> Christina Commandments is crazy. You so, have to tell us all 10 or however many one day. So I... No, we're not doing that. I'm sorry. And yes, if you if you get rich, oh well, I guess I just missed my I missed the bus. Hopefully the next woman can enjoy the, the wealth. But me, oh, I'm not shit. doing that. God damn. Said, ah, because it's like it's like how, how many times can, do you follow your feet? I understand if you if you do it one time, two times. But if you one of those people where you always in a messy situation, I'm I can't do it. Like I can't. Like it, it, it ain't that many damn problems in the world. It ain't that many money problems in the world. You could get back on your feet. See, if you if you do that, we we just not gonna work. It's just not gonna happen. Period. Point blank. And I would want somebody to believe me too. I, I don't even I believe her. If, if Christina love a nigga, she gonna be down for him even when he nah, bro. 
Oh, no. oh, he said, nah. nah, bro. Look, not not in this not in this inflation climate we live in. Hell oh no. shit, that's crazy. All right, well she said it, y'all. Y'all heard it first. So stay away from me if y'all feel like you know. Oh yeah, shit, stay away from me because I'm not doing that. I just feel like what, why? And then that's another thing too. Like a lot, of, I notice with a lot of black men, they always want women to struggle, do this struggle love thing. Like, why do y'all want us put us through hell? I don't want to. I don't want a woman to struggle love with me. I, not, I, not I don't me. believe in struggle love. I mean, neither. I don't believe in struggle love neither. That shit is swag. But is I noticed that men want because men be trying to humble us, women, and they be trying to make us make us be depressed and just like stressed out so we can prove that we actually love the man. I'm not doing that. Like this is not. Yo, know what? I don't know what niggas you talk about. <laughs> like, no, I know, but I noticed that like. Even when how people talk, like they want you to stay down with them, like, bro, no, bro, that don't work like that. Nah, I, 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 no, but yes, it do. See, so let me explain, right? You meet a guy you like, he has visions and dreams and plans, and he's working on them. Like, so, 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 like, don't, have we not seen, uh, even though they, even though like he's a bozo, whatever, you know, he's with the program, but. People like LeBron James still with the woman that he came up with. Steph Curry married the woman, high school sweethearts. Like people that st- that stuck with them. And but it, they was cool. never broke though. Let's be real. They was never broke. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Steph Curry. You know who Steph Curry dad is? Not Steph, Steph Curry, Curry but LeBron broke. was. He, 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 LeBron was never broke. No, they wasn't. They was in sports, so they was never broke. Ever. So you trying to tell me that it's nobody that stuck with? Suck with a nigga that wasn't broke, like. I mean, yeah, but I, I ain't gonna lie to you. The woman that the woman that I know that stuck with a man, you know, through through the hard times, you see where it got them. Let me tell you something about a man. You never want to be a man's um stay down girl. Stay down girls never win, and I'm not talking about celebrities. I'm talking about in real life. Stay down girls never win. If you and and and, and some girls will understand what I'm saying when I say stay down girls. I've seen women that stay down, and as soon as the man get rich, he leave their ass. Stay down girls never win. Instead, you should be a man's fantasy girl. LeBron was broke. Everybody's saying it, but go ahead. No, you should be a man's fantasy girl. And and that's what I mean. You should be the woman that a man sees himself being with when he gets wealthy. That's the that's the point. Stay down girls never win. Period point blank. And 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 anybody that believes that stay down girls ever win, show me where you want it. You're wrong. You're wrong. I, I, as a man, I'm telling you, you're wrong. Show me. So, like, the you, the fantasy girl would be like a Rihanna, right? Let me just say Rihanna would be a fantasy girl. And, um, like, I, like honestly, let me tell you something, right? A fish, you nigga. Like, I, I, I'm going to speak for myself. A nigga like me, that's a fantasy girl. I would love to have sex with her and maybe, um, well, that, I'm not going to use Rihanna because ASAP Rocky's my guy. And I'm not going to do that. That's his wife. Oh, uh, let's say uh somebody I don't care about, like uh, um like let's say Megan Fox, right? Yeah, we'd we'll love to sleep with her a bit, but I I would I would, if I had a stay down girl, I will never leave my stay down girl for none of none of no no woman. Never. Never she would have to leave me. I would never I let me tell you something, right? And this is all this is all facts. My first my first baby mama, if she if all she had to do was bring my daughter, my first daughter, to come see me. To come see me while I was in jail. She didn't even have to ride the bed out because it wasn't even. I was facing life prison, right? I was in there four years. I get it. You got a scratch. It's gonna need to be injured. I'm not even there. Whatever. She told me, nigga, you might get life. Fuck you. All she had to do was even bring my daughter and show me that she really loved me. I would have came home and married that girl. And you think she didn't want to be with Hocus for fifth when I came home? But if she was. If she would have been a stay down girl. I'd have been with her forever. I would have never left her for no woman. A woman that rides out with me, I would have never. I would have been like, "Fuck, this is my ride or die." Like, I, no woman. I don't care how beautiful, I don't care how rich or whatever, could never take me from a woman that's a stay down girl. You're wrong. I'm be real with you. I don't agree with you. You you know what? It may maybe different for everybody. From just the only on the super chats. Let's keep them coming in, y'all. Don't stop. Don't stop because we talking. Keep them super chats coming in. But get ahead. Yeah, run the super chats up. Um, you know, all I'm saying is from what I see and from what I just see, 
like I just feel like the stay down girl never wins. She never really benefits. I mean, yeah, in some scenarios, they do. But for the most part, I don't really see this. Because what, what I realize with men is men like what they don't have access to. That's what men like. Men like what they don't have access to. That's why men are constantly complaining about how women are doing this and how women are doing that. Because, like I said, traditional the real traditional women of the planet, they're not getting picked. Right? So, obviously, <laughs> men, No, they're not getting picked by the niggas that you want. That's what it is. No, you know, yeah, y'all want the niggas with money. Y'all chase the money. So the niggas with money is going a nigga with money is gonna get Bernie's Burgos before a nigga like me that will really love her. I love Bernie's Burgos. Bernie's now nah, I'm just playing, but no, real talk. Before a nigga that really love her, a nigga with money gonna get her first. So you're right when you say that. Put that into the equation. You talking about oh, the traditional woman is not getting picked by the niggas that y'all want. That's why y'all want the what the niggas y'all want is is picking the bad bitches the niggas with money, y'all chasing the bag y'all not chasing a traditional man. Okay, let me ask you a question though. Um, what's wrong? Like, okay, let's say two regular people they're not making six figures, right? But together with their finances, they're gonna have that. But what's wrong with getting a bag together mano a mano, which I see that a lot of people not willing to do. I, I love you know? that idea. I love getting a bag together. Go ahead, mommy darling. Yeah, and that's like something that we not seeing no more because they are and maybe the people that are living that life together that have been through the good, the bad and the ugly together, they're not on social media promoting their relationships. They're not putting their relationships for the whole world to see so that you know, they're not trying to be influencers. So I think they're like a lot of the people that, you know, like keeping up with the Joneses type of shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are a bit too busy looking at everybody else's relationship and plates while they just getting cold. See, that's the thing, though. Like, me personally, I'm just a little bit different. Like, I, I, I don't want to be with nobody who can't teach me nothing or can't, like, bring, like, ideas and, like, you know... <sighs> Like, I just feel like, what are we doing? If we're not progressing, if we're not elevating, like, what are we doing? I just feel like that's just how I feel. I feel like some people are content being where they are, period, point blank. And I don't want that. I want somebody who is always striving to be the best person they could be. I always want somebody who is trying to reach for the stars. Like, I'm one of those people. I don't, I'm not okay with people being around people who are content. I don't, I just don't, I, I've never been like that. I never will be like that. None of the friends I hang around are okay with being content. Nobody I know in my real life, my family, nobody. We never sat around and just wallowed and let life let life do what it do. Like we don't do that. Like we don't operate like that. So for me personally, I don't care. T like at the end of the day, yes, you have to come with money. Period. Point blank. But we're growing as well, and you you have something to teach me. Like I'm I'm learning. Like I'm learning. I'm able to learn. So I think a lot of people don't understand that and they don't understand my mindset and the reason why I personally would rather go for somebody who has a lot of money because I believe wholeheartedly I can learn from that person. So that's, I'm different. Shout, shout out to Self Made Cree on the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Let's get it, y'all. We halfway into the into the hour. You know, we're going to be announcing it top of the hour again, but don't stop now. Everybody in here can send a dollar. We appreciate that. Um, you know, we need at least $30 an hour to keep this machine running. You know, the, the engine has to run. It got to get gassed up every hour. You need at least $30 an hour to keep it running. And you guys are very much appreciated. So, I, you know, I hear what you're saying, Christina. And I love um, I love the diversity in the conversation. Um, I'm going to be, but for me, and this is how I think now at this age, my wives, W-I-B-E-S, is gonna <laughs> my wives are gonna help propel me and get and, and and you know help propel me to get rich and I'm gonna give it all back to them. That just it's, that's just just what's gonna happen. So like I, I I don't I don't feel like I need to come to my wives with a whole lot of money. I because I understand that once I get with them what what it's gonna do for me and, and how we're gonna get it together. Like Mama Dolly said I'm you know, I think you're talking like that from a younger person standpoint because we older than you. And, you know, I think when you get older, I'm not trying to say, yeah, put you down because your age. I'm just giving some like, 
you know, advice right. I just think that when you get older, you'll look at things differently, how we look at it. You know, we're building with someone rather than waiting for someone to waiting for someone to come with some money. My wives is gonna help me get rich. And that you know, that's how I look at it. I don't know. I feel like y'all been doing that since the beginning of time. And that shit ain't got y'all nowhere. And I'm not and trying you know to what? Because niggas like, don't be polygamy. Oh, trying to be oh um um trying to be everybody where they at and like trying to be like these holier than thou people and say like oh y'all y'all looking for love and all this stuff and I feel like that's where that's where shit cracked at. I don't care what anybody say because everybody was doing that. Like honestly, I think co highly. I think people should focus focus on their finances first and focus on bettering themselves first before know. they get into a relationship. I feel like people should no, get whole we can focus on finances together. You're right. Focus first. on finances first, but we can do that together. You know. Yeah. What I'm but what I'm saying is that that's why our generation, when y'all try to always bring up my age. We're the ones that's actually thriving and we became more proactive because we didn't sit around and say, oh, we're going to wait on love first. We're going to do this first. Like, nah, that shit don't do, that shit don't, I, I mean, yeah, like, love is great. Don't get me wrong. Love is great. It's beautiful. Y'all, y'all not thriving more than more than people our age. Let's just knock it off. We not? No, hell no. You sure? I'm 1 million percent sure. Okay. Why? Wow, because you're gonna say you're gonna bring up the internet. That's what you're gonna bring up. No, I'm not bringing up the internet. That's why, because you're gonna bring up all the young millionaires <laughs> and all that's on the internet. Yeah, okay. If you bring that, you bring that up, yeah. If you bring shit like that up in a work in a workforce and all that, like that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I need some statistics. We never I'm not gonna waited. let you wrong with that. We need no, some statistics up ahead. We never wait. We never waited. We never waited to to try to say, oh, we want to find love. We want to say if I love, like, no, niggas is focusing on their finances and they focusing on their mental health more than ever. Nobody, none of y'all decided to do that. I, I, feel, like, I feel like it's a, I feel like you're throwing a shot or something. I'm Yo, not like, throwing a shot. I'm, if you want to feel attacked, I'm, I'm looking for love at 40. Now, when I was your age, you 26. When I was 26, I was <clears throat> you, you, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was 26 facing life in prison, but when I was young, when I was in my 20s, I was, I was wilding. Like, so come on, what are we talking no, about? What I'm saying is, people, I'm, looking, yeah, nigga, look, I'm 40. I'm for, I know I look young. Yeah, I know I got young all, all I gotta I'm say 40. is, I'm, I'm looking for love now. Like, what the hell? That love shit don't pay the bills. Y'all, y'all, well, gonna, listen, me and my y'all wives, gonna be suffering together. Like, we're not gonna that's suffer. not true. Yeah, me and my wives, we're gonna get millions together. So, oh, that love. I'll be honest. Shout, I'm, out, I'm, shout, out, shout out to my potential wives in the chat. I'm like Donald Trump with my tongue. I hate to say it, but that love shit don't pay the bills. Y'all know that shit deep down inside. Hey, that's like that. Shout out to my potential wives in the chat. Yeah, come on, wives. Make sure y'all reveal yourselves. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, that, that love shit don't pay the bills. Stop it. Stop right now while we're ahead. Please. And T-Real, I wasn't looking at you anyway. So I share about <laughs> little nigga. She said T-Real, I wasn't looking at you. She had to throw the shot at T-Real. <laughs> Cause I'm tired of these people be thinking like they like little ass nigga. I wasn't even looking at you, no way. Roster elite. What's he talking about? We about to get millions. Hey, me and my wife's getting milk. I don't wife. even date men that talk like that. Talking about dark skin joint, corny. Me and my wife's gonna be happy. We gonna be millionaires together. We gonna be good. I don't know what she talking about. Yo, you know that song is my my daily affirmation, though. I love that song. Yo, I can't wait to hang out with the both of y'all in the same room. Y'all two are funny. Going back and forth, because Hogan is like the older brother that like don't listen. Yes, and then I'm the one that say whatever they say, say whatever I want to say. Er. You would never knock my pops out. My pops won't even touch you because we don't even. Oh, we, don't be, we don't be in the same rooms. You would never be able to breathe the same air as my pops. No, T Rose, relax though. You like, don't even know who my dad is. T Rose, like, he's, like, he's an avid rabbit hole supporter. I just we, we, we would gotta, never breathe the same air. We would never. We I, would I, never. I just said, y'all see what you're saying? When you knock your pops out, T Rose, that's going too far. I knock your pops out. Yeah, that's like, going. Oh, what up, know. Wendy? Wendy in the building. What up, Wendy? Hey, Wendy. Love Wendy, you, Wendy. Hey, baby. Hi, Wendy. Lungs for Wendy. Shout out to Wendy. Talk about he knocked my pops out. Bro, we don't even be in the same rooms. Yeah, you got to relax. You, Peasant. Don't don't post nothing like that, T Rose. Can't even breathe the same air. So serious about that. I'm don't get T Real out, y'all. Don't ban T Real. T Real is a supporter. We, he, he just give him a chance. Yeah, relax. Yeah, Aisha body. 
people be so rude and then when i get rude it sounds so bad huh that's all i that's all i be saying don't be rude with me because i ain't saying nothing to you i didn't even address you just be very clear but we would never be the same air anyway so all the shit you say just fell on deaf ears anyway well it's okay for y'all to feel like she wrong y'all could say that she yeah I don't, I don't I, this is my opinion and i'm not dating right. none of y'all and i'm not interested in none of y'all so i don't care what y'all think i'm being honest i really don't care yeah, not, okay. y'all not my speed you gotta catch up tomorrow anyway people see you as yourself and man invested in money but yeah that's all i gotta say like people just need to understand like that love shit don't pay the bills that's all i gotta say that shit don't pay the bills i don't care what nobody say Hey Wendy, I miss Wendy. How, Wendy, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm ready to play some Kevin Samuels, man. Every oh, time, Lord. every time you talk about relationships, I love playing oh, Kevin gosh. Samuels. Kevin Samuels can't humble me. I should have went on that show. I should have humbled his ass before. Nah, he would have got you. One million percent. Nah, he wouldn't have got me. He oh got my god! Me. Every woman say that he would have got you. I love the fact that me, I like when I speak, I offend so many people without even, and I'm not even directly talking to nobody. That 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 really be crazy to me. Like I don't even be directly talking to nobody at all. But people be so offended. Like I never I never try to make anybody feel beneath me or none of that. But everybody be so offended. Why? I don't I don't have no smoke with y'all, man. Yeah, y'all. We were having a good time. It's just don't take shit personal. You know what I'm saying? You know you yeah, should live these it. Be this is I just want y'all to know personal. this is Pocus and Christina. Like they're literally brother and sister. So if you're taking this personal, yeah. they just be going back and forth. We had a really good energy going. Let's just keep the good energy flowing, you know? Like yeah, I don't be taking a lot of I'm this in. shit personal. But no, not you, that. Christina. Not you, my love. You, I was, la I've been laughing this whole time. I'm going to my man. Y'all cracking me yes, up. Man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How yeah, fun, how about you play my girl, Shira? Play my girl, Shira, Hocus. Why you want to play Kevin Samuels? All right, so you, you play Shira, I play Kevin Samuels. Let's see who wins. Hell, you talking about? No, nah, I'm chilling, 40, but y'all, but y'all disrespectful in the chat. So I just had to let y'all know. Like, I'm not, I'm not one of them. That's all. All right, hold on. Let's, let, let's. Let's let's see what's going on right here with my man Kevin Samuels. People be so offended. This, like, this is a chick, right? This is a chick talking about she want a millionaire, right? So let's see what Kevin Samuels had to say about chicks who want men with money. He would have agreed with me exactly, Jasmine. He definitely. <laughs> I don't know that music he playing on. I think this is a live, so damn. I thought it was a clip. I thought it was a clip. Well, we could talk until she come up. But basically, these chicks be at wanting money. You know, Kevin Samuels, he, he typed that. Tell them, like, okay, well, what do you got this? Well, do you have this? Well, this what you don't got? Well, this what you got? And you really expect a nigga to want you because you got this? Like, and they don't like that at all. He putting women down. He just being real. And then they fucking said, when he died, they threw a party. They threw a tea party. <laughs> Yo, these women are ruthless, man. They ruthless. Oh. He blamed said, if you're not six figures, you can't have room to talk as a man. Oh, that's his opinion. I, the same way y'all don't agree with his opinion, we ain't got to agree with, 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 with that shit either. He disrespectful to men and women. Though. I had six figures multiple times in my life. I don't got it right now. So, you no, know, like, money ain't nothing. That shit come and go. I'll be there soon. And then when I get there, I'm going to throw it in your face and say, I'm one of those 7% of men. So I want, I'm picking and choosing my wives. I'm going to run through I'm gonna run through a thousand women before I pick my three wives. Just because I can, because I'm one of those high value men, right? Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what my man talking about. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean? It's being streamed live to YouTube right now, so... Now, I don't want to wait for a live. Let me go to a clip, because I thought this was a clip. That's a lie. I can't fast forward it. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Well, Gag, Christina, who you want to pull up? Pull them up. 
I don't know how to do all that. Oh uh, man, you can send it to me. But I gotta find it. I gotta find the right clip though. Hold on. Wendy, you just yeah. click the link, love, and you can come up. I'll send you the link too, love. I gotta go to YouTube because he. Because on his is lives, and I can't fast forward it. I gotta go to his clips on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. All I gotta say is, if I have a daughter, I would like for my daughter to, you know, operate in the life that said I operate in. You know, get yourself together, get your mind right, get your body right, get your soul right. Always have your money, always, and always demand the best, no matter what. Always. All right, let's see what sis got to say. Hold on. This is why an average woman wants a high value man. Kevin Samuels destroyed delusional women. Ah, let's see. How tall are you? I am five three. Dress size? Ten. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? One fifty seven. And what would you rank yourself? One to ten. Six. Almost thirty three pounds, thirty three percent over your ideal target weight, and you have two children. Overall, does that make you below average, average, or above average? Then why should you get above average? What do you need to settle for? You should get what you are. Let's be honest. Why should an average woman say she's settling for an average man? Why would you be settling and he wouldn't? So what would he be doing? Would he be upgrading? He don't got no money. So if he don't have no money. You ain't fine enough for no money. You said you're sick. You don't get money. Okay, so if I wanted a high value man, what do I do? Be reincarnated. <laughs> How tall are you? I am five three. Dress size? Yo, hold on. How much you weigh last? Yo, she said I want to have my muscles in two. Be reincarnated is crazy. You would have to make a, a salary oh, of over six figures. Oh, yo, this thing was an animal, son. Hold on, hold on. Oh shit! All right, let's see what this woman got to say. Hold on, I y'all. forgot a that a woman's know. not high value because of her income. The value proposition for women is different. You know, uh, she's attractive and appealing. Uh, as a comforting character, she's discerning and disciplined, and several other things. But money doesn't make a woman high value. Okay. Otherwise, you could go into Hollywood. You can go in, you can go to places where women have hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars, and they still have to marry. Okay. Men on a, right. a woman's not high value because of her income. Okay. The value proposition for women is different. You know, uh, she's attractive and appealing. Uh, as a comforting character, she's discerning and disciplined, and several other things. But money doesn't make a woman high value. I know. I, I, I wanted the ones, but he trashing them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was sorry. I'm being petty. But he ain't yeah. gonna trash her, but we know why, though. Why? Because she look good? Ladies, say it with me. Da 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 da. What? I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. How how mileage women get destroyed? Y'all are all out of whack with how men think. This is why you can't get what you want from us because you're valuing something up here that is a used vehicle with a lot of miles. Okay. Just because you hand washed it. You were 20 year old hot. You had 20 year old wound. You had 20 year old body count. You had 20 year old trauma. You had 20 year old experience. That's what we value. That's all it comes down to for us. <laughs> 
But don't you feel like with those experiences, a person can stop. add value to no. your life? No. Huh? Men value your youth, your fertility, your purity, femininity, submission, ability to cooperate, and fitness. And all of that is at your highest in your youth. The older you get, the older you get. No product gets more expensive with time and Hello? use. Have you ever been to the pawn shop? Yeah. All right. You ever take something you really value to the pawn shop? And did that hurt your feelings when they told you how much it was worth? Yes. I was like, what? Yeah. That's you. We the pawn shop. <laughs> Y'all are all out of. Yo, they don't like the truth. They don't like the truth. This nigga telling y'all how men think and we laugh at it. Many say that same shit to y'all all the time. Many say that same shit. Y'all don't like it, but it's true. Y'all don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. But y'all can argue all y'all want, but it's true. Like, once you, once you get older, the higher your mileage get. Yes, men miles get high too, but we are men. It does not the same. It's like it's it's, it's totally different. Yo, hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me see what else I got for y'all. My son Kevin Samuel to tear y'all up, man. Right. Yo, rest in peace to the goat, man. This thing is the goat. <coughs> May uh, he rest in peace. Oh my god. <laughs> Just don't necessarily feel like I agree with the fact that they exercise their options. Like, what if he doesn't? They don't deal with it. Like, they don't awesome. deal with them. If you, okay, look, if you have a problem with high value men having options and maybe exercise them, you're an average man. But you ladies want to complain about the very men that you want, knowing they are wanted by lots of women, that you want them to be specifically loyal to you. Sorry. And I think we should stop lying to you. If you don't want to deal with it, don't deal with it. Just based off how it was brought up, I don't necessarily think I would want somebody to like exercise their options. Which one would you rather have? The one. <laughs> That nobody else wants or the one that everybody wants? Pick one. Come on. Let's go. I, the one that, um, honestly, one. the one that everybody else would want. Exactly. So stop capping. You want the high value man. Deal with it. See what this means? You all want the same man, but then you want him to be loyal to you. No. I just don't, don't necessarily. Exactly. Like I, I don't I want to hear the truth. Just. This nigga ain't say nothing wrong for y'all to throw parties on his death. Like, this nigga was schooling y'all. Like, just... There's certain things that I agree with what he said, though. I do agree with certain things. Like, I do agree with the fact that I feel like you can't be, like, 400 pounds and saying, like, you want a high value. Just don't necessarily feel like I agree with the fact that they exercise their... No, my fault. That was by accident. Go ahead. What you were saying? No, I was saying, like, I, I agree with certain parts when he says that you can't be 400 pounds and say, like, you want a high value man because... High value habits don't even spawn the same guidelines with 400 pounds. So I understand certain things that he say. And then, like, for example, the one I watched one time when he was talking about to this one lady, she was like, she got four kids. And I forgot what, how old she was. But she said she had four kids and she want a high value man and she want a man that makes six figures. And it's just like, girl, we got four kids, which is like four different liabilities attached to you already. You can't say that you want you know, a, a six-figure man. I mean, you can, because who am I to tell you that? But it's, it's, Yeah, you can. You can be delusional. According to, yeah, you can be as delusional as you want to be in life. And, you know, somebody might take take care of those things. But according to, like, Kevin Samuel's standpoint, and as an image consultant, I understand what he means when he says those things at the same time. Do I think he has? Do I think he has the right to tell women what they should be able to desire? No, but I do understand, especially from a person being an image consultant, not a stylist, but an image consultant um, standpoint. Well, let's let's just, being that you said single mothers, he's he talks about single mothers here and how delusional they are. Let's see. Why would anybody want to deal with you? How about that? Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's the problem now, ain't it? You just described yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring, loving. The way you're talking it almost sounds like a dude. <laughs> Why would anybody want to deal with Come you? Come on, man. 
And and this what you, this and that's me real. This is shit. Look, he just putting it out there. Yeah, like for me, like I'll never tell well, women are on. My fault, go, my fault, go ahead. No, I'll net for me, I'll never tell a man my finances or like what I make. Cause like for what my finances don't matter to a man. So I understand that point as well. There's certain things I understand though that he does. But like I just feel like sometimes he says it in the most derogatory way that can be so mean that it's just like damn. Like he really just dropped the bomb like that on that lady, you know. My boss specifically mentioned that. His Hi. delivery. Wow. Hi, Brittany. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Okay, uh, so so before we get started, have you watched it? Have you, have you just joined in or did you watch it from the beginning? No, I've been watching it from the beginning. Uh, Is my music too loud or can you hear me okay? I, mean, I can hear you okay. okay. What do you got for me? Okay, so I have a question. Are you. Like, what's your grading scale when you're actually grading the quality of, like, vagina, I guess? Because you went, you you brought up the single mother thing, so I'm trying to figure out, is the quality of her vagina actually based off the quality of her sex or what she has to offer outside? Well, that was a joke. No, but I'm, I'm asking, like, just... Well, but, but, but I'm not going to lie and say that, I'm not going to lie and say that, hey, the values are the same. Men have said they don't want to date women with other men, single men. Don't want to date women with kids. Oh, excuse me. Which I think is totally. It's we all have. So, our by, own. so by so by that logic, that means they they value them less than women without children. But when you ask how much is my vagina worth, that's what I'm asking you. So are you saying well, that, that, worth less if I do have children versus the quality of my actual sex? Like that's Oh yeah, it is. Value. Yeah, it's worth less. It's worth less if you have kids, because it's already because you've already pushed a person out of you. Yeah, you oh, okay? Again, are you asking me because you? It seems like you're asking me a question to debate why I'm saying it. No, men no, will, I'm not trying to debate at all. I'm asking men will tell ask me ask men will tell you that it's worth less to them. Okay. So I mean, it's no different than okay. Let's see. Let's take the so. Uh, do you have a child? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's let's take the child away because it's too personal. Well, no, I don't take it. No, but let me give you my example. I'm doing it for a reason. It's no different than a man will rate a woman who's a virgin higher as far as worth than a woman who is, has who's been promiscuous, kid or not. That I can I can understand that logic, but I it's think the same it's logic. Very, you know, it's the Hocus. I don't know what just happened, but oh, oh, y- y'all didn't hear what I said? Oh, shit, I was on mute. Yeah, what you said? Oh, shit. oh I was responding. To, I was saying what he's saying is right. Where he's going with it, right? And I'm gonna pass it to you, and then we're gonna go back. But look, you can be a woman. It's a high value woman. With, let's say you worth six figures, but I know that you slept with ten industry niggas. I just mad niggas. Versus a, a a woman who only got two or three bodies, maybe one, and she's she doesn't have as much money as you. She's probably working at McDonald's. A man will pick the McDonald's. Ninety nine percent of men will pick the McDonald's girl. We don't we don't care about what you have. It's basically what he's saying. But y'all don't like to hear that shit. Your, your, yeah, your worth is in your vagina and how much you spread it around. It, facts. It doesn't matter how you feel about it. This is how men think. And y'all don't like to respect how men think. And that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to go on mute. I agree with that, though. I don't think men care, care about your finances because a, a man's job is to make the house whole. So it's like at the end of the day, men don't care about a woman's finances. Why, why do y'all need to care anyway? My money doesn't benefit y'all. So I understand. Cool. As long as we agree on that. All right, let's get back to what he said. The quality of the actual sex itself is what I'm speaking on. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I think you're talking about the sexual experience. Right, right. So, but if I'm going to put a price on something, then I should technically be pricing no, it. Well, I, but that, no, that, I get where you're going, but no, most men are like, most guys, a lot of guys don't even want to date you, deal with you. So, you're saying that, I, well, yeah. we really should change. You're trying to have a multivariate approach. Like, well, there's one thing to say a virgin versus a non-virgin, but we're also talking about how actual good overall. See, then that's on you as the seller to try to, how you gonna rate? How you gonna rate how good your sex is? <laughs> but that's what that that's what I'm trying to understand. So I'm I'm really just trying to understand how do we gauge it as a woman when you say, hey, what's it worth? So what should I be necessarily factoring in to come up with? Well, this? first off, well, first off, it has a lot to do with the package that comes in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. It has a lot to do with the package that comes in. What does it look like? Is it are you fit? The average woman, are you fit? Do you look good naked? Out of the shower, dripping wet. Your natural hair, your natural face, no makeup. That's the first thing. And if it if you pass that, then we have to go down to the uh, the actual maintenance of said vagina. Right. What does it look like? Does it look like a, does it look like undergrowth over there? Has it got a landing strip? What do we got? Brazilian? What we got going on over here? Then we got to understand what happens with the actual maintenance. Meaning, is the pH balance correct? Is there any kind of odor? Hold on, it's top of the hour. Top of the hour. This is good, good, y'all. I want to keep this room open. But as y'all know, if you're just coming in, welcome to the rabbit hole. We have 63 super chats tonight. So many. We have a couple of hundred dollars super chats, a couple of twenty dollars, five dollars, two dollars, one dollars. So many super chats tonight. Ten dollars. I appreciate everybody, everybody who sent the super chat. But this well oil machine has to keep the lights on and it has to have fuel in the engine to keep it running. So for this next hour, we need at least thirty dollars in super chat. There's 138 people in here. If everybody sent a dollar, 50 cent, we'll get there real quick. All right. Thirty dollars an hour. It, is fucking 50 cent a minute. If I'm not worth 50 cent a minute, then I don't know what I'm doing here for you guys. So please, if you feel compelled tonight, let's go. 12 hour, 12, it could be a 12 hour night because y'all take me away from my day job if y'all sending them super chats. Fuck that shit. I'll stay up with y'all niggas. I don't need to go to sleep. Y'all know this. Y'all know I could do the 12 hours. I did it for years with y'all. What we talking about, Cisco? What we talking about? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Cisco set it off for this hour. That's $2. 28 to go. I'm going to play the content and hopefully throughout the hour y'all send that so we can keep going. I don't want to have to keep pausing it to tell y'all this, but please send in them super chats. $30 an hour. That's all it, that's all it takes. If every if, if fucking 15 more people send $2, we got that. If I'm not worth a dollar a day to you niggas, then I don't know. That's $30 a month. If I'm not worth a dollar a day, then fuck it. I don't even know why I'm hanging out with you guys. We give y'all the best and raw content on the motherfucking world. And it's going to take the people to uplift me because the, because they shadow ban me and they take away and strip away my money when, and they demonetize me because of the content I give you niggas. So you niggas is going to uplift me and push me to the top, whether you like it or not. Remember, I told y'all that because we are family. So let's get back to the content. I would love to see the super chats. Keep going, to, you know, to keep going. Let's go. So do I get to still add all of those factors, even though, like you said, if you already are tampered with, then that deletes, I guess, whatever. I'm, well, I'm, I'm just saying, what I'm saying is there's some men, you're asking about a single mother. Some men won't even. No, no, not even just single mothers. I'm, okay. I know that because like you asked me if I had kids, I said yes. So okay. also went on to speak on, you know, my hygiene and what else I have to offer. Have you been to Antarctica? Yes. You know, just talking about in general. This is how men think. They look at the packaging. Right. They look at the, the packaging, but then it's also, all right, you can look nice, but then men look at a lot of things. But how do you know? You can't get to know all that. And initially, it's the external. It's the external. So, and do you, do you, do you not, but do you deny? Shout the Houston Rider, shout the Chris Keep them super chats coming in, y'all. Women's vagina, sex, higher or lower? No, I, I do, I do think that they do, but I just don't know exactly what's. Being 
factor. Like you said, when I when you break in, like you said earlier, if she has a degree, if she makes you know a certain amount of money, I'm I'm just trying to figure out how the grading scale works for men versus how women should even be. All that stuff was joking. I mean, that's okay. When it comes down to it, it really has a lot to do with looks. It has a lot to do with looks. Because if she doesn't have to have a degree if she's black and she could be on fries and McDonald's, she's fine now. Right. As long as she's fine and she's a virgin, it's okay if she works. She's not even a virgin, the fact is as long as she's not the neighborhood home. <laughs> and they had nobody else's kids. If I don't have to see if I don't have to see enough evidence that somebody else shot up a club, I'm good. <laughs> That's crazy. Christina, let me know anytime you want to jump in, I'll pause it. But Okay. He's going in right now. Let's go. Oh wait, I wait, I went back last night. It was like right there. We're constantly the calculators and we don't want to pay more than the other guy. We got you. So uh that's another thing. Your level, like it or not, ladies, for most men is your BD. Whoever you had a baby for, he got the premium. We don't want to, we're not gonna pay anywhere close to that, or we damn sure ain't gonna pay more than that. <laughs> I don't know, but Oh well, I, you, you don't know well. Ask me. Ask. Me. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think it's a lot of different factors to include. And I think it depends on men as well. Just how you said, it's certain. You know, certain quality of women. I think it's a certain quality of men too that can actually, you know, that can go lower or higher, just depending on where they are. Like again, I'll use the bachelor's degree thing. If it's like what you consider a high value man, I'm I'm sure his standard's going to be a little higher than a guy who doesn't have as much. Well, the kind of men that most women want but, don't, aren't going to go lower. You said what now? Kind of the kind of men that most women say they want is going to be lower. And we're also talking about now. We're also talking about dating versus keeping. See, I'm talking about just out the box. We're talking about many different things. <laughs> Hooking up and having a casual sexual relationship with a single mother versus marrying one is completely different calculus. What I'm ultimately saying is, on the open market, how much does it cost? And that's the thing. You want to put a price on it. You want to put a price on it, and you want. And the thing is, here's what here's what this. Does. So you feel like you feel this, like this, okay. this, 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 this is what women have been doing. You have been hiding the price tag, just like you when you go to the dealership. You look for the price on a car, and it ain't there. Because why do they do that? Because they want the salesperson to come out and negotiate with you. Y'all want men to negotiate the price instead of just putting. That's why Saturn was so popular. Saturn put. Right on the window. We want Saturn. Everybody's not. Saturn. Saturn. Hashtag Saturn in the chat room. Hashtag Saturn. <laughs> Hashtag I don't know. Saturn. I think we're all right going to disagree with this. I watch a lot of your content, but I'm going to agree to disagree with this one because I feel like by saying that, I think that kind of makes it appear that women aren't just having sex just because, like, why can't I just have sex with a man because I'm sexually attracted to him without <laughs> you necessarily thinking that that depreciates my value because I'm not necessarily looking for, you know, anything monetary. Hold on, hold on. You asked the question, why can't you have sex with a man just because you want to and not necessarily thinking, look at it as the uh, devaluing you? Right, like, why can't... Like, I'll answer that question. Hey, well, it's well, a double ahead. standard. It's a double standard. Women cannot have sex like men. You never have. No, no, no. I don't want to have sex like men because I feel like just biologically how my body is made, I don't think women are supposed to have sex at the rate that men can. However, I do feel like there are, like, it should be completely acceptable for me to say, hey, I want to have sex with this guy because I'm sexually attracted to him, not necessarily because I'm putting a dollar amount on it or I'm waiting 90 days or three Okay, days. but hold on, man. Hold on. But you can't. You, you can. Right. You say, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, listen, I listen. You, you say you want to be able to have sex with this guy because you want to. And you're basically saying, I'm going to not make you pay the going rate. That I would make this dude have to pay to take me out on three, four, five, six dates. You can get it because I'm just sexually attracted. You, my friend, have to pay. But you shit. know what? I think that's completely different. Like, I don't see a woman. Of course you do. Five you do. But the them. thing is, man, but listen, of course you do. You're a woman. I'm, a, And that's the problem. It's not what you think. It's what we think. I'm telling you, what you just said was perfect. I just want to have sex with this guy because I'm physically attracted. <laughs> you got to take me to Del Frisco. That's two different prices. No, flat rate pussy. Saturn, <laughs> right on the window. 
I'm sorry. I, it, it's a joke, but it's, it's something we all understand because what you're effectively doing is you want a guy who you're not necessarily wet for, attracted to off the rip. You want him to negotiate. That's why you don't want to tell the price because you want to let him te test drive and this and that. And you, you ever about a new car? <laughs> yeah. That's what you want. That's what y'all. That's what you're doing to the dude that don't get you wet off the magnet. You're trying to finesse the price. You got to put the undercarriage on there. And you got to put the Johnson package on. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, if you want to put the. Uh, it, by the time you walk out that coochie, it cost you uh, 150 percent more. Versus a dude that walk in with the jawline, he comes in with 850 credit score, his own financing and cash. He has a different buying experience. He does that now, and that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. He has a different buying experience, and guys are saying, "All right, cool." And if he has a different buying experience, you have a price discrimination on your coochie. Tell us the price. You cannot. What the hell is that? Real quick, shout out to Aaron, shout out to David, shout out to Cisco. We reached that thirty dollars for the next hour, so y'all got me for another hour after this. Appreciate y'all. Let's go. I told y'all. I'm uphold that, but still don't stop the super chats. Keep them coming and keep the support. This is a well oiled machine and to take the community to keep it running, you know, to keep the lights on because, you know, we want to keep the rabbit hole lights on, man. And um, you guys got me here. So let's get it. And this is a great conversation, by the way, with Kevin Samuels and his girl. I, most of the time he's down. She got good points. She got good questions, but he got good rebuttal. I, I'm enjoying this conversation. I, and I think y'all are too because nobody interrupted yet. So let's go. Be an escort or a streetwalker talk about uh, it's forty dollars, and it's like okay, forty dollars. If you charge four hundred, you only gonna do a tenth of the tricks. But everybody else is gonna be working. We men are going on strike. They're picking in the. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm, I'm it's funny, but do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna just agree. I, I get what you're saying. I just don't really think that that's what it is. Like I, I don't. I just personally, and I'm gonna just leave it at this. I personally don't believe that a woman who is maybe making, you know, this guy not wait, and then maybe this guy three or four dates. I don't think it's necessarily because it's a monetary thing or or a dollar amount. But again, like you said earlier, it's the difference between if you're just looking for sex and you're actually looking for a relationship. Because unlike men, I think women can grow to become like attracted to a man. I think if a man doesn't want to sleep with you when he but sees you, while you're doing he, that, man, probably, what you're not, what you're missing is. While a man, while you're letting a man grow to become attractive, he's still spending money in salt. But that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, that's what you're looking to get out of it. Some people just kind you know, of that's what he's look. See what you're missing, okay, ma'am? Put your place in the men. Put stop. Put yourself in the men's place. You're trying to tell me why it's okay, and I'm saying put yourself in the man's place. You're saying that I don't really see the difference in hooking up with this guy because I want to and then making this guy date me. Yeah, it is because one person's paying less than the other person. I don't see the problem in hitting it with him night one and then letting him grow on me. Well, for him to grow on you, he has to invest soft dollar time. It costs him more. How would you feel as a man if you had to pay more for something Again, somebody got for less? Just if you don't have that attraction, like I, I feel like either way, male or female, like that's just how it's gonna work. Like you're gonna have to put in more time if that immediate sexual, I want to take your clothes off attraction isn't there, like from jump. And I feel like that's seldomly happening. Now this is about to be this is about this is where the hard this is where the hard question about to come in. How's that working for women? Because women are most unhappy you've ever been in recorded history. Marriage is down. <laughs> and and it, what what you talking about ain't working for y'all. And no offense, man. No, let it work. It's not working because you're uncoupled, unmarried, children, and a lot of opinions, but no husbands and no happy relationships because you're not giving the men what they want. And, I mean, it's, just, it's a market question. So, I'm all right. Not, I'm, thanks for the oh. dialogue. Hey, you know what I love about the conversation is that like, you see how she talk? Like, she sounds very convincing. But when you're dealing with an elite, he's like, I hear you, but how's that working for y'all? Because it's not. Women are the most happy they ever been, most uncoupled.
Let's talk about it. Christina? <laughs> I do think that, um, you know, she, um, she, I do think that, you know, he made a point when he said that, um, men are visual in so many words and there are certain things that men want us to do, but it really just shows that men are, men are superficial. And this proves my point when I say that men create the market, men are superficial. And now that women are becoming way more superficial now how women are demanding money and all of the stuff it's now backfiring on the men but you guys created the market correct because every everything that you base us off of is looks because you guys are visual right that's basically what he said in that video so i just find that to be very interesting i really do and then he said um that their worth is lower when they have babies that's kind of insane to think that's wild and then he also said that what else did he say he's basing what he, he's basing that off of what you women consider high value men so he's taking like okay high value men are just men that make the six figures not then he's right i mean a high value man let's say a high value man at the age of 45 uh-huh he has he has his his old his his youngest child is maybe 16, 17, 18, already about to graduate, go to college. He meets a woman. She's beautiful. She has a fucking seven, eight, nine-year-old, three kids. But she's beautiful. Uh-huh. Versus this other chick who's not as attractive as her, maybe have no kids. Who do you think that high value man going to pick first? The one that's beautiful. No, but the, the, the one with the kids? Yeah, the one that's beautiful. I disagree. I think he'll pick both because both. I said both of them beautiful, but maybe one, the one with the kids, might look better. But a, a, a nigga, a nigga gonna pick. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong right there. A nigga gonna pick the one without the kids, and it's just it's a high value man. It's just a fact. It's like I already right, went through this. Like damn, she come with she come with baggage. Like she come with like you know what I'm saying. Like uh -huh. versus versus. I got the uh, like he's a already a high value man. He really got a pick of the litter. Like I don't have to deal with shorty with the kids. Like I might, unless unless he really fall in love with her, like he gotta really love her and be like, yo, I love. You know what? I don't care what she got. And I'm not saying that this doesn't happen in real life because it does. But what he's facing off of what high value men want, not just what the average man want. And let's be honest, high value men is not picking the woman with the kids versus the woman without without the kids. All it's just a fact, right? Hmm. It depends, though, because I've seen men pick um, the woman that's beautiful with three other kids before. I've seen that. I've seen that, too. I've seen it a lot. We talking about high value men, though. We talk, we talk, no, I, and that's what I said. I said high value. I'm not talking about anything beneath well, that. The majority of them ain't doing that. That's not that. But I will say it's not like a thing that's happening, like, super often, you know? So I understand what y'all say. I get yeah, it. I know a lot of high value men. You know? What Kevin That's Samuels true. is saying is nothing rocket science. Honestly, it's not. Even though he make it seem like it's rocket science. No, he don't. He, you you know he don't make it seem like it. He he says it. He says it like it's normal. But you women have yeah the way y'all think y'all don't y'all not understand y'all don't understand when a man is giving y'all man game. He's mm -hmm. he's telling y'all how men think. And y'all don't want to accept it. Well, I, yeah, it's like it's like y'all women be like, well, I don't care how men think. This is how things supposed to be. That's not reality. Let, all right, yeah. you know what? You know what? All right, let's let's go. Wait, hold on. Which one we gonna go to? Y'all want to see him roast or y'all want? No, I'm talking. Um, mm. You know, want to see him roast? Mm -mm, Cause it's, it gets ugly. They do. All right, let's see him talk. Let's uh, let's see another conversation. Because the world has told her. Hello. Hi. The world has told her that you can do that. Were you on? Were you have you been on before? No, I have not. Um, time. How old are you? I am 37. So you prepared to rent a gent? Um, no, I no. no. Kid, do you have any kids? Yes, I have twin daughters. Okay, so two children. Yes. So have you ever been married? No, engaged. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm not prepared to rent a, a boo. I mean, I. I'm dating, so 
I do have male friends just in case I want to go to a concert or Mm -hmm. out to dinner. Um, If I need anything fixed in the house, I just have a maintenance guy who just comes through a repair guy I know who I pay to put my TV up. Or So in my example, Mm -hmm. those male friends you have don't exist. (laughs) Okay. See, the, the male friends you have, have decided my non-sexual attention only works if you're going if you're going uh, uh, have mm-hmm. sex with me. So if you need somebody to take you to the concert, that's cool. But we getting busy, and we're gonna what? know that up front. So I'll be friends with benefits, and I'm just, and I'm just saying because that's the way it's supposed to be. You shouldn't get a man's non-sexual attention, and you and he doesn't get your sexual attention. Well, so, I actually invite him to the concert. Like, if it I doesn't matter. Kids, I nope. Do the, and yeah. men say, and that's why I said, if you can't find a husband, find a man. See, that's see, you ladies have been able to cheat the system for too long. Hi, I'm not going to have sex with you, but I'll, <laughs> I'll say, I'll give you a ticket, something so forth. He don't want the ticket. He wants to have sex with you. Mm-hmm. You do know that, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and if men started telling you no, if you're not going to have sex with me, lose my phone number. I don't want to be your friend. I don't have female friends. I agree. A lot of my male friends have been friend zoned, so they they they. Yeah, that just means me, you don't want. That, 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 they, they want. Them. They want. They want to do what? They want to sleep with me, but I friend zone them, so they yeah, have. Yeah, and that's much- bullshit. I mean, cause it's like that's like that's like going up to the lion's cage. And slapping at the lion. Ha ha, look at the coochie. You can't have it. You could have friends on me. I don't play that shit. I, I got plenty of pretty women around me. I don't play that friend zone shit. I've been in the friend zone before and it's a punk position to be in. It, it, and y'all know what y'all are doing. So that's what I mean. This is why Renegent and Renaboo is for women like you. Because why can't you find a husband? That's a good question. Um, yeah. I was engaged uh, just recently, two months ago. We broke up, so I've been in the but process. How I'm old are your husband. children? They're they're they turned fourteen this past Sunday. Wait. Uh, did you go to college? Did I go to college? Hmm? Yes, that's where I met their dad. All right. Uh, you have a master's, bachelor's, what? I have a bachelor's and a master's. I'm a PhD. Are you in Houston? No, I'm in Philadelphia. Close and, oh, god damn. Oh, yes, I'm shit. horrible out here. It's hard. The, the men are. Uh, no, no, you're going to tell me about my brothers in Philly. <laughs> Is you Philly. Are you from Philly? Yes. And only one, Philly, Detroit, tell me. Chicago, St. Louis, some <laughs> of the most difficult women on the planet. But here's the thing you <laughs> met your. You, you met your baby daddy in college why didn't yeah. y'all marry um he was he was a kappa who was all about partying and good enough to have living. babies with yes yes but yes. did he want to marry you yes he did and you didn't marry him because because he was still trying to even after college he was still trying to party and be a kappa and i was the one Man, don't talk, you're talking shit about my friend <laughs> Man, but my thing is uh, uh, in hindsight though you married him. You had his baby. You had his babies. Yeah, I'm not trying to talk bad about your friend. My dad's a new. But what um, I'm saying, okay, take that away though. All you have his children. He yeah. was young. He wanted to party. That's what you picked. No, he was older than me. Actually, I was a freshman and he was a senior. And then I was a. Senior. Ain't no time. Yeah. All right, so so you didn't marry him. You got two babies. You got him here on the cock carousel. You've been no. riding around. You've been around, and you've been riding around. You engaged to him, right? Um. Yes, I was engaged to him. All right, to him. And then yes. after him, have you been engaged again? Yes, two other times. That's why I tell you the queen of engage, engagement queens, man. I'm telling you, your grandfather's yes, back yes. again. So, but to be what's honest, wrong? But what's wrong with you? To, well, to be honest, in my twenties, what I was doing was just dating for fun. Uh, dating, I'm going to be really blunt, dating like, you know, rappers, athletes. And by the time I got, I, I was ready to sit down. I was already in my 30s. 30s and I'm, and I'm like, like, oh, daddy, shit. daddy. I, I've done give away my most precious years 
to just partying and being on the scene. And now that I'm in my 30s, I'm trying to date and I really don't know what I like. Keep so going. I'm trying to figure out what do I like? Because for the past four years, I've been engaged okay. twice and there weren't, there weren't the ones. Have you been in therapy? Yes, I'm in therapy now. Uh, let me ask you a question that you probably... All right, we're going to get back to it real quick. I just want to ask a question. Do y'all feel like those the men is the problem or she's the problem? After, from what you heard. She was a thotty. I was dating athletes, rappers. You was on the scene while you was engaged, sucking dick. And y'all don't like when you start saying that, telling the truth. She was a thotty. She's beautiful. Bad. Everybody gonna want to try to sleep with her. Look how she's fucking gorgeous. And she was promiscuous. She's admitting it. She was the fucking problem. They don't want to hear that though. I don't think she was the problem. Of course you don't. I think that men wanted to get I think that men wanted to have her have their cake and eat it too with her, and she just wasn't having it. That's all. I don't think that she was the problem. I think that oftentimes we always have to put claim the place to blame on women, but it's just like she just told us. What do you mean? She was she was engaged three times. She was sleeping with athletes, but she she said, "I ain't gonna lie, my twenties I was wilding." And then by the time I turned thirty, I tried to settle down. It was a you you a thotty. But she was a frat boy. He was a frat boy, correct? Like I'm not. I'm listen. I I, I went to college. three times. She said three times she was engaged. Three times. I understand that, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, she, she the dude that she had kids with was a frat boy, correct? He was a kappa. This and and let's be real. There's a certain type of man that are involved in these organizations and how they operate and how they party. Like you you don't you don't think you don't think that. Okay. We well, what that got to do? What that got? To do? We don't know nothing about that. We know what she said. She said, "I ain't gonna lie. I was in my twenties. I was wild, and I was sleeping with rappers, athletes." She basically telling you, "I was a thotty. and I tried to settle down once I got thirty. She said it herself. This woman cold shit got to stop sometimes. Sometime. All right, go. All right, yeah, I got it. Cause it's like it's always our fault. Go ahead. It's not that it's y'all fault. It's what she said. I can see if she didn't say it. I'm going over what she said. All right, so let's finish. They haven't asked you, sir, because thank you for being honest, because I was going to get to it anyway. You, you've you had plenty of... You, if you've been with all these unsuitable men, you've had plenty of suitable men that just weren't exciting enough. Exactly. Especially, but that's what, but what did your dad do for you? Um, he owns exactly. Retirement. And your mother and father married? No. All right. So, what do you? I don't care about what you want. What do you need? What do I need? I need. I need a man to bring stability in my life. Um, I need a man to profess, protect, and provide. You ain't had that with the three fiancés? Yes. Look at his this is Miss America book because that's the Miss America goddamn answer. World peace and feed the kids. Professor taking the fight. Now you need somebody nope. to check you. No, but thing is, ma'am, do you know what you need? Yes. Because I'm, I'm going to just go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a limb here. You've had plenty of men throw money at you, throw all kinds of stuff, and you've had all that, and you still ain't had. It. You're right. Stability. Stability meaning what? Um. I just need a man who's consistently himself, not just like, so my past two relationships is like, they go hard and then no, once they got me, they fall off. Of course. So I just need a man to be consistent. I'm well, why consistent. do you think, why do you think that is? Because they, they look at me through Instagram and they think this one thing like, Oh, IG model. But what they do not know is that, I'm corporate and I'm very humble. So once they find out, like, oh, this girl is really just an everyday girl. Here's your usually like, because of the kid. Thank you, Kevin. Don't let her get away with that shit. Come on, give it to her. Oh no, he he has four kids. No matter what else. Yeah. What, what the, wait, 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 let me back up. 
You're a whole mess. <laughs> and see, I'm letting this play because I'm letting this play because you you've been honest. But man, look, women with pretty privilege, I have really little to no sympathy for women like that because you you have more opportunities than most women, and you mismanage them. You're right. I mean, could you date an average man, an average man, an average black man making forty thousand dollars a year? Honestly. Um, Honestly, Come on. no. I expect a man to make as much as I do or more. What is and how much and what what range are we talking about? Uh, six figures. And that can go from hundred thousand to nine. Uh, over, he has to make at least over one hundred forty thousand. I know, but that's I, that, that's what I'm bringing to the table. I'm only yeah, asking was, to bring to the table. Yeah, but I, I gotta I gotta pause it there. I gotta pause it there. Human beings. I want to talk to the human beings in the room. I don't know. I'm maybe because I'm a <laughs> shut up. Maybe because I'm a man. But do you think you should put a price tag on a person you can to date? Because you might you might run into the most honorable, loyal, beautiful person in the world. But because they don't make money, a certain amount of money. In a matrix, in this slave system, you can't be with them. I could never be with a woman like her. She just, she turned me off. She's beautiful. She just turned me off totally. Like, I can never, ever, ever be with a woman like her. Never. Like, never. I, like, she could never be one of my wives. Ever. I don't care how, how good she like. I don't care how much money she make. I, that, that's a turn off for me. Me, personally. Like, I don't know. You have to make this amount of money. In this slave system, you have to make a certain amount of money? This is my thoughts. I don't know. I, I, that's just me. I, I don't know. Anybody want to uh, react to that? Or we can continue. Okay. I'll continue. And um, yes, she is beautiful, bro. Derek, she's beautiful, bro. Like, stop it. She's she's beautiful. What you bring to the table is old and you. I mean, due respect. I mean, I talked to. The, I talk. Look, what you bring to the table is two fourteen-year-olds and a bunch of hard minds. What I we take thought your, if we take your money away. Is what you bring to the table. What basically what I've been coming up with this past year is I make good money and I started my own business. Can you don't care about I, that shit? Well, can well, yeah. Can I meet a man who make less than I do, but who is loyal, who can who can give me everything I want, but he makes less than me? I'm Let me tell you to, something. The, the man that you, the man that you need. Okay, okay. She just she just changed my mind. She just said she is willing to, you know. So she, I don't know. She's she's he like like he said earlier. She's a hot mess. She's all over the place. She don't know what she wants. So um, yeah, it, I I feel a little different that she said that. I think she said she is willing to. So I'm like, yeah. Make less than you, and you probably need to deal with one of them because they can give you something that you lack. Humility. Mm -hmm. That's what's solid. I, I think of my friend in Philadelphia, and he's the kind of man you would actually need, but you would bypass him because he didn't go to college. He's probably smarter than most of the guys that you know. Oh no, the okay. yep. yeah, but, but they don't. But but if, but if they don't make that kind of money, see, you're in a trick bag. Mm -hmm. You got two kids early on, and your standard is extremely high. You've had men with money. And rappers and all this other kind of stuff. But the problem is, do you really bring that kind of value? Because if you did, you should be able to maintain. You can acquire men left and right, but can you keep a quality man? No, you know why? Because when I had a quality man, I was like, oh my God, this guy is so boring. He want me in at a certain time. He doesn't want me at a guy's VIP. So I was like, you know what? It's over. But guess what? If I can go back and take that man back, I'll take him back was right I how, how long ago was this this was three years ago i shouldn't be in no man's vip no nope. things i shouldn't wear so i'll take him back if i but, could but did but but did you really not know that 
I didn't want to hear it. I wanted to do me. Well, this is why I don't mind this, this being, being punitive, punitive because I think. Dottie, like I said, don't blame me for calling it out. She just told you. Dottie. Why blame me? Why get mad at me for calling it out? I love being, I was right. You was wrong. I was right all goddamn long. I was right. You was wrong. I was right all goddamn long, Christina. I was right. Come on. She's a thotty. She just admitted it. So I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I love the honesty when it come out. It's not that us men. Yeah, she had fear of missing out. Okay, and, the, and, and, it, and it cost her the best thing in her life. She just basically said. Because she'll take that nigga back. She said he was right. She was wrong. He was right all goddamn long. Y'all woman don't like to listen to us men. All right, let's keep going. Women who do what you do to have a price to pay. Because you had a suitable man and you did not want to get on his page. I mean, it's not like he was asking you to do anything other than be what you said you want a man to be. See, I got to ask you something. You own your own business, right? Yes. But you, you Do you work for yourself or do you have a, a job as well? I have both. What's the what's the larger percentage of your income? Your job or your business? My corporate job. All right. If you were involved in a, an accident where, where you your face was disfigured, and unfortunately the company you work for downsized and they outsourced you, who would you be? I would be a trust fund baby, unfortunately. Well, at least you know. Well, so what you are is an executive wife. Okay. And I'm shout out to Ashley, shout out to my homegirl uh, Ashley Smith. I mean, I got, I went to Houston to talk about pretty professional problems, and I've come up with this term executive wife. Women like you fit into this category of executive wife, meaning you're gonna have to make a deal with a quote unquote high value man. Um, and just like a CEO has an executive assistant, y'all will have a marriage of practicality, and eventually. Love may come down the line, but it starts with respect, duty, um, because he'd be buying a pretty woman, taking a pretty woman and taking on your kids and you get your higher value guy. But it ain't going to be romantic. It's going to be practical because any other the other groups of men cannot even come close to your lifestyle expectations. And your husband is likely going to be in his late 40s, 50s, maybe even early 60s. I'll take that. That's that's why, that's why I said executive. This is why matchmakers make sense. And maybe if, if you're being honest, you can honestly sit down and hammer out a deal with somebody at this age now because you recognize that trying to just get out of here and do it, you know, vast number is bullshit. So this has been a good back and forth. Thank you for being honest. Thank but you. I think when you told the truth about getting out there and I think some women needed to hear that. So Young ladies, recognize beauty ends. Beauty ends. Uh, peace out. Okay, bye. bye. One thing y'all women don't like to admit, beauty ends. And that punani is not going to look beautiful for the rest of your life. Them lips going to flat one day. Somebody going to say, ew. <laughs> but that nigga who love you... <laughs> He ain't never going to tell you that. He's still going he's still going to suck on those lips even though it's, it's ill. But that's my baby. That's my ill baby. Ill, ill, this look ill, but that's still my baby. Please stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm cringing. Like, <laughs> oh shit. Yo, here too. But that was a great bill too. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why women hated this man so much. That's definitely y'all. Let's go. We 37 minutes into the hour. Let's keep hitting that super chat. Anybody could send a dollar. We got 69 super chats tonight. This is probably the most we had so far is because we have a new system in place. We need at least $30 an hour to keep this machine running. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We we have 30 for this hour, but we can, we still accepting more super chats. So let's go. Y'all got me up as long as y'all keep the um the lights on. You know, once the lights go off, then they go off. But um, yeah, go ahead, go see that. Yeah, I think that um Honestly speaking, I think that it she just had a fear of missing out. I, and I have the same problem as well. Like, I'm always looking for the next best thing. So I understand, like, her, her frame and her point of view. But unfortunately, 
it left her with two kids and no husband. That won't happen to me because I ain't having no babies. But I understand. I understand what y'all saying. I really do understand what y'all saying. Y'all saying that. But at the same time, I still feel like women shouldn't settle. Like, they shouldn't settle. Period. They shouldn't settle. I don't care. I have a fear of missing out. But I shouldn't settle. I shouldn't have to settle. We 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 should. I mean, what's what? You, what do you mean by you shouldn't settle? You, like, you shouldn't settle for the nice guy who loves you, who don't got six figures, versus the nigga who got six figures and got options, and he choose you because he like you, he think you're beautiful. But why do we but always have to? He, he, he think other that. woman is. He think other woman is beautiful too. And he gonna cheat on your ass. You so why, why, why do you yeah. have to say? Why do you have? Don't be calling me one day, yo, bro. Yo, oh, I'm like, what up, sis? Yo, this nigga, this bitch ass nigga, man, this nigga make a man out, but he cheating on me. You watch. You okay, so what? Why do you have to say that the six figure man is obligated to cheat on you? Because he has options. Yo, but I'm saying, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The broke, the broke nigga got options too. Though. I'm about to say that the the four figure nigga is cheating. You, you y'all women want to be delusional. The four figure nigga is cheating. So all I gotta say is like that. Six figure nigga? He could he 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 yo babe, I'm going on a business trip. He he flew out two or three because he can afford it. Maybe two. He got one stay in this hotel, one stay in the other one. I mean, if this bitch act up, I'm gonna go to this one. Or he already hit up his joint from that town, wherever he flew out, or he already hit up one of them websites to have uh, escort sites to have a good time. He's the six figure nigga. He can afford to cheat on you and you never know. He got a he got a secret he got a secret credit card to pay for the escort. And like I said, the bro nigga would cheat on you too. So it's almost as if you don't win. You just have to pick oh, your poison. I got you. I got you. Sister. Yeah, you and and that's my whole standpoint. Period. Point blank with this whole shit. If you're gonna deal with problems, at least have rich problems. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, see, let me tell you this. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. No, I just said uh, you tweaking like. Like you, you got too much expectations, and that's why. See, like I've never heard a passport bitch say that. And, and like, let me tell you this: look, <laughs> at the end of the day, I, 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 I've never heard a girl overseas say no shit like that. And that's the very reason why passport bros is the future. And like you know, rich problems is crazy to me. Like you know, see, like see me, a hundred thousand dollars a year. That that's that's regular. Where I'm at, that's regular. That's 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 really regular. Like like the like the mid wage jobs is a hundred thousand dollars. Like yeah, you pretty much I'm in that range, heading in that range pretty much. Like you know, yeah, like it depends where it's a hundred thousand dollars or like will be a go a long way in like you know another country and shit. Like but here it's different. You know what I mean? And y'all got too much expectations. Like niggas should have money. What what are you what are we talking about? That's a like, what are we that's not an what, what are we no, that's just mandatory. It is a, it's a mandatory, no, it's, yes. It's, it's, it's mandatory. That means you putting up, it's you put mandatory a to you, which make it an expectation. Okay, Brown, he, he right. Brown is right. No, you no, you putting a price tag on the pussy at that point because Facts. it's like, oh, I, I'm only fucking with a nigga that, that had this right here, this much, but then we can negotiate like type shit. That's that's and really as a man, that's and, and if I was a man, I'm only fucking with a, with a woman that's beautiful, so we even. But that's not always the truth, though. That's not always hey, yo, the case. Hey, yo, look, your beauty, your, your beauty is not is not worth my money. Like at the end of the day, that there's fucking there's there's woman that's probably not as beautiful. Yo, let me let me say this: this woman that's not as beautiful as other beautiful woman I had that gave me better head, and I choose the better head over over the beautiful the beautiful woman any day. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's how men think. <laughs> guys, guys, that's guys, how guys. men think, though. We're, I'm gonna choose the better head over the pretty face. <laughs> Listen to this guy, yo. This is this. I'm a man. I'm telling you how we think, and you don't want to listen to it. No, choose I, absolutely. I think you should choose the better head. Do whatever. Do whatever you feel in your kitchen, right? But in my kitchen, the bag is mandatory. Period. Point blank. Period. It's just yeah, I, it I, I don't like, know what world you, you live. You live. I agree with Brown. As far as like the overseas, they not doing like. Yeah, Pat, yeah. Brown. You said you, you, you passport bro, in it, bro. That's so you watch out, y'all watch our daughters today, broke men who can't re be resourceful. I, I mean, I mean, if, if my daughter was to date a passport bro from like you know Italy or something, I guess like that's her decision. Like, I mean, I don't see no problem with that. Like, he feel like, oh, all you bitches out here too submissive. I need me a um 
uh, um, a woman that's like that's gonna run over me and, and manipulate me and take my money. I'm gonna go to America. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's. I want my daughter to be happy. Whatever decision she makes, whether she choose to jump in a polygamous relationship or she choose to, I don't. I don't believe in controlling nobody. Like I just don't. You know, I just don't want my daughter to be abused and to be hurt. That's it. You know, when, I, when I have when I have a daughter, I'm gonna teach her how to run over fuck niggas, like you know, some real shit, like you know, like and and really till she find the one that can meet her match at the end of the day. Cause yeah, I, I swear, y'all be thinking y'all be dating some cool ass niggas that be that be like really uh spending money. Money on y'all, they treat you like a high priced prostitute when they do that. I promise so you, guess, to God, so then, like and, 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 and guess what? And guess what? The men who do, the men who don't spend money, what are they doing? They doing the same they shit. Still, they, they still go fuck, but they just gotta wait a little longer until like that nigga not fuck with you no more. You get tired emotionally. Then That's you what I'm saying. Like, we and then go back to him with money and be drained again. Yeah, like we already associate people who are doing financially well to like being some sort of a fuck nigga and the broke niggas. The broke niggas not fuck niggas. Like that shit is delusional. Cause broke niggas are definitely fuck niggas for sure. Why you think there's this whole movement? No, we thing? we're not saying that. We we did, but this what. So I, I I see how Christina is looking at it. And like, she, but, uh, but we're not saying that yo fuck with the broke niggas because the rich nigga gonna cheat on you and the broke nigga not. We're not saying that. We're we're just telling you like yo like you're basing your decision off of money instead of integrity. Like that's what like you know what I'm saying. And and it might be a, a, a nigga with money with integrity, but you are y'all are dismissing integrity totally, strictly the money. You saying it yourself, money first. You saying it, yo the bag, the bag, the bag. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, you, it's like, it, there's no, like, but that's know, not true, though. Cause, like, you I'm saying it, though. Am I the only one who heard it come out of her mouth today? That it, maybe, but maybe my delivery, cause I, I sound very cutthroat. Maybe it's coming off that way. But at the end of the day, yes, integrity is a thing. Like, for me, I definitely believe in integrity, but you just gotta have the bag with integrity. Like, I'm just one of those people, like, you just gotta have it with integrity. I don't care. I'm not one of those girls where, like, Money will just keep me like just because a man make money, like oh, he just gonna keep me there, he can do what he want. Like, no, that don't that's not happening. You see, you expectations, you want money and integrity, that is crazy to me. Like, so why like, I can't have both? Respect both. No, like, 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 it's either or. See, that's the thing that people be wanting, like, like the um, to be courted and like treated like a lady by by a gangster, and then it's just like you know, y'all expectations be fucking out of this world. I'm just saying, my my, how's my expectations out of this world? You can have money and have integrity. You could you could have money and do good business. Can you not? I don't think people understand. No, I feel no, like I, no, just, no. This is, like when they, this is pure it, delusion. Yeah, you know what? Women do whatever the fuck y'all want. Cause these men, they try to make it seem like you cannot have what you want. You yes, you can have what you want. You can have whatever the hell you want in this reality. Stop trying to limit what women can have in this reality. If you don't fit, if you don't fit what's what that woman is requiring in her kitchen just get the hell up out the kitchen and go to somebody else's kitchen that's all i'm saying see what i'm doing is fighting trafficking because that's what this is this is pretty much diet trafficking and like and when you really look at it like and, and you really identify it from like a psychological perspective that's that's what it is is diet trafficking it's not diet trafficking because how are you trafficking i'm not trafficking anything I don't know. I just feel like so 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 women should just never bring up the fact that they want money. Like this is insane. Like I I, I really hate I really hate this for y'all, and I would really let, hate let me tell you this. If your if your if your if, if your pussy good enough, it'll find you. That's all I'm saying. Like real real talk. Like like if you if you bad enough, and your pussy good if, enough, that should have find you. What do you mean if my p word is good enough, it will find you? What will find you? The money. All the money's to find you. Like, 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 if you, if, like, pretty much if you bad, and then, like, you know, a nigga go know his, like, oh, oh, she bad as fuck, you know, she worth the money that I make. I'm a fuck with her type shit. Like, cause niggas don't fuck with girls that are, like, even trying to approach women that, that they don't think their money is worth. Like, and, and that's some real shit. And, like, and, like, I said before, when a nigga do it, it, it's not out of out of no love or nothing. Anything you dealing with material, that's what the relationship based on. Oh, you fuck with this nigga because he got money. Basically, oh, you his property. He he like he had a right to tell you what the fuck to do because he's renting you and he's paying his good hard earned money for you. Your product. You know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna rest my mic because this this I don't I don't understand language that y'all speaking. <laughs> I'll be honest. 
I really don't understand the language. And the reason why I don't understand because, like, I'm, I, I just don't have these experiences. So I'm gonna just rest my mind. Y'all, this, this y'all fight, not mine. You don't want to understand. No, I understand what y'all saying, but I'm, I'm gonna rest my mic because this doesn't resonate with me. Period. And people in the chat keep saying like, "Oh, like she's gonna be lonely. She's alone for a reason, baby." Don't don't worry about what's in my what's in my crib, because baby, I could I could show you, but I don't I don't have I have to prove anything to you. So, but let's not make this personal, because y'all don't know me and I don't know y'all. Hey, right, Christina, check it out. On some real shit, you expect way too much from niggas. I'm, I'm gonna just keep that like straight up with you. Like you, you're requesting like way too much. Like you need to um, you need to lower that price tag because that's really what it is. Essentially, it's a price tag that you place on upon that vagina. I'm just being completely honest with you. I'm not placing a price tag on nothing. All I gotta say is, at the end of the day. I'm demanding what I demand. It doesn't, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm demanding what I demand. It is what it is. That's just what it is. Money has to be there. I'm not by the day no bro nigga. It's just not happening. <laughs> like, hell no. What, what, is your, what, what, what is your definition of a broke nigga? A man with no drive, no purpose, don't have, don't ever want to, um, you know, reach for the stars, have no, just lazy. Like, that's what I mean. Lazy. We hear you, sis, but no. I know y'all don't agree. Y'all don't uh, find y'all. I, I, I hear you, but I just really think it's bullshit. I think it's but you done fuck with bro niggas before. Like you didn't you didn't like like niggas with money and they was giving you money, but essentially you were, you was giving a pussy to a broke nigga and a nigga that wasn't paying for it. That's just bad. Never, never in my life, bro. You can shoot me down right now if I'm lying. <laughs> Never. Never. I'm not one of those people that if like let's say let's say I want a job, right? And I and I and I um and I want a job that paid forty dollars an hour. I've never been the type to apply for a job that was fifteen dollars an hour, even if I was even even if I demanded forty dollars an hour um working a job. So I'm not gonna do that in my dating life. If I don't demand something, I just don't demand I just don't demand it. And, and every I think everyone should take advice from me. You know why? Because guess what? <laughs> take advice from me. Because when you when you set a standard, that's all that's gonna show up in your life. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all settle for what y'all don't want. That's why y'all miserable. Stop doing that. But see, you're right. You know what? You're right. But this is what you need to understand. <laughs> you're speaking of, no, you're speaking on a law of attraction. And you're right. When you set up a standard, when you want something, you will attract that. But the only thing that we miss in the law of attraction is you can't you can manipulate, but you can't create someone else's reality for them. You can manipulate them to create it. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna sit right and resonate with them. So when I say that, this is what I mean. You are going to attract what you want. But you can also attract what you don't want in that, in that process. You, you, you're you going to attract a nigga with money. You don't know if he's going to be abusive. Might not. Might not. But you, 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 can't, you can't control someone else's reality. So, like, I feel like in the way you're speaking of it, it's more deceptive than it is, like, you know, than it is out of love let me just say that and i mean how am i being deceptive because it's not it's not based on love it's it's any it, and, and it got nothing to do with love as far as like why but why y'all think i don't i don't want to love somebody y'all think i don't want to love somebody y'all think i'm just cold-hearted y'all think i'm cold-blooded oh wow that's crazy because you speak of money first so it's like but but I'm, I'm just saying though money has to be what what is the number one cause of divorce in in, in america niggas not loving each other no, that's not the number one cause of divorce. The number one cause of divorce is rooting in finances. <clears throat> so
So that's why I focus so heavily on finances because obviously it's like it's creating a problem even in relationships and marriage to the point where it is the number one cause of divorce. You can look it up. I'm somebody who can um who can start something from scratch and turn it into something. I've been I've been doing that my whole life. So for me, I guess, and I guess because I'm a guy, I don't need a woman with finance. I would love one. Hey, sugar mamas, if you out there, hit me up because I'm still single. But for me, I don't need that. You know, I can I can I can build with my wives, and we can take it to the top together. Now, if a, a woman feel like I need to have a certain amount of money to be with me. I would never be with I, I, I'm, I'm happy. For, I'm happy. I would want her to say that up front because I would happily be like, okay, you're just not the one for me. If I have to be making already a certain amount of money and no, nah, and nobody going to put me under that type of pressure in life if it ain't my kids. Like other than my, other than my kids, my moms can't even put me under that type of pressure. A woman? A woman? A woman? <laughs> I wish a nigga was. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, nobody, but nobody has to put you under that pressure. I just think that y'all should like what y'all like, like what you like, and require what you require. That's all that matters. That's how I feel. Like, like what you like, require what you require. If you're a person that doesn't want a girl that requires money, that is absolutely fine. It is fine. But I, I, I noticed that men will, men want the woman that requires money. They do. That's why they complain about it so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they complain about it so much. Because there's a lot of women out here. They will love you for you. But y'all don't want those women. And I rest my mic. <laughs> the women that require money, y'all know y'all love that girl. Y'all love them type of girls. Y'all know that. Y'all don't want no girl that don't got no standards. Y'all don't want no, y'all don't want that. Y'all want somebody who got standards, who's polished, who take care of themselves, all of that. And I wish y'all would stop um, exposing my age on this here internet. I really don't appreciate that. I really, I really hate it. Like, honestly, this is why I, I told you, Hocus, I'm going to refrain from these conversations or any conversation in general. Because y'all love to bring my age into everything. It is so annoying. I never once brought up your age, ever. Stop bringing up my age before I, like, why y'all exposing me? Stop exposing me. Let's get back to the classes. Coming to America taught us true love. No the hell again. Keep bringing up my age. I I don't expose y'all information, so don't expose mine. Mind y'all business. Just stop bringing up my age. That's all I got to say. Because we could get very personal up in here. Sips tea. I'm about to hit you with the clubhouse shit, Christina. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> Boo hoo. So what? Somebody brought up your age. Stop it. You Come on. Who cares? No, y'all always do that though. It get, it's it's starting to get annoying though. Like every time y'all always bringing up my age. Like I never bring up your age or nothing personal about y'all in this conversation. We just having a conversation. Oh my god! Like it, I know y'all hate my opinion, but don't bring up my age. No, we don't. It's a good about. conversation. So what? People don't get age. So what? It's annoying though. I just don't like it. Any your truth, regardless of your age. Especially if I don't really know you like that. Don't bring up my age. All right, y'all. Don't bring up my age. Yeah, never. No matter your age, so what? That's all right. I'm gonna get what I want because I already know what I require. Ain't I'm gonna get everything I want. I'm gonna get what I want. Everybody deserve what they want out of life. Just don't <laughs> deceive people, and, and and then you'll be good. I'm not deceiving nobody because I'm telling them up front. I want money. That's it. I'm being very honest right now. I don't know what's deceptive about anything I'm saying because I ain't never lied yet. Okay, this is the part. This is the part that can be deceptive. What's the part that can be deceptive? <laughs> Let me tell you. 
you get the money, and then the dick start getting whacked. And you feel like you want some other dick, and you go get that dick, and now he got a fucking gun in your mouth. Like, bitch, I gave you what you wanted. That's deceptive. Oh, no, I'm not being deceptive. All right, I'm just saying. I'm not being deceptive because I don't even move like that. In the yeah, we can hunt. Be loyal. Yeah. Who y'all think y'all talking to? Be faithful. <laughs> y'all not talking to somebody who moved like a like a like a bum. I don't move like that. No, I just gave you an example. You said what? No, but I'm saying I just, I just I would never be in that predicament ever. I don't, I don't even fuck two niggas at the same time. I don't do shit like that. All right, that's real shit. As you should, you what the fuck? That was like some shit, like like what, like like that's like oh, I graduated fucking kindergarten. Duh, you shouldn't, you, you should like I don't give it like what the fuck is that? <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that. I don't move like that. It's too many STDs out here to be playing uh playing uh sex games. Make it still get it. Yeah, like that that's real shit because like you know, y'all don't have a plug and y'all just have a socket and then sometimes when you run too many things in that socket, like it could blow it out. Like but the plugs be cool still. Actually the men are the carriers. Cause y'all have no way of cleaning anything. Cause y'all don't that's have only, a period. That's only if you have a pullback. Like y'all don't have a period. So y'all have no way of y'all just full of bacteria. Not really. The niggas you fuck with, I don't know. The niggas with money got bacteria. That's crazy as fuck to me because you right. would assume that the niggas I'm not, have health I'm not insurance. talking about men with money. I'm just talking in general. You see how y'all do? Y'all just so. Niggas had to throw that shot out there. Niggas had to throw yeah. that shot. He carried over the conversation and shit. That's I crazy. caught it though. I caught it though. Barely. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> I caught it. Can you see? Barely. Oh, yeah. hey, y'all talking about the Discord died on them. Damn, I always do that. I forget that. Yeah, I'll be having poop under y'all fake nails. Let's get to that, baby. Every sink in my house has a brush next to it. I wash my hands and brush my nails anytime I wash my hands. I don't know who y'all talking to. Henry K going crazy. <laughs> like, all, all I'm saying is this is at the end of the day, that's standard. That's basic shit. Like, you know, you want, hey, Vegas, what up, bro? <laughs> really? Y'all mad though. Like all the niggas that keep talking, like y'all niggas mad. Like y'all, y'all, y'all no, let's be real. Y'all niggas mad because y'all really broke and y'all just don't fit the standard. Just say that. Uh, instead I'm of not, keep coming for me. Like, leave me alone. I'm not I'm not broke, but I'm not, I'm not like, talking well, to you, bro. I'm, I'm talking Cali to the niggas. Well, well I'm Cal I'm California broke. Like me, I'm rich as fuck in other states, but like in California, I'm broke. <laughs> niggas broke. That's all. Y'all niggas broke. That's what y'all niggas broke. Y'all ass niggas. Now I'm about to get disrespectful because y'all niggas been trying me all night. Y'all niggas poor. She talking to the chat. Go ahead, famous. But before you do that, we on the next poor hour. This top of the hour. Yo, look, y'all, for the lights to stay on in the rabbit hole. Thinking ass niggas. niggas. White yeah. refrigerators. We show Christina that we that y'all not know stinking ass niggas is sending the super chat. We need at least thirty dollars in super chat to keep the lights on for an hour. If not, we're gonna have to shut it down. <laughs> um, the live is still going as long as y'all keep the super chats coming. So that's only that's only uh, that's only like a quarter ahead, 137 people. Everybody should just send a dollar in right now. Come on, y'all. Let's keep the lights on. If not, then I'm gonna have to shut the live down. We need at least thirty dollars this hour. Come on. Yeah, my forehead shiny, my skin glowing. White refrigerator. Stop talking to me. Yeah, Talk about like, I'm in like, school. Like, I can't get my nails done, so I'm in school. Because I'm, I'm a skin technician, so I can't I can't have nails while I'm in school. Because they don't mind them. Like they 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 me they they me. But look, this is what I'm saying right now. Y'all niggas poor. Uh, yeah, everybody. But look, hey, right now, what I'm telling you is this: at some point, like you got to understand, like being rich in spirit. It's more than being rich in your bank account, like you know what I mean. Like, yeah, cause like I don't, I don't know, and, but but then about? too, here's another thing though. I'm I don't rich know, spirit. Like I, I don't know, I, I don't know what was considered like like you know um like balling like in Atlanta or like was balling in like other states because like like the money we play with is different out there. Like it'd be like oh damn you make that much or you got that much, and then it just be like oh I hear you is different. So it's just like. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's subjective. California, California wealth is different. California wealth is different. 
But yeah. All the niggas that's trying to flame me right now, it's very telling. Because I never came for none of y'all. So I'm just, I'm making that very clear. I never came for none of y'all, but y'all came for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, don't, hey, don't come for Christina because at the end of the day, uh, we just having dialogue and she and she have her perspective about it. Like, you know what I mean? And like, she not encouraging this, but she's just speaking. We just, um, you know, it's not good to have an echo chamber. We all just say, oh yeah, this is how a woman should. And, right. and, you know, she has, she yeah, like niggas want to, niggas want to, niggas want an echo chamber. That's technically what they not want in the chat. Not too much on my good set. Not too much. But Talk about get your nails done. Good. Like, nigga, I can't get my nails done. If I could, I would. I always keep my nails done. Nigga, I just had my nails done. But I can't, I can't touch people's faces with long nails. I'll scratch their eyeballs out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the like, yeah, so, like. Esthetician, baby. This, this yeah. is just, and this is all for, like, you know, this is infotainment, like, at the end of the day. So, it's, it's not, um. I have a car. Nothing that we're this trying to say. I don't have a Nothing, we just having a conversation. So shout, shout out to Vic Vega. Shout out to Vic Vega on a $5. I don't have this. a car. Like, nigga, shut up. I own two dump trucks. Stop talking. You just oh, keep talking. Hold on. Yeah, nah. Hey, yeah. Let, let's, let's switch the topic. Yeah, though, shout out to Vic Vega like, on, the, yeah. on the $5 super chat. We need 25 more to keep the lights on, y'all, for the next hour. Come on. 25 more. A dollar, two dollars from the people who just joined the chat. This is what we do in the rabbit hole. We support. They go another one. G Money. Five dollars. No, we need we need twenty more. But G Money sent him with a comment. Shorty, you good? Look as shorty you shorty you good look as hell. I definitely caught you, but I be wondering if my personality and character would factor in it at all. You know, he talking to you, Christina. Shout out to G Money. You know, uh, that all oh shit. Woke and ready TV. He. He saved the day for y'all for the next hour. So Let's that's the 30 go. for the hour. But don't stop the super chats. Don't stop just because y'all see a, a, a nigga like Woke and Ready TV cover the whole thing. I don't like that. I need the rest of y'all to send in a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Yeah, at least we know Woke and Ready TV not poor. Period. <laughs> <laughs> and Woke and Ready TV not poor. Hmm. We all we got. Because all the niggas that's typing, I ain't seen a super chat yet. All y'all typing. No, matter of fact, this. Christina, call them niggas out. If they type in, they ain't seen a super chat. I ain't chat seen this. a super chat yet. No, call their name out. Who is they? Fuck that. Typing up and down. Derek, send a super chat since you want to type. Bro, Derek, Derek, you ain't even send a dollar, bro. Let me let me check. Maybe he's T Real T Real TV didn't even send a super oh, chat. Hell no, no, no. You bugging T Real sent like like six already. Oh, I ain't see it. <laughs> let me stop checking. Yeah, T Real support every day. T Real support every day. I'm joking. I'm I don't think Derek supported yet, though. Derek, Derek, you guys, you guys sent us. You've you been doing a lot of back and forth, Derek. Niggas always talking, but they ain't sending nothing. Yeah. Nah, niggas. Hey, Derek, you're doing too much. Niggas bro. buggy. I want to see what y'all look like. Y'all never got y'all picture up. Like, why? Fact, fuck the picture. I'm sending the link. Let them niggas come up. Yeah, come up. I want to see what so y'all look, look like. She, uh, 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 yo, look, if y'all don't come up, I'm going to be real. It's going to be look crazy because. She calling a man. I never seen a woman call men out for a catfish. Y'all okay. niggas come up and show y'all face. Let's see what it's giving. And if y'all if y'all don't come up, don't say nothing else to me for the rest of the night. Yeah. Nigga said I should save money for a new wig. They cut ass. <laughs> my wig is nice. What are you talking about? Like, hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, bro. Oh, hey, hey, that's that's only fair though. Like, like real shit. Y'all gotta come up and have a roll session. Like, like right. you know, I gotta come up now. Like, yeah, you got to give her a, a, a fair chance in the roast session, bro. Like, if y'all go roast, I'm, that's only fair. Nah, and I'm not, I'm being neutral. Out. They don't come up, they going on timeout. I'm not going to kick you out of the room, but y'all going on timeout. Because Talking. how y'all have a woman call y'all out? All call outs is mandatory. And if a woman call y'all out, <laughs> yeah, bro, come on, bro. These niggas crazy. Yeah, no, but she did attack him, but then, like, they responded. So it's just like. Nah, I never attacked nobody. No, I never. No, attacked no not nobody. directly. So it's just like it was. It was indirectly. I so no, like, I never attacked nobody. Period. Point blank. I know they came for me. I would just stay in my opinion. And people that's not you call me California do. broke, bro. I could no. When y'all came for me, <laughs> I was just fucking with you. Though. Hey, you I was just fucking with you. Nah, I was just fucking with you. Nah, I didn't call nobody. Hey, I I know, and that's why I was, that's why I was saying like um you know I didn't come for y'all. I can't. I can't, I was speaking my opinion, and any time. The same thing happened with Lux. Anytime anybody has an opinion about how they feel about wealth or who they should date, wealthy or whatever, people that's not that fit that doesn't fit within that category always feel offended. 
and they always want to come for you and attack you when you never was disrespectful first. I never got disrespectful with anybody first. I spoke how I felt. That's it. But niggas always feel the need to try and humble you. Yeah, Come on, though. They're here, they're though but like, it's been a minute. Where y'all at? I don't see none of y'all. Hello? I miss Lux. I miss her, too. Hello? Too. Come up. Come outside. Nah, y'all niggas, I sent the link. Y'all really not going to come up? That's how I know y'all ugly. Yo, so y'all stop niggas, talking y'all to niggas me. Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. Go take that needle and thread out your hair. Let me see how I'm you not, I'm not going to put... I'm not going to put... I'm fired, I'm not gonna put T Real on timeout because he T Real is, is, is but T it's so funny. T Real was just oh, on look. dick. Now he not on dick. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna put him on timeout because he be supporting. But he was just he was just Derek, on dick though. Derek, you you talking in the chat, you coming at Christina, and you're not even coming up, or you ain't even supporting sending super chat. Derek, you got you got fucking you got until 411 on the on the on the thing on the live where I see up there. You got two minutes, Derek. You either, so you either send a super chat or you come up, bro. T real, pull up. Oh, you time out. Out. Take that needle and thread out your hair. Let me see how you really look. I'm I I'm really that girl though. It's Natural cool. forcey hair and all. So what happened? Yeah, Derek Wilding. You going on you going on time. I always trying to and that's how I know, like that's because when you even made a comment about my, my dark skin, I knew you was colorist. Lame ass nigga. These niggas be so colorist. We we know that we knew that already though. But she was just on dick talking about dark skin joint. So send a super chat then nigga. I, You're I, poor. I work. You better send 99 cent, nigga. You better send a dollar. Something. You, you poor and colorist. How'd yeah, that how'd that work? Support support the room, bro. Like, come on, bro. It's the rabbit. I knew that nigga was colorist. Mm, I be knowing. Just off the language. Hold on. Who just came up? Somebody just came up. A glass nigga. Nah, that's Laddie. 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 That nigga's corny. Would you at Laddie work? No. You can hear us? No. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you. Yeah, I'm at work. I gotta be fast. Yeah, y'all niggas got me laughing right now. Yeah, y'all funny as hell. <laughs> nah, they got nah. They they got a, these niggas wilding out there, man. These niggas is bugged out. Well, I got something. Hey, 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 you donated for them last? Hmm. Did you donate for them last? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super chat for them last. I, I got you. You know I got you, bro. That's, that's the, that's my that that's my brother. Bro, them last not free, my nigga. That's my sandbox, brother. Um, Brown. That's a sandbox, nigga. Like that's different. no, but I'm working the door, and I told Cut he got to pay. <laughs> He's at work at the door. <laughs> yeah, that's bro, the door. I'm from the hood. Nah, I wanted to say the difference between preferences and standards. We all got some standards. I don't see why people beefing with her. She says this is my thing. This is what I want. Like, I just want to come up to the defense, sweetheart, man. Cause I, I was reading them comments, and people was coming at her kind of harsh for her saying, well, "Look, this is what I like. This is what this is me." Like, you know what I mean? Why are you beefing with it? Respect, respect. I think, I think, you know, I think the room will respect that. They cutting your ass on your glasses, though. Oh, I'm cool with that because I fuck all y'all niggas bitches. So please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they had the chat going crazy. It's cool. I can't see it. Like, yeah, yeah, they I said like you got. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, they said like you got eyeball the ounce with your uh from outer space. That shit is crazy. But I can't hear you. But I can smell your breath through the phone. What's going on? <laughs> oh, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why people get so mad, though. I don't understand why why people be so mad when people say, like, I, I'm pretty sure there's a girl out there that doesn't require money who's who will like you and love you the same. Why are you mad at me? Just move around me. I ain't do shit to you. But niggas be mad. Y'all be mad. There's someone that will meet your standards, Christina. I feel like even when I kind of fell asleep for some of it, I'm not going to lie, but even with some of the Kevin Samuels, he was throwing out standards too. He was like, you got to be fit, feminine, this, that, the other. If not, you're low value. No one's going to want you. So it's like, you know, if men can also have standards that I guess they have a right to, then, you know, if a woman has her certain standards, there's 
somebody that's gonna meet that at the end of the day you know what I'm saying um just like what they want whatever the Kevin Samuels followers or whatever they want the fit feminine um no kids whatever the case you know what I'm saying so it's like on either end I just feel like the dating world it's kind of like stressful to me at this point because it's like I don't know it's a lot of sometimes hypocrisy in a sense because for instance let's say like I, I can't how can I put this I feel like a lot is asked of women and I'm going to break it down because it's like, make sure you're fit, feminine, all that shit that Kevin Samuels was saying, right? Then on top of that, make sure you're cooking, cleaning, having everything good at the whole, at the house, but make sure you also have a job because if you require me to take care of you, you a gold digger, you asking for money. So it's like a lot of shit. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But then when a woman is like, well, I would like this. Yo, chill out. Chill out. You asking for too much. But it's like, wait, I have to be fit, feminine, no children, making sure I fucking keep a job, making sure at the end of the night I'm a porn star, making sure I have a home cooked meal for you, making sure I have this house fucking immaculate. But if I just say, yeah, I would like you to pay for this day, that would make me feel nice. It's a problem. You get what I'm saying? But the same is exactly. vice versa. Men might feel, I'm just going to say this, my, men might feel like, damn, we asked to do a lot. We asked to provide this, that, the other. So it's like on both ends, I feel like it's starting to get complicated. Um, so I get what Laddie is saying. It's like, whatever your standards are, there's somebody that's going to meet it, period. You know what I'm saying? You may be just asking too much of the wrong person. But someone will meet your standards. Somebody's going to be your ideal person of what you're asking and looking for. All I got to say is just ensure that everything you're looking for in, a, in that other person, you also can live up to certain standards too. Like one thing I know about Christina is, okay, yeah, she is asking for something in, in a man, these standards. But Christina, she's, that is a well-set woman. Like, she's got businesses. She is currently going to be going to school. So she's not, I don't think she's asking for anything that she also doesn't have herself. I don't know. I hope that doesn't make sense. I mean, it does make sense because I'm all over the place and sleepy. But, yeah. Thank you, Yoli. Thank you, Yoli. That's that's my whole point. And I'm, and I'm not asking for nothing that I can't already do myself. Like, that's just what it is. So, yeah, you know. You know, something that pissed me off when people be like, I'm settling. Like, you don't settle for what you want. You settle for what you could afford. You know what I'm saying? If you got a Benz and you got a Benz car payment, you can't make that payment. You're not settling. You moved above your needs. You know what I'm saying? You're 400 pounds for the shitty attitude. I can't talk about you want to do that make a million dollars a year. Like, you, you know, be realistic. You know what I'm saying? That was my point. Like, I don't get how people say they settle. Like, you don't settle. You get what you deserve. Yeah. So what, what, you, what you think you want, okay. what you think what you want may not be what you need. And, like, that's what sometimes you got to realize. Like, we, we this is what we're looking for. We never find what we actually need. Like, that's why you got some old, bitter, old uh, single woman that, like, you know, that didn't never find what they wanted because they had uh, expectation. And I believe when you're moving and you're engaging and you're trying to find somebody that you're trying to settle down with, there should be no expectations and you can't be let down. So you'll find you'll find a beauty within that person and you get the experience love now when you're coming in and you're judging a person based on what they have acquired material wise then you you have already doomed yourself and 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 you you've built the foundation based on that material it's, um, instead of building on it i would say building on sex is even more um sustainable than just building on um money um, in a sense, because sex is, um, it comes with emotional value to it. Um, unlike money, it just comes with a, uh, you know, a spending, um, 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 vibration to it. And like, it, it, all I'm saying is that at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, 
we we look for a finished product and we look for people that's complete and everyone's not going to be complete um everyone you encounter that that's meant for you and that uh, that understand you and fulfill every need that you need emotionally spiritually and physically is not going to be the ideal person that you envision however um, I do say that um, I would rather for women to say that they see the potential in a person and see the drive and, um, you know, see what could possibly be um, if they were to be in a relationship um, with this person. So um, that's that just my perspective on it. You know what I mean? Stop looking for a finished product because you yourself isn't a finished product because you're still growing every day. And if you feel that you have reached a capacity, you might as well kill yourself. You know what I mean? No, 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 no uh, disrespect or like, you know, not literally, but um, you might as well um, die today because, you know, it is no purpose of continuing to keep living if you feel like you reached your full potential. Therefore, you can't expect that from from the next person to be, um, you know, your age and, you know, financially stable to the point where he could take care of another grown individual in a time like this. That's unrealistic. I got a question for you, Brown. Would you ever date a woman who fit all of your needs and qualities but wanted to be like a homemaker and stay home and just cook clean but like met all of your other needs emotional all that she could do whatever she will when she get off work like no, I well, well i'm saying no listen but she doesn't work she's a homemaker like she is just a homemaker like she but she fits everything she fits all your boxes and it just wants to be a homemaker would you ever date a woman like that? Like I said, like I said, y'all, whatever, whatever she wants to do. It's a yes or no. Clock out. Like so that's guess, a no. She, yeah, well, whenever she if she clocks out, if she she had the strength to do that and have the energy to still like um uh you know keep up that facade, then I guess like but you know um yeah. So why I, I, see you can't even answer a yes or no. There's a reason why I'm asking. It's yes or no. So would you date a woman? Yes. That yes, does I, not. But, you I would do okay. But, but okay. Then, hold but on. Hold on now. Hold on. See, y'all making this shit complicated. It was yes or no. You say yes, you would date a woman that was just simply a homemaker, didn't work. But then y'all just said earlier why y'all got to pay for everything and she's got to pay for dates too. So do you see how this shit gets complicated? Because no, how no, can no. she pay? For no, 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 no. Uh -uh. See, y'all didn't even let me finish. I'm, I'm, no, it's always I'm moving the goalposts when I'm literally trying to show you guys how some shit sometimes can be like hypocritical that's all i'm saying is like let's ensure that like because for real for earlier it was said like oh well she gotta pay for some shit too and she gotta you know why i always gotta pay for everything but then if there's a woman who fits all these amazing qualities and you know she does not bring in financially but in her eyes she is looking for someone who let's say is a provider because she's like well i'm providing all of this What's wrong with that? There, it's kind of like y'all both came in and found a balance. And that's all I was trying to get to is like two people coming in and literally finding a balance where there's not too much weight on one or the other. That's all I'm trying to say. Are you conflating? Let me, let me tell you why you're conflating. Because what you're saying has nothing to do with what we're saying. So let, let's, go, let's go back to a couple weeks ago where homeboy... Oh, laddie, I'm a mutual. Where, where, where homeboy... We we all seen them. I played the video. He's crying. Yo, man, yo, I called this woman and she stood me up for the date. Remember that? And we was all calling him a simp. Remember that? So like, Yoli, what you're saying is different. You're saying that, yo, a, a woman that come with all these qualities. All right, now I know she got these qualities. Now I know what type of woman she is. Of course, a man is gonna pay for her. But we run into too much instances. G Money put it out there that he spent four hundred dollars and got ghosted. Like, it, there's too much of that going on. Like, there's too much. And we heard it in, clo in Clubhouse. I'm not going to call out no names, but in these relationship rooms, a certain woman. Oh, you niggas act like y'all can't pay $300 for a date, $400 for $500 for a date. You cheap ass niggas. And end up with nothing. No pussy, nothing. Just like, we so we just give up our money. Like, we don't even, we didn't even learn the quality. So the first date, $500. Like, like that shit, like, come on. That, that could have been my car note for the month. Like, so what you're saying, you're conflating. We're saying that it's too many instances where some woman, some woman, and right, and there's also a post out there, and it's an actual study. Some woman just 
go on dates just for the meal. And, and, they, and for a nigga just to spend other nigga money. They ain't even got no interest in fucking the nigga or being with the nigga or bringing those qualities that you say, yo. And, so and, we, and then, and then a couple of guard up, Right, Brent, when we got our guard up, like, Hold on, we ain't just we ain't just gonna be around paying for dates all the got I got I gotta go on 15 dates times 500. You do the math now. I'm not doing we ain't doing that, man. Before I find the right woman, not we ain't doing that. that okay, right. so what if there's a woman that like she don't want no money from you? She fucking she works all motherfucking day, so she can't clean, she can't cook, she be tired at night and shit. Now what? That's why I'm saying this balance thing needs to come into what you play. mean now what? What you mean? Get finished. Continue. Okay, so she she can't, she doesn't check off all your boxes as far as everything else. She can't really emotionally be there for you. She can't physically be there for you like that intimately at the end of the night. She's been working all day. She fucking nah, tired. Then that. no, no, then that woman now is seen as <laughs> overly independent. Now she's seen as masculine. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you can't be there for me physically at night. I, no, I'm a man. No, that's and that's what I'm saying, is that's why I'm saying. Like, I'm just trying to, okay, because I'm not a man, so I can't, I will never say I can speak for a man, and I will never try to, but I'm just speaking for what I see sometimes with women is, like, sometimes it feels like, damn, we can't do shit right, so it's like, you know, it's like, as women, we're trying to find that balance of not being overly too independent, but then not being overly dependent, because either which way, we end up wrong. You know what I'm saying? So as women, we're always trying to find that like balance, but we need y'all to work with us on that too. Just like you guys probably need the same type of balance in your life where it's like, you don't want to be on the left or the right, where it's like, all you're looked for is money. Y'all don't want that. But at the same time, you know, the opposite. Does that make sense? I don't know. I know what I'm trying to say in my head, but I don't think it's coming out right. I'm just saying, like, I just feel like sometimes... You're making hella sense, Yoli. Keep going. Who is that? It's Who Katie. Is that? Hey, oh, Katie! Katie hey, this Katie hey, from Clubhouse. I didn't hey, even Katie. see you oh, up here. Y'all hey, on love. track. Period. I just, yeah. I just I, feel I wish like, she was here earlier. Yeah. You know, Katie came in here <laughs> all you with, 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 with the fellas. I wish she was here earlier, girl. They was getting on my ass, girl. So, Go let's change the topic. Hey. <laughs> Why are we changing the topic? I want to hear from Katie. Kevin, Kevin Samuels was, 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 was getting your ass. I'm the woman, okay. Kevin okay. Samuels. And like Yoli said, she said what she said, and that's fucking facts. Y'all can't be mad if a bitch is working a twelve-hour shift at the warehouse like y'all, and she don't, and she ain't got the energy to entertain your ass. Like, what are you talking about? No, there's no such thing as a. a there's not even a lot of women that are um, housewives right now. Half of these bitches, uh, half of the women outside, or have nine to five just like y'all. Damn, they're working harder than y'all. I'm um, taking care of the whole household. So no, wait, 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 wait. we we damn near equal at this point. So what what do you expect from me? Uh, what equal, you do the 50 50 thing if you really want to be for real? Yeah. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all are working 12 hour shifts at the warehouse. Y'all act like y'all working 12 hours at the warehouse and we home feeding the babies, cooking dinner, folding clothes, and all that type of shit. No, we working too. I right, society set it up where we both of our motherfucking asses gotta work. They ain't got nothing to do with us. That's what the white man set it up. They wow, could, now we're blaming the white man. That's crazy. What happened to y'all doing y'all part? Why? 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 why, why rent in a too fucking high. Right they That's don't my point. You talking about the average folk, man? Let like, y'all want to talk about the seven percent? Y'all want? If y'all want to talk about the seven percent of the man make over hundred k, we just got to talk about that. All right, oh, y'all women can't have those niggas. We talking about the average one. Oh, the average woman yeah, ain't ha can't have those niggas. Like it just is, um, it's you just can be a regular man and a lady can still be at the house. She shouldn't have to work no 12, 10, 5, 8 hour shifts, five days a fucking week, and have to come home and take care of them fucking kids and take care of you. Something and, 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 and give the guac guac three thousand. Be drained. And we work together to build that up so that we can fucking have that. But do oh, 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 it's like, oh, oh, like, I gotta have that on my own. And we can't work together to build that up. Like, okay, Hocus, how we working together? What are we doing here? What, what's the what's what's what are we doing? Okay, me and Hocus, we're together. We got three kids. I work a job and Hocus work a job. What's going What's going to change here? Because I can't do both. I'm tired, Hocus. You can. I'm tired. 
Are you going to help at home, Hocus? Or like, I think yeah. that's what she's asking. It's like, that's what, like, for real, for real, if yeah. two people in the household are out working, I think that the household should definitely, there should be help on both sides. It makes life flow for the both of you. That way, at the end of the day, y'all both have energy to have that intimacy. For real. You, I, you know again, my answer is, like, but y'all don't want, y'all ain't going to hear Go ahead, and tell us your answer. We're here. For, well, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say I'm gonna have five wives plus somebody. Yeah, we gotta go get some wives. We gotta go get some help. We gotta go get some wives. Like, like, because let's be clear, we all know that it takes a village to raise fucking kids, and y'all be putting all that shit on women. Happy niggas don't even want to watch y'all. No, y'all don't want to get sister wives, and that's what it is. We gotta go get sister wives. That's damn. It. You need another bitch because you can't handle the work. That's crazy. It ain't we that I can't handle the work. Hold on, laddie. She just said something about her village. As soon as I try to go build the village, oh, you just can't. You need another bitch. She he like, I'm saying. not going to do the work. We're just going to bring another bitch along. She's going to no, take I, up the... No, the, no, the, no, no, no. I, I got my part. I got my job. Another person... You still ain't told us you're a part, Hocus, in this relationship. What? My, my part? What you mean I tell you my part? My <laughs> part is the work. And my, look, my part is the work, right? To bring some money in. And also us us together, we're going to work on things to bring money in. Like, look, I'm not going to give y'all my plans like, and, and just lay all out on the table what I plan on doing. Like, Right now on, on a live, I'm just not gonna do that. Like you know what I'm saying, but I, you know, Yo, they, can they, I throw something out there? My wives, my wives is gonna help me get rich. That's it. Wow, so it's all about hocus. See, I'm I'm not gonna even make this no, about hocus. It's not. I'm not. What we, we don't earlier. change the subject. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, no. We're not gonna make. It's not all about hocus because we could change it to laddie, laddie wives. Yo. Uh, hold on, let me finish. It's gonna help him get rich, and he's gonna give it all. He's gonna give it all back to them. So we, that's what you ain't even let me finish. That's what I was gonna say. Like you know, and, and then that I, is I, a I was, pimp. I'm making all the money, and giving back to you in return. Where's my interest? What's your interest? What are you talking about? Uh, what? Okay, so you want the females to make the money, give it to you. No, I don't want the females to make the money. So what you? I, I'm gonna make the money. The interest is me. We're going, yeah, exactly. No, I'm no, no. Let, I'm going to get down. Let, let, let Hocus finish. So, what is it? That's what I said. I said, me, give it to me. I, said, I never said that I want them to make the money and and uh, and, I, and then I'm going to pay them. No, I'm not, I'm not pimping. I'm not simping, okay? My wife's. <laughs> you get on my nerves. My wife's going to help me get rich. And I'm gonna give it back to them. They're going to help you get rich or they're going to help y'all get rich because you be, you be pin the I and team. No, no, but look, but I, but when I say I'm gonna give it back, so what the fuck did that tell you? I don't want none of it. So you ain't really listening. Yeah, we gonna flip it. I don't even want it. Yeah, we gonna flip it. They gonna have it. They gonna. I'm gonna give them back everything. Go flip it. No, we not. We gonna flip it. Well, of course we gonna flip it. But at the end of the day, when I leave this, when I leave this motherfucking planet, you know what that will gonna say? Get these bitches everything. And it's gonna and it's gonna say that. And it's gonna say bitches. Cause it, it ain't my death. I'm gonna have them laughing like this. Stop. This nigga hocus is stupid. Yeah, I'm not laughing in my fucking death. I don't, I'm not leaving this planet with this shit. Y'all just don't really know my fucking soul. I don't give a. I I, I want what I want to survive, and I can yo. I I can live off of nothing. I just need what I need to, to carry on. I'm gonna give. I I can't be Jay Z because I will give it all away. I would give it away. I can't have a billion dollars. I'm gonna give it away. I just can't have a billion dollars and and it's, it's fuck. I, I drive through a land and I see niggas hungry. I'd be like, yo, I just gave a homeless person some money through Cash App. How the fuck you got Cash App and you homeless? Hey, nigga, I did. And I don't even got it like that. And I'm like, this nigga, I'm coming up my. You know how these homeless people be coming up your yeah, fucking window, Christina and fucking Katie. Oh man, hey, this nigga go. With the yo, yo fam, yo. That's Atlanta for you. Yo, come on, man. So at the end oh, so, of the day, okay. so you're telling me that wives, once y'all make all the money, you gonna give it to them in the will, the kids and the yeah, wife. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pay all the bills. I make sure all the bills. Okay. I, I'm gonna control it because you know, women y'all bad with money. Y'all just go shopping. Excuse look, me. Y'all just go shopping and spend it all. So look, all right, we gonna put this. Yeah, no, y'all boy. Yeah, this what y'all do. You want me to go shopping? That's yeah. Y'all like to do. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying nothing bad. I just said, yo, they like to go shopping. So what I'm gonna do is we 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 gonna have this some money in, you know invested in real estate here, investment here, here, our store, whatever. 
you know, and um, all the bills is paid. And then here, y'all got to here, here go the cards, you know. Just don't um just don't OD. And I'm gonna look at the accounts. Y'all start the OD. I'm gonna be like, nah, I got y'all y'all want it. And I gotta I gotta put y'all on punishment. And then I'm like, yo, nah, you're now your salary went from fifty thousand a month to ten thousand. You ain't even gonna get mad. You gonna be like, okay. Y'all do do the ladies agree with that? I I what are you talking about, hocus? Yeah, like his girl. Uh, I don't never what, agree with that. I don't never agree with Hokey. Hokey's <laughs> ass crazy. Look, yeah, I, I just came with the best scenario, but <laughs> y'all don't hear me though. But then it's like it's like sometimes it's like you gotta understand what type of niggas you're dealing with. Like if or if a nigga just realistically cash you out and he know for a fact if this if this money if this money train run out, your ass is gone. It's like you buying pussy in a sense, and like you don't want to right. buy pussy, like because like me personally, if I do that, it feel like I'm buying pussy, and it and it feel like it's just like you know, uh, it's kind of like I'm leasing it, like I'm leasing the I'm leasing the pussy, and then it's just like you know because and then it's like it's weird because like it's prepaid too, and it's like so it's month to month, so now we're like you know if you miss your bill, <laughs> you just gotta come back with a late fee or some shit. Like, no, you know, like that. So, I agree with Brown. I one million percent. Our relationship got to be built on how we gonna make mo generate money. Like, and so I agree with Christina in a sense too. Like our relationship, but us though, not me, and just giving. Like, no, it's not gonna be. I'm making all this money, and just because you pretty, you got good pussy, you got good head, you could just lay there and here go money. No, no. How can how are we gonna generate this money together? Like, and then and then you can have it all. But we doing it together. Like that's I don't know. That's my thought. And that my thought is not, I'm not fuck out of okay, here. I'm not, cool. But I think I think that um that was my whole point. I think y'all thinking y'all looking from a perspective of like the the average that's, woman who I sound, Christina. Who that's who think sound. like, oh, um, she's gonna just take this money and go shopping. Like, nah. Every nigga, every business that I ever had, I used the money that was given to me and gifted to me. To funnel more money. And that's, that's the whole point. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. But you know what? A, a woman like though? that is a man's dream. And I land. You know what kills me though? Because I just hear so many men talk about the subject and it's just like, who are y'all choosing? Start choosing wisely, baby. Because clearly y'all don't choose wisely. Because if y'all did, this conversation wouldn't even be a theme. So it's really y'all fault that y'all not making a return on y'all investments. Choose wisely on who you date, and you wouldn't have this problem. Like there's females, there's okay, hella females out there that fuck with it like that. No, that not. got their no, own money, not. willing to make their own money, and, hella, and, and no. make a partnership. It's rare. It's rare. It, it, it's, it's not women rare, out there, but it's bro. rare. It's yes, not. It yes, it's not rare. Well, well, let me say this, right? Let me. Say <laughs> well, that's why. Well, 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 like well, that's why I said. That's why I did a fucking television. That's why I said I'm gonna do a television show, and I, and I had the rabbit hole help me pick because I I can't pick right. You right, motherfucker. Okay. We got you. Let's keep it at hand. Y'all be all choosing the same type of bitches. That's what really really be going on. Y'all all choose the same type of bitches. Step out the box, nigga. Because y'all all be choosing the same type of bad bitches. Bad bitches come with bad problems. You fuck with a bitch who always want her hair done, her nails done. She like going shopping. She like taking trips. Then you got to be that nigga that's willing to do that. Y'all be talking to these bitches before y'all even get to know them. That's the thing. And then be mad when a bitch asks you for some money or right. expects you to do this and that. Yes, that's facts. That's what's really going on. I'm agreeing with you. I agree with what so, you just said to them. It's really y'all fault that y'all not choosing wisely and getting to know a bitch before you just looking at her ass and in her face and what the fuck she look like on the outside. Like you gotta ask bitches questions because I ask niggas questions all day before they even get the fuck. I'm asking hella questions. Mm -hmm, you got to. You might not be the nigga for yeah, me. Baby. Well, no, she yeah, right bro. what she just said. Go ahead, bro. No, nah, but it's just like at the end of the day, it's like I've never seen like someone just walk in a car lot like like give me that one really like you know sometimes you test drive shit and like they don't charge you to test drive shit like you know what I mean you gotta know what you get it before you actually put the money down and make that commitment and sign the contract like at the end of the day so um you know but 
nowadays women it's like oh well if you go fuck you gotta do this and do that like it's like i'm paying out of pocket to get the pussy that is crazy to me when you better enjoy this dick like you need to stop it like you know it was it's about to be you need some dick it too and, and you know i want some pussy so realistically this is an even exchange me having to do anything extra had to come out of my pocket that is crazy y'all live in y'all in 2023 with 1960 perspectives like as a nigga should court nigga should pay this nigga man, i agree with that too just, yeah w- women is making just as much money as niggas when women stay home and it was um it was homemakers and shit that's when niggas had full benefits when they work jobs and shit that's when like you know women wasn't even really working like that so man was paying for everything now times have changed women start working it's not like that no more so to have that perspective is fucking unrealistic and if anyone does that they're like i said they're giving you money they, they may take you shopping may take you on a trip you know take you to a dinner and then they done renting you they're gonna go rent the next thing that's moving because you didn't base that relationship on nothing real you based on what that nigga can provide for you if you want to know what's crazy i i agree with you 100 but you want to know what's even crazier it's y'all partners that's doing it y'all partners who got money they're 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 the ones that's doing this baby that, we talk to the niggas because the niggas is the one that's doing it to the bitches and that's why the bitches is winning that's why these bitches expect certain shit because these niggas is niggas First off, let's be fucking clear. During the fucking pandemic, first off, niggas love spending money. Don't let niggas have fucking money. Niggas is going to spend it on the dumbest shit, including bitches. Okay? I had niggas that I, that I never even dated before asking, you want to go to Dubai during the pandemic because you had PPP loans. Let's be real here. A lot of y'all partners and a lot of niggas, when they get fucking money, they like to spend it on bitches and do whatever. They just like to splurge their money. So... You you need to holler at your friends because the niggas are setting the standards because the niggas the one that's spending the money on on bitches without even none of that. Oh, I just want to fuck or I just want to go on a trip because I got this money and I want to be on a trip with a bad bitch. That's what's really going on. So it's like we can't just put the put put it all on women because niggas is entertaining this shit too. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. Yeah. I was like, I was saying how men basically create the market like and that, and now. And now what's happening is the market is backfiring on them. And now women have become too so now they feel like women have became way more superficial when really they were the original superficial ones. So No, I was, I was saying what Kay was saying was hundred percent. Oh my bad. Yeah, no, nah, I could take it so much more further than that. Ladies, society jerks out of your femininity. As soon as y'all went back to work and started doing forty hours, making X amount of money and stuff like that. I became like almost like dudes. So that's your femininity out the window. Like I'm sorry, society, inflation, and two way come home jerk y'all out of your femininity. Y'all almost not like girls anymore. Yo, I'm Mike so is sorry crazy. to be a bad or bad news. Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. That's a fact, bro. Like, two men come home, nobody making enough money. She gotta go work. She's too tired to come back and bang nah, me the way about, I would like to be. But, 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 like, uh, well, well, no, you guys, I wanted to say what Katie was saying, though. At the end of the day, like, nigga, it, it's the fuck niggas. It's the corn dogs, the weenies with bread. Like, at and the then end y'all of the, call like, them fuck niggas because they got money and they want to spend it. I don't no, agree with no, that. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me holler at you. A real nigga that have money. They, they like you know, they they only they only hold it above your head. Like they they know what you want. They already peeped the game. Niggas that's giving you this shit just to fuck you, are fuck niggas. Like you just said, homie hit you. I never hit you. Oh, let's go Dubai. Those are fuck niggas. Those are niggas that that try to use you and try to manipulate you with money and try to buy you off. Those are the niggas that whip out a stack in front of bitches and start counting their money for no reason. Like yes, those are fuck niggas. You like, know what's yeah. crazy? Oh, I don't usually go for those types. I don't go for those types. Hold on. And, and I those are the ones that fucking that's the game. not what I was talking about, though. What I was talking about, niggas who, regular niggas, they, they can fuck with you. Like, they like you. They fuck with you. They take you on a date, whatever, right? Y'all cool. But a lot of niggas who did not have money <laughs> and they got the money during the pandemic, they were fucking acting out of character, something that they would never do if they didn't have that PPP money. Fuck That's niggas. what I'm saying, where they set the standards for these bitches. Girl, do you get what I'm saying? 
You go on saying. I get what you're saying, but I don't really, I don't really relate it to that because that shit is a false sense of. Um, I'm not speaking for myself, but I'm yeah, saying I don't, that's I don't, what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I understand that. Like, just in general, though, like I don't like what Brown was saying. I don't really um go for men that show their money or like the man that's in the gas station taking out his whole lot of cash. Or, yeah, we know that kind of fuck niggas. I don't usually go for men who um stand on couches and like flex their money and stuff like that because those are usually the men who lack character. They usually um have no character development and the only thing they know is money. Like I, I actually stay oh, stay very clear from guys whose personality literally revolves around money. I, I don't but, but those be the but well, those be the niggas that you talk about that you that, that you go for like at the end of the day. Nah, that, 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 you didn't say that the whole night though. That's crazy. No, that's, that's not that's, that's not not but I don't think no nah, that's not no. Nah. No, that's not what she was saying. Nah, no, well, nah. back no. it, nah. Like, at the end of the day, you're very that confusing. Makes sense because when because y'all was, my... <laughs> that makes sense, though, because when y'all was describing certain characteristics, I'm like, that's why I said earlier, I mean, when I said I couldn't resonate, it's because certain characteristics that y'all was mentioning, I don't, I don't resonate with that. Because I don't, like I said, I don't go for the guy that stayed on the couches. I don't, I don't, I don't usually. I just feel but like those, niggas, but those niggas that be giving money. It's not even that. It's just no. the fact when niggas get some money, they're going to spend and they're going to spend on the bitch that they like. Y'all niggas are not cheap when y'all have money. When y'all don't have it like that and you got to work hard for your shit, yeah, you act different. But let you get some fucking money, you're not going to be stingy with your money. You're going to be very fucking generous. Period. I don't care who you are. Yeah, when I, niggas I, I have know, money, but, they're but, generous. Period. But, 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 but what would you rather... All right, look, look. Because at the end of the day, like, basically, when a nigga doing that shit, like, you know, uh, you take care of a female, help paying with her rent, help paying bills and shit, like doing shit for her like that. Like essentially, I'm not thinking, oh yeah, I'm doing this because I I love you and I and anything about that. I'm doing this because we both know that, like you know, I like fucking you and 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 this is is what it is. And and, and I'm gonna keep doing this and you're gonna keep accepting it until like you know I, I decide not to um, pay for this service anymore. And, and and that's what I'm explaining to you. Those those are fuck niggas. Niggas, niggas that do that shit, it, they manipulate women. They're manipulating you with material. Like, you know what I mean? They they keeping you as a sex object. I don't have to put any feelings. I hear what you're saying, but I'm not talking about those type of niggas. I'm talking about niggas in general when they have fucking money. But and I real know niggas for don't do that. Real niggas pandemic. don't do that. Yes, real they do. It don't matter who okay. you are. If, your if you have niggas. money, you're going to be generous. Period. To your bitch or to bitches. Not to everyone. They, the, the niggas that really got it is really stingy with it. Like they 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 really they have to know if if you really like you know that woman to actually spend money on you because it, it's like tricking and shit is different like it, it depends on what what bracket you're in or what type of woman you are and what type of thing that you used to or you uh, or you need because like you know nigga um paying the girls rent or like you know helping with like certain bills and shit that can be like you know niggas with money to a female but then like to the next female if oh if you ain't buying me the new 2023 mercedes then you you, you um you broke like so it's different and it's different classes and it's subjective but what i'm saying is when you have niggas at, at, at any level holding money over a female head i'm telling you how niggas think and you're yeah them niggas is fuck niggas we know that we know but that. that that's that's all of us. Some some niggas just do it differently. If a nigga really like you and he and he's worried about if you just liking him for his money, essentially that nigga is is, is not that's not going to be his thing. Is to is to bless you material wise. He, it's going to be something more trying to find something more spiritual and physical wise. If 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 he's have to give you money, he's not going to respect you because he's not putting his emotions into it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. The the this based on the description that she talked about, I don't resonate with. I never. I never experienced a man that held money over my head. <laughs> like you don't feel it. You good? Because any, good of, the it. any, any it. of the men that ever gave any of the men that ever gave me money, they never held it over my head and they never brought it up. They never ever. made it a factor. It, it, like, because never. they because they, they rented it. They, they done fucking you. Why did they need to bring it up? They no, not. Well, I'm saying I'm you? still fr- I'm still friends with some of those guys till this day. I can yeah, call them. Cause they I rent call it. them. I can call them anytime if I'm. Are they in, your man though? Are they your man? Are they your fiance? Are they your husband right now? Why I can't finish? Mission accomplished. To men, that's what y'all don't understand, man. Why I can't finish? They think that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to get y'all with them. Giving that nigga access. Wait, what was the question that you asked? But what y'all saying ain't rocket science. Like, just stop because y'all acting like y'all just. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like we don't know these type of niggas like well, duh. duh that's what i'm that's what i'm trying duh. to say like 
Y'all done mixed up my motherfucking words. Like, I was never talking about the dusties that hold already money know over that. your head. We already uh-huh. know them type of niggas, but we don't resonate with those type of niggas. See, y'all like, don't understand, nigga. They don't, have, they don't have to, like, do it. They, they can do it I don't, I don't even, like, verbally. Let's be real here. I don't, let's physically. be real. I don't even date men who make money a big deal. Like, what are y'all talking about? Facts. Like, what? Like, I, I heard a man in here saying, um, I had I heard a man in here saying, oh, how he spent four hundred dollars on a date. Bro, I know niggas that they wouldn't even bring four hundred dollar up in, in any capacity because that's like that's like a dollar to them. So that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who don't make money a factor, who don't care. Yeah, put up the cat emoji. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about niggas. We could go to Pasha right now. Me and my homeboys. One of my homeboys is in real estate, and he spent two thousand dollars on a table at Pasha, and we just chilling. And we not. And nobody's dating none of that. So, what are you talking about? That's all day. That's what. Mm-hmm. Hold on, pause. That's where the fuck I see. Miss, hold on, motherfuckers mixed up my words. That goes back. That proves my point. That goes back to what I said. Niggas are generous when they have fucking money. I'm not even talking about trick. I'm talking about period. I don't care what type of nigga you are. When you have money, you're fucking generous. Period. To females. Period. I don't give a fuck. Niggas just like to have a good time. Just like I agree you said. With that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what I was saying earlier. Why niggas act like no, that's true. what I was saying. Uh, ain't pedophiles, pedophiles, yeah, that's pedophiles true. is generous to uh, kids too. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is this. At the end of the day, what you have to understand is that is not coming with good intentions. That you What's think not coming with good intentions? It's crazy. Y'all delusional. Yeah, really? You're delusional. Oh, we're telling you how niggas think. And you, niggas and you can't have, have a good time and right. spend money like what? without having some intentions. It's fucking crazy. I'm talking about the person that don't don't. That, that's why I think y'all don't understand. I'm talking about the person who like shit, whatever, like whatever you want, like. That's what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about nobody who make money a factor in every situation. Like I never, I never had to experience that with any person I ever dated. They just had it. Like I never, I never had nobody count my pockets. I never, I never even seen some. Like no, like we don't operate like that. Like what? This is abundance. Yeah. Bad. They ain't lying though. You know, they not lying. And and then and then, <laughs> nigga, and then niggas got you started in their phone and they just know they can hit you up at any time and, and like pay them. But no, nah, that's that, that, that's not how it is though. That's what it I'm is. saying. Like, it that's not how it, it is. Could be. It could Y'all be. trying to it's angle it that way, but right. it's not that. That's not how it is. I know, yeah, I know, y'all, uh, uh, I know uh, you uh, want it to be like that so bad, Brown, but it's so it's not bad. Like that, a, trip, a, trip, a trip to Mexico would do a lot, like a, it's, like it's, nigga, like, nigga. I could take, but that's the difference. Though. I could take myself to Mexico anytime I want. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it don't matter. That's what niggas don't get, <laughs> and that's what I think people don't understand. The checks. But is you're clearing. not doing it though. You waiting for a nigga to do it. Stop no, it. No, that's no, not true. Not. That's you niggas' <laughs> problem. Y'all think that bitches is waiting on y'all when bitches is doing what they friends and by themselves. Sounds like it. That's what it. That's what it. That's what it sounds like. How? How day. is it sounding like that when it's because you're looking for a right nigga now. that can do that? Why would you want a nigga that can do that when you can do it yourself? Like, it's like y'all like, not. It's like it's like. Huh? It, what we what we saying is like y'all not. Uh? Like, I right, put it like this. Y'all put it like this, right? Y'all not waiting for a nigga to do it, but y'all not choosing a nigga that can't do it. So a nigga can't take uh, uh, um take you to Mexico because he can't afford it. Y'all not choosing that nigga. You okay, Hocus. If I how already, much of a good let, let me ask you a question, Hocus, because you, you done been out to eat with me before, and you see how I, the way I order food and shit like that, right? Yeah, you if really. I already, if I already treat myself like that alone, right? Let's be very clear. Why would I go get somebody who is not <laughs> in the same standard? Did that make any bomba clot sense? No, I, all right. So I, 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 cool. Look, let me say this. You meet a nice guy. Uh, you're gonna, go you're gonna, nice gonna guy say too. no. You're gonna say no. You're gonna say no. <laughs> I made no sense to even ask you. <laughs> you mean uh, hi, hi? Just you meet you meet Steve Urkel. Hi, Christina. Um, I like you. I have one hundred and fifty dollars wow. that I can spend on a date. Um, um, can we go have? What y'all be coming up with the most craziest scenarios? <laughs> would you would you do that? Would you do that? No, your ass wouldn't. Why are you asking me some shit like that? I, I, so, I, I, I listen. I, I so what? And what, what if we so what? And like, I was like, trolling. Like, I was trolling. What, 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 what if you what if you like me and physically and you and you and you was attracted to me and then like? This is what I'm doing to y'all today. 
Like, stop. Right. Like, come up with some better scenarios. On the first day, y'all know that y'all paying for the fucking food. Y'all not finna ask no bitch to go right. have with y'all on the first day, so stop. Man, this Why crazy. Right. Right. Hey, right. hey, right. hey, hey, hold on. But check this out, though. Check this out. And I said this before on, on, on Clubhouse, and I say this again. If I go on the first date and she order the most expensive thing on the menu, I will never talk to her. I remember you menu. saying that. Hocus, what if she already eats the most expensive thing on that menu by herself? You never need to pay for it. No, that Basically. means that y'all need to stay in y'all lane. That's why I say that no. motherfuckers should stay in their lane when it comes to dating. Period. Nah, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You I, can't, I never said, said I can't afford it. Ordering everything wait, on the wait, motherfucking wait, wait. menu. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I never said I can't afford it. Because if I t if I, take I didn't you say afford. I should stay in your lane. That's what no, I said. No, no, no. But you're not listening though, because it has nothing to do with the <laughs> lane. It has something to do with I feel like her mental is at. That's all it has to do with. So if I take if I take you on a date, and the most expensive thing on the menu is three hundred dollars, I'm 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 probably going on a date with fifteen hundred in my pocket anyway, two thousand anyway, and preparing to spend that. And, and uh, uh, um uh, you know already already got the hotel fee and everything in my mind just in case. That's how men think anyway. Y'all don't think you know that's how we think, right? So it's nothing that the the pay for the three hundred dollar plate you just ordered. <laughs> But in my mind, so it's, it's not staying in your lane. With lane, money is not a thing, right? If I'm on that date with you, in my mind, I'm like, oh, she one of those. I had a bad experience with that. I told y'all about it. The bitch who turned out to be a douchebag, and I would never, <laughs> I would never do that again. You, you, you order the most expensive thing on the menu, I might get up and walk off. Or even if I do sit there and pay for it, you might be like, you want to go home with me tonight? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you no. Like and I and I am not like I'm 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 not that dude who chased Punani. I'm not. Hey, let me ask this: like, Have you ha, have yeah, like, y'all? So have y'all? I'm turned off. Uh, hey, hold on, let me ask this: have, So have y'all ever been on a date with a nigga and he spent money on you guys and you didn't give him no pussy and he continued to do it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you pussy when I'm ready. That's, that's for sure. That's for sure. Like, that's it's just so weird to me that people think if we're doing an exchange, you might as well pay for pay me, pay me for some pussy. And since we're doing an exchange, <laughs> you feel like you gotta take me out. That's, so you if, can if, get if, that's that. what y'all don't realize. Y'all expect me that. pussy after a dinner date. After a dinner date. So just fucking pay me up front, bitch. How about Thank that? You. Okay. okay. Up front. And we ain't gotta go to dinner. We can just, just give me the fifteen hundred. Fuck it, right, Katie? <laughs> Like, yeah, you got like the 50, that, that's, you got that's, but, that, but that's, that's basically like do. when you hear these men talk, like that's basically what they saying. The dinner, the smoke and mirrors. The they don't understand that they're still doing that. Exchange. And that's how, that's how I know. Like that's no. How I know, at this like, grown ass like, age, I don't expect that. Like when I was young, I, when I was young, I used to expect that. I ain't gonna okay, you just said that you have the hotel money in your pocket for after a date. I'm saying just in case. Just in case, because that just a case always gonna be in the back of your head. I'm a man, man. I don't care for what man it is. I, 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 I don't expect anything. I don't expect uh -uh. nothing, right? I don't have expectations in life about nothing at this day and age. But oh. they always want to fuck, though. That's of course. Hard. Yes, yes. You just said it. Yes, yes. They buy you McDonald's. They want to fuck. I'm not going to. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. We don't gotta buy you nothing that we still want to fuck. Like, so, like, so, <laughs> right. I'm a man. I'm gonna be honest with you. See, y'all don't like when a man. And the rabbit hole just keep it 100% raw and real. Yes, men do want to fuck. Yes, yes, we do. But you see how that's mandatory, though? But if a woman says... It's you... not mandatory because if... Hold oh, up, so Hocus. Hold up, that's hold up. A... It's not that. mandatory, though. Hello? It's, it's... All right, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you. My fault, yeah. I'm, not I, for I, nothing, but yeah. it's some of us females out here that really don't care because some of us like to give it up like that. We don't care about your money. We want to have sex, too. And it's, it's, it is what it is. Like, oh, I know. some I, people I, just I, want I, that companionship. I'm a man. You know, I had sex. Yeah, I so was I, nothing I, wrong I, with I, that. I'm a man who has sex and never, and never paid for, never without going on dates. And I know, I of course, I know that. All I'm saying is I'm just being transparent and clear as this is it's, it's on a nigga mind regardless. Like, you I, know, oh, okay. So, but that's my point, right? That's okay. the point I was trying to make before I was interrupted. All I'm saying is, do you see, that's on a nigga mind regardless. But if if a woman decides that money is on her mind regardless, it's a problem. You see what I'm saying? It's not a problem. It's a it's a conversation, and this is what we have it. It's it's a conversation for. No, I'm just saying. It's a problem not, for me. It's based, a problem for me. Yeah, you're right. Not not yeah, based. I don't on, agree with that. So it is a problem. You're right. Not not based on. At the end of the day, it's not based on. 
what we think in this room and the conversation that we having, right? It's based on how people view women who decide they want to require money just the same way. But guess what? Women get the short end of the stick for it and they get the shit end of the stick because people think that men, women are not allowed to do that. But for a man, sex is mandatory no matter what. No, it's not mandatory. I think they fucked that when they let y'all start it's reading. Not. They should never let y'all read. Like, <laughs> or vote. <laughs> no, it's not like, mandatory. It's but it's like if if it, it's like if you play around with it, then it's like it's like all right, it's like this, right? If you play with me, and then and then we don't like 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 all right, we go on a date. You come back to my hotel room. You lay in the bed with me. You curl up your ass on me. And I go to try to do my thing, and you're like, no, 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 don't fucking touch me. Then like, don't be curling up yet. No, I, mean, I, I yeah, like, don't be, don't be turning me on. Y'all shouldn't even That's... be spending a night together. Y'all shouldn't be laying in the bed at that. Exactly, point. my point exactly. You, you just proved my point. And and, and we at that few drinks and all that. Don't play like shit like that. That's when it's like, nigga, get mad. But if it's like, yo, we on a date, and you like, yo, you know, I mean, I want to wait. I would, like, yo, I don't know. I'm a grown ass man. So I, so I'm basically, on, are you telling okay. me that people? People should only fuck in a text market. <laughs> yes. That's what they, that's what they Hold say. On, oh, that is that good. goes back good. to what Hope is said, right? When he was all like, Oh, if a bitch ordered the most expensive meal on, on the menu, then he would never fuck with her. I wasn't saying because you can't pay for I said it. On the first date. For it. I said the first date. Okay, the first date or whatever, right? But I'm not saying like you can't pay for whatever like that, but that still does mean stay you gotta stay in your lane because that goes for women and men, right? Because she, like Christina said, she might always order that type of shit. We really be ordering shit. We really spend money like drug dealers when we're by ourselves. Let's be let's keep okay, it so, here. So, women spend money like can, drug can, dealers can I, can, when they're by themselves and their niggas not paying. I hear what you're saying though, but I ha I have to add context to the situation. So now. Right, so this is so let me add context to it. I hear what you're saying, but in my previous situation, right, after going through that, let me just say it the woman ordered the most expensive thing on the, in the menu. I was like, damn, oh, okay, cool. It was nothing, right? It was not pay for it, boom, end up, end up getting with this woman, end up being with this woman. Come to find out now that I know after years and after whatever, this woman never. Ate that again in her life. It was just because it was the most expensive thing on the menu that time. So me, it, it didn't end up wind up being a douchebag. So it was a red flag for me. Like, damn, I should have caught the red flag early. Okay, so I hear, what, I, I hear what you're saying. Some women might, but you know what? Even though some women might, I would, I would, I would probably miss out on a good woman that might really order that shit in real life, and I'm okay with that because to me, it's a red flag. That's what I'm saying to me. I'm okay with missing out on a woman that order fucking fish eggs, and and then and then later on, five ten years down the line, I never see her eat fish eggs again in her life. Come on, stop it, man. But what like, I I, me, man? I I can't like you got, me you got talking to man. Come I, on, man. I, I, me personally, like I'm I'm be honest, like if, if you got a clock, like if if, if you, like if I go on a date with a man and he's, and I'm not saying you hocus, but I'm just saying just in general, like he's the type of man like. I could tell, like, he get nervous based on what I'm going to order, like, because that no, is... No, you, you would never know. Hold on. No, hold no, on. Shit, but you don't... That energy, that's what I'm saying, though. Real quick. But, you, but, but you talk no, about I what I'm saying, I'm and then I'm you're... I'm not talking it. about okay. your situation. I just said I'm not talking about your situation. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm saying is, if a man has to clock, like, um, what she's ordering, or should, like... Like let, Let's just go ahead and dub that there, because that's going to be the energy throughout the whole relationship. I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I do not need nobody. I, I, I don't. Hey, well, order. look, look. I, you will never know, right? And like I said, you, you come to find it's it just it, it's a whole lot of. Cause that's not the only thing. It's just a whole lot of other things, of course, that came into play that made me come up with the, you know, um, you know, mind state. Like, damn, this woman is just douchebag. But I go when you go back and look back, like, yo, I should have caught the red flag from that day when she ordered the first meal, and and, and then she just not like you know the most expensive thing purposely. And never ate nothing like that again ever. Like, you know, so I should have just caught that. So to me, in my mind, I'm like, right, I'm gonna just catch that for now. Like, you know, it just, you know, sometimes it be things on menus when you go to fancy restaurants that people just don't order. Eat. You know, maybe some people do. But like I said, I'm okay with missing out on a, a person if they do that because of my experience. That, that That's all I'm saying. 
No, you're right. Now, let me tell you, right? So I you didn't say that you had others been like you dated this person out there, but it is some bitches out there that really just go on a date with a nigga just to order the most expensive shit. And that bitch is dirty. Like you're a broke ass, dirty ass it, bitch. That's that, that's 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 facts. And then that bitch that go feed some chicken just nuggets. A free meal and all that weird ass shit. Like, yeah, I agree with you on that. And and and, and, I, and after being one person, seeing how they ones. I'm like, oh, selfish ass motherfucker. Like, you ain't never you did nothing for nigga. Like, it's a whole bunch of shit I could talk about. Right? I don't even like really want to do that, but it's just like that was a red flag for me. And I'm not just basing it off of a, a, a one night date. I'm talking about years, years, and just and just going back and seeing red flags and see. And then you go back to the red flags in the beginning. So you got to go back to the red flag. Got to go back to the first date. Like, oh, I should have seen the first date. That's a red flag for me. That's what I'm saying. You know, for me, it don't have to be for nobody else on planet Earth. Hey, hey look, if, if a woman wanted the most expensive thing and you still want to call her, go ahead. That might not be for you. But for me, my my universe is telling me, watch that shit. You know? That's big fact. Every like, other like, meal is fucking $44.99, $59.99, and you ordered a $300 plate, I'm going to look at you weird. I am. The, 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 you ordered a three hundred dollars fucking sampler, and then you you could when you get like I'm like I'm gonna be like all right cool. Now I'm over here just looking at a water for myself. That I'm gonna pay crazy. for it. Fuck I'm gonna pay rich. for it. I came I came outside with, with two grand. I'm not. No no I'm gonna pay for it right. But that's it. Like I I, I mean I'm I'm gonna really be like to, at this point in my life. I'm like that's it. Like I ain't got time for that man. I ain't got time for women who think. You know, want to order the most expensive just because it's the most expensive thing. I ain't got time for that. I don't. Now we already, if we already in relationship and all. We already been together, chilling. We know each other. We fucking you know, all. Even if we not, if we just cool, and then it, that's different. But if it's just, I'm, you know, you meet someone on a humbug and it's a first date, like it's like, come on, man. Hey, uh, I don't even, uh, I don't uh, even uh, know uh, you uh, like that. I can mm-hmm. walk away early. I don't even know if you're a good woman or not. I get I get the chance to walk away early. I did myself a favor. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> well, I do. I will say that there is men out there that will just want to hang out and have fun. Of course, the nigga always going to fuck like Hope and said, but there really is niggas out there, like Christina said, that that are homies that just want to have a good time and hang out. I'm one of them no, niggas no, too, though. No, I, no, I'm act no. like I'm not one of them niggas too. I, you I, are. You no, I'm no, no, like, I'm no, not no. I don't know why you acting brand new right now because you're no, one. Of, I, I, man, that does no, not I'm exist. One of them niggas too, but I'm just telling y'all how men think, though. See, y'all don't. See, y'all don't like the. Go ahead, Brown. Go ahead, Brown. Go ahead, tell them. You tell them. They don't want to hear from me. No, I, no, I'm on my number. Don't How y'all always want to fuck at the end? No, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, oh, it's niggas that be around that just want to uh, uh, be your friend and just like, no, they're not. Like, they're just waiting for. That's not what we. That's not what we said. That's not what we said, bro. You said it's niggas that we just want to chill. Yeah, they, they hanging out. They going to invite, like, come out, bring your friends. Like, what you mean? Yeah, at, at any at any drunk moment or opportunity, they, they will fuck you. So if, oh, if you believe that, yeah, like, uh, like, not, not, uh, not. Oh boys, nah, not mine. They would never. Nah, my friends, yeah. It but, depends. Like it really, it, like I just, like I just, really like, to... I don't really hang around. It just, uh-huh. I don't, I don't think y'all really hang around people that just be just uh, in a in a careless state of mind. I think y'all just, I don't know, cause I, I don't, I just don't have this issue. I just, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have this issue. I don't have people like when when the bill come. Our shoulders don't go in. Like <laughs> niggas I'm actually be fighting for the tab when the bill come. Like I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think you got it, Mister School. Niggas do the same shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm forty. Like yo, but, but I know, we, I know what you're saying, Hocus. But I noticed that a lot of the times with with these situations, it's always this conversation about meals 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 being a big factor and i just i never i never knew that like this day and age like people would really like be my mama always taught me don't be selfish with food two things you don't be selfish with food or just anything in life don't be selfish so it just when people when i be hearing people like talk about meals and like what should be given in exchange for meals and like how shit should go with meals and how you shouldn't order this how you should order that 
it just it just I don't well, well, let me say something, right? I don't know, I don't know who's in here, right? Because there's 140 people in here. Y'all know me from the rabbit hole. Y'all don't know me from my past life. So y'all know that I used to be well, you know, I was heavy into gang banging, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that my indictment was a drug dealing indictment. It wasn't just gangbang. I made a lot of money out here, lots. And, and when I did, you could ask any woman. I don't know who's in the chat, who can vouch. I don't know who's in here. The reason why people really fuck with me and love me is because I took care of motherfuckers. You did nice. Oh, yeah, I'm very generous. So when I that's why I agree with you, Katie, when you said that if I got if I got it, I don't care if all of us, all of us go out and I'm I'm paying for everybody's shit. I know you do that shit in the rabbit hole. You used to do that shit in the rabbit hole. Like that's just that's No, but just, we know you do that. I'm no, just, but I'm just I'm just saying, like, so when we talk about these conversations, I'm I'm talking about a red flag. When, I'm not talking about like I don't want to pay for a woman male. I'm talking about a red flag. No, yeah, but your situation is tip is different. You're saying that she ended up fucking you over in the end and you felt like when you went back to the mill and you felt like because obviously you know the type of woman she was when you when you signed up correct so you you felt like in your spirit that she would never order this if she was on a date by herself correct okay. exactly of course so that situation that. is typically different you get what i'm saying versus other women who I ain't gonna lie, like um, Katie said, you know, there's women out here, they spend money like drug dealers, rounds and rounds of drinks, rounds and rounds of food, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's just different depending on, um, you know, how it is. And I think me personally, bro, like, I just, I don't, that's why I always pride myself on hanging out with people that have, like, some sort of standard and, like, that, yeah. have, that have their shit going on. I don't, I don't hang around people who 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 don't really have it all together and they may sound shallow but I, i'm not gonna treat people that have anything less than me like shit or like weird or anything but still like when you sit in certain rooms you realize that certain things just go a certain way and me personally i just feel like i don't want to be around people who like i said when the bill comes like niggas no we're not supposed to be moving like that and we're not supposed to be clocking like the bill like we're not supposed to we're here to have a good time just have a good time sit back relax <laughs> Like, like, all right. So, say for instance, like, all right, you know how you got like, you know, um, just then you got like medium bitches, then you got like medium bad bitches, then you got bitches like, cause you know how like sevens, eights, nines, and tens and shit. Like, like, okay, do you think that like you bad enough for a millionaire like like money? Who you talking to? You is your it, it put. You is your pussy good enough for millionaire money? Like, if a millionaire, if a, like, say for instance, you had a millionaire, whatever, like, do you think like you'd be good enough to talk to a millionaire, or do you think like, like, it'd be like kind of crazy for him to be like, oh, no, nah, keep your pussy in your tax bracket? No, no, <laughs> no, no, answer it. What do you mean? No, answer the question. <laughs> I would never think that. See, I'm not finna say my business on here. But yeah, that, I'm, but, I'm about but to what Brown person. said, just mute absolutely up. not. I don't. I don't feel that way. No, I don't. Roster elite. <laughs> 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 Y'all need to come to Atlanta, please. Like you know what's crazy? Dude, you know why? Case, why, why it's like, like that? It's crazy. Brown, let me it's tell you why I, it's I, like I that. Question. I'm gonna tell you, because first off, niggas don't even care where bitches work at they don't care about your occupation what you make right. a year so it's never hard to for me to talk to a fucking millionaire he's not questioning shit about me so and i date him true. and i'm never gonna feel like he's out of my tax bracket like are you crazy no so that's what i'm saying like so like you think like he's gonna like all right you all right like you think like basically like essentially like that person is a the man there, he just, he, he fucking with you basically to like, cause you benefit off of it cause you're in a different tax bracket. So like you said, a drop in a bucket is like a fucking ocean to you. And and so with that being said, like, you don't think like essentially that's still a form of prostitution. Like, even though he's like giving you money. No, cause he likes you for you. What are you talking about? We're talking about someone what? who likes you for you, right? He just has a million dollars. He he can't oh. like you for you and have a million dollars and you don't have a million dollars. What are you talking about? So one thing about this conversation is very sexist. 
we're always going to win on top because we're women with this conversation. Like I said before, niggas don't clock bitches jobs. They don't care where you work at. They don't ask how much you make a fucking year. So that conversation they can never be a thing. You know what I'm they just want to fuck. That's it. That's it. There's nothing more, but, nothing but less. Not, but like Brown, I'm sorry. I, I don't know Brown, about that one. But Brown, what you saying? I don't, I'm Come just, on, Katie. Knock I, it off. So serious. Because I, 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 like I said. And that's what a line is. All, all I'm going to say is that there's really is. some niggas out there that have a million, that's a millionaire or whatever, right? And that really just want to fuck with you because you, so you got to be player. It depends on what type of bitch you is. Like, if you that bitch, you can pull anything. Yeah, they, they will spend money to fuck you. Yes. No, that's not that's not what I'm saying. They don't all, need to all, do that. All, all, didn't y'all just say? Didn't y'all just say y'all fucking women for free? So wait, wait, wait. But 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 honestly, let's be real. Let's be real. But no, wait, did you hear my question though? Before you talk about, let's yes. be real. Let's be real. Yes, yes. But that's that you say y'all. You, you, so you say you talking to me. You talking to Brown and Hocus. Y'all you talking to you talking to street niggas. You talking to a blood in a crip. You talking to street niggas versus those millionaires, them ball playing corny ass niggas who never really, who never really like was outside and really had to really oh get a God. chick. Had a game. Niggas, niggas get it with they. they Money and they and they niggas get it, niggas get bitches with their money and they celebrity. Niggas don't get bitches off of just talking, man. Like, let's be come on, stop. Yeah, like, that, that, it's, that, it's, that's, it's that's what I'm trying to say. Like, Yo, that's why we always niggas like us, like now, now to get the rappers is gangsters, right? But before that, rappers and ball players and shit, we looked at them as corny niggas. Street dudes, they corny to us. Yeah, and the bad bitches will go fuck them because they got celebrity, but we look at them as corny niggas forever. Bro, uh, Katie. They corny niggas. They corny. What's Katie up, Christina? Like Brown. Am I lying? Katie, are we talking about ball players? No. They are. No, <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, Yo, that's yes, what I'm saying. Like, like, niggas don't. Ain't, ain't no, you, can, you, you didn't say that. You said. You, you, you said. All right, forget it. I know ain't niggas no that millionaires that's no not ball players or rappers. Ain't, ain't no, no bad 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 I thought you were talking about. One of my friends work in real estate. Specific then. I don't know. I don't know what y'all talking about. We talking about real estate. We talking about like real. I'm not. Yeah, niggas be corny niggas too, man. But anyway. Not, uh, them niggas why, gonna be corny. Why do them niggas, niggas, niggas be... do that shit? Why do y'all like, always yeah, why y'all do that? The regular niggas. Like, y'all always do that. That's not That's not fair. Why they corny? Because they decided to get it a different way? I'm confused. Hello? No. No, they're, cor they're corny because they decided to just pay you to fuck instead of white for you. You'll be with them niggas. You talking about niggas that's on your roster, quote unquote. That's like, what we those are that's what So, what's the difference between them and y'all? Because y'all not white people either. So, what's the difference? That's a lie. We, 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 the hood niggas, we do wipe our joints. We do. What are you talking about? Nigga, bye. Well, you pay we personality do. when you're not rich. I have a wife y'all do so I can't even afford the wedding. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all making wait, wait, hold her on, hold on, y'all hold on, long term it. old lady. Yeah. Her niggas love calling me. Oh, that's my old lady. We've been together 15 years. That bitch ain't got no ring and then she do it's a weak ass ring. That bitch still working at her warehouse job. Stop playing with me. Stop. I was joking, y'all. <laughs> don't get don't. I, 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 I would never take it personal. I see more money than a lot stay of in love. And, and, you know, like I, I, I could go be a niggas always hitting one. on the square niggas. Y'all gotta stop that shit. Ain't but, no, ain't no niggas hitting on the square I'm niggas. Not because like, I'm like, a square nigga now, I'm, and I'm trying to get in the square way. It's niggas out here with money, uh, making women their wives actually getting married. Don't even care about fucking bitches. Oh, they like this woman. Yes, ain't no nigga out here just taking trips to Miami that has money and doing it with good intentions. Yes, the niggas that have money, that's real niggas, real solid niggas, they're married with fucking kids, is what we're trying to if explain that's to you. That's all we're saying? That's it. Like, I can't understand, niggas, understand that. Like, right. Niggas, niggas still, they're playing with you. They're renting that, you. Like, like niggas, niggas, niggas got money that's and they're grown men. Yes, they're establishing themselves and they're having kids and families and shit. They're not um, um, paying um, girls that go to the clubs so and, what are and, and paying for meals and shit. Fuck is you talking So what are y'all doing? What, are, what, what kind of girl y'all love? Oh, I'm on the cusp. You see me. Like, 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 y'all is silly. Y'all silly. I'm on the cusp, like a motherfucker. We single, like, looking for love. We trying to find love in this, in this okay, freaking you know, world. Like, just <laughs> like, just <laughs> like, we trying to find unvaxxed love. That's what we doing. That's what no, we but doing. what I'm saying is, though, like, y'all, y'all gotta stop associating people that have a certain amount of money with, like, this level of corniness, this level of lameness. Nobody because, do that. Nobody do that. Um, I, I, I'm just saying, uh, did you not just say it? Hello? I, I, just I, did I, it. I said that. I no, said that. Crazy, I told you how street niggas, and I, and I compared it to ball players and rappers and shit like that, how we always looked at niggas. Like, I'm just being honest with you. Like, but, you know, they'll get, they'll get, based off of what y'all was saying, though, 
when y'all was saying niggas with money that uh, that'll do this, do that, do that. But like, yo, at the end of the day, it's different. Like niggas, yo, just yo, I like I we not only this, we I know some of these niggas personally. I don't want to say I don't name drop. I, y'all know I know niggas. Niggas be corny. Well, not they got the famous celeb and they got money. That's they got right. money. Niggas got no game. All the niggas around them get more pussy than them. They got no game. All they do is got the money. They need this a nigga in their crew helping them get pussy. Niggas be corny, man. Yeah, this is about pussy at the end of the day. You hear them? It's all about getting pussy. That that be the end goal with y'all. See? Well, that be the end goal with these niggas though. Cause see, when I'm trying, when I'm trying to play, that's what we saying. That's the end goal with the niggas. We that's like, 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 yeah, it's the end goal. So why y'all ain't got a millionaire husband right now? Both of y'all. Fuck that. Let's do those. Why y'all don't have a millionaire husband right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up, shut up, Christina. Why don't, don't y'all have a millionaire husband? Fuck don't that, tell me to shut up. Up. Don't tell me to shut up. What I'm y- saying, y'all try to put us on a motherfucker. No, I'm not saying nothing bad about y'all. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, bro, all the shit y'all name that rich people have, the characteristics, all the descriptions, lame, corny. No, we're not they might about play. rich people, period. But like, but go ahead. I'm not saying rich people at all. That's not it's, what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that. No, I'm saying that. Listen, Christina, 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 Christina listen to. Let me finish right now. This is crazy. No, yeah, because yeah, you, you don't. You don't. Perfect. Let me let me clarify because it's you got it wrong. What we're we're well, not saying rich niggas are. And then you can talk right after me. I'm about to go ahead and 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 call it a night. I gotta sleep. You know, I'm a pillow princess. I gotta go to sleep. So what I'm saying is, um. My point that I'm trying to make is that all the things that y'all name that pe- certain people do, broke niggas do it too. Remember that. Broke niggas do it too. Broke niggas, broke niggas, broke niggas will fuck you, not even spend no money on you, and they will leave your ass the same way that a rich man does. So it don't matter. Why she talking Facts. about broke niggas though? Well, why it don't about broke matter. Niggas? Why are you talking about broke niggas, though? Why? Okay, broke niggas, regular niggas who got nine to five, rich niggas. She putting all them in the same category. Like, she said what she said. At the y'all end of the day. Y'all will play. Y'all perfect. will play. Actually, I've seen situations where shit, the damn, the, the broke nigga do her way worse. So, I mean, all I'm saying is, listen, pick your poison, B. That's all I got to say. And your poison is money. It's cool. It's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Nobody's mad at that. I'd rather, I rather cry in the Rolls Royce than cry in a Honda with a couple bruises on my neck. <laughs> yo, I hate you. <laughs> hey, yo, look. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Just come pick me up in the Rolls Royce while you're crying. I definitely will come pick you up. Like you know we could spend a block and then I could get... Yeah, I, we know... You I know could bag a chick and tell her it's mine and, and then it's really not. Yeah, you you my dog. You know we're going to hype you up. We know we're going to do that. Yeah. Right. Oh, you with me for life. And you, see, and you see how you see how you make him into a corny nigga by like, now he, now he go... His bitch riding around in Rolls Royce picking up other niggas, gang members and shit. That shit crazy. Like, that shit is crazy to me. Talking? What are you talking about? I'm just fucking. Y'all say, y'all I, say I, miserable. I, I, and no, but also real shit though. We, are we not saying that like you know you making it seem like we saying rich niggas and niggas that got money is corny? We, that's never that. What we're saying is if they 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 pay their wife and like you know they they spending on them, they're not spending on multiple girls. Like I know a lot of niggas, bro. I know some niggas that's millionaires, rich ass niggas. They treat girls like fucking. Um, um, um like, objects, bro. Sexual objects, bro. They know they can fuck with this bitch. Oh, and they doing it not for them, but for themselves. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know some niggas, some scammers, nigga that really be taking girls to the Louis store, taking girls to the Gucci store type shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it is nothing to them. They doing it to fuck them. Just want to use them as objects. Just broke niggas too. I know broke mean that. You know they they objectify. Um, women all the time. But, but at least you knew that from the beginning, though. Like, and, and, and like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you trying to make it okay. This so is why... This, you know, this is why polygamy is just the best option. Go ahead with that polygamy shit. Katie left, but Katie gonna be one of my wives. She's just playing. Where's she at? <laughs> she need to come back. I don't know. What are you talking about? But yeah, mm-mm. Y'all so damn funny. Y'all had me rolling tonight. I'm sorry. Y'all got it on this one. And mm, 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 mm. y'all are funny. That's all right. We gonna find y'all some wives, some good clean wives, good clean wives. I already got them, and they in the rabbit hole. They just, they just all gotta agree. That's it. 
I know Brown complaining too. He can't find no wife in no LA. Shit. Yeah, you need a you need you need a, you need a million dollars to to uh to get one of these bitches now. No, I know, I know you sat in here. I know I'm saying they don't want to. They don't want to get their bag I'm, together. Like, come I'm, on, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep a one hundred with you. Just be my wife and let's get the bag together. Like, damn. <laughs> You're like, not like, ready. Like, like I hear. You're not ready. I, I, I hear, bro. Hey, like on some real shit. You don't want it. You don't want to. Personality and gang banging takes you a long way. It's not gang banging. Crazy. You crazy. I didn't. I didn't fuck. I didn't fuck. I didn't fuck basketball players, bitches. Like and like, you know, and off the rip, just 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 coming from to coming to Compton type shit. Like meeting them on, on a fly type shit. Like and, it, and it's like you know, at the end of the day, it's like you know, it's not what you think. Like y'all y'all live a facade. Like it's not like that in, in L.A. Like bitches don't be giving a fuck. Everybody rich out here. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, all I'm saying is, man, y'all y'all find what love y'all and, and what y'all want. Y'all y'all gonna be all right. Y'all gonna be all right. Katie, you're not into polygamy, though, right? Oh, because you just started doing that. That's not how I met you. So exactly, Katie. What are you Stop talking about? <laughs> Stop playing with me. <laughs> how can you right? stay in, the, in, in Clubhouse? Why, why? I saw one woman. This man come to YouTube and do a whole polygamy rebrand. What happened? Girl, he had one. <laughs> He let this one nigga come on the platform and talk about his relationship, and he just changed his whole shit. Oh, my him. God. I don't like... You know what? I really... The next well, week, I, yo, I, what I, no, man, you, all right, so I, How I, do you I, feel I, about it, though? Why we got to talk about what I said change? I don't want my man to have male friends. I'm going to be honest, because they yo, influence... They influence... Yo, yo but... Ho, but Y'all don't feel like... Yo, Katie, you don't feel like a sister wife will help us grow? Hell no. I don't need no other bitch to help me grow and do shit. Baby, you all right? It's the algorithms. I can't believe this. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 I really, you know, I really hope I hate your shot. I can't. You too, we got like you niggas want to die. Y'all get on my nerves. Like, nobody's doing that. Y'all can't even handle two bitches. Like, it's gonna be a whole like, just stop. Why? Because y'all gonna make it uncomfortable. That's why. Because you know, what you mean? You can't handle two bitches. Like, that's crazy. Like, niggas be handling two bitches already and don't tell y'all. They got don't. Just imagine how much money you would save if y'all knew. Hold on. Why we can't just do it in the open? Yeah, yeah. You know how I know y'all can't handle it because you Y'all never, if y'all don't have two, three bitches, y'all can never keep them quiet. Y'all can never Facts. keep them quiet. For some reason, they always want to reveal themselves. But, 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 but you just said keep it quiet. Like, if we in polygamous nation, we don't need to keep it quiet. What the fuck are you talking about here? But I, if I, you I, can't even have a side bitch you don't see the poly- that, you cannot you have two wives. You see the polygamy sequel happening. Like, the only like, reason why I can't have a side bitch. because you got to keep it a secret. Yeah, because you got to keep it a secret. That's the exactly. You, you don't see this whole polygamous shit on TikTok with Shanice and Sean and Olivia? Like, yes. you see what happening? That, that shit, shit looks no. stupid. Like, this Look, shit is Sean. I'm talking about Hocus, Katie, and somebody else. But Hocus, I just feel like oh this shit God. is a trend <laughs> right now. Yeah, I, yeah, it, yeah. It's a trend, and I'm not with it. Oh my God, it's a trend. I, yeah, How is it a trend? They've been practicing it for thousands of years. And you niggas just started no. doing it for no, to be okay, so for thousands yeah, of years. Y'all never was with polygamy. In America? Woman, that, oh, Katie, Katie, guess what? If a woman said, you know what, I could have three four husbands. husbands, four husbands in a household. No, no, work. no, <laughs> no. Do I got to play the video where, where, where the woman said how we how men are polygamous by nature? Do I have to play the video for y'all? No. What's nature about it? Do you want me to play it for you? No, I already watched the video. I don't want to listen okay, to no more. I don't want to listen. And you to know what's nature people. about it, like focus. I don't want to listen to no more pick me's. I don't want to listen. Hey, to how many? How many? How many hot dogs <laughs> do they put in the corn dog, Christina? I can't stand you. What? Stop. Exactly. Like, like at the end of the day, I've never seen two corn dogs or three corn dogs inside of a uh, side of the bread. Like, because it, it just doesn't look right that, at the end of the day. Exactly. So, they're, they're, two, therefore, man. that's why that's I hope somebody come out in the world and do it. I hope somebody come there out. There it is, girl. The niggas just ignore them. They're, they out there in their own social oh, media. That, that, yeah. I think that if a woman wants two bozos, they're going to find two bozos. That's it. But I think that a polygamous relationship in, in with with two um, women or three women and a man is healthy, and um, and it'll help us reach our goals quicker. How? Cause you got help? Cause it's a community service in this bitch? No. Yeah, shit. Like three incomes is better than two. I think it's day, giving like, community it's... service. It's not even that deep. Like, what the fuck? Y'all doing way too much for me. But Y'all did not I... grow up like this. 
this was never in, in y'all plan until now, and it's just getting trendy, like just like bodies. BBL. Neither was tricking, but we so still like, do it. Like, <laughs> it's getting trendy. It's getting right. trendy. Yo, she's <laughs> right now. So what? Let's, Katie. Let's try it, and then if you don't like it, I'm I now for you to be an Aries and for me to be Aries. You you should know damn fucking well I'm not doing no shit like that. If I if I'm ever going to be in a poly relationship, that means that this nigga's taking care of both of us, and we don't live together, baby. No. We, me and her don't okay. live. We don't all live in the same household. Like she got her place, I got my place. And hey, I see. I seen the other day. I seen yeah, a, we could do that. I seen a video the other day, they because you know they pushing the polygamous content because you know it's a lot of polygamous people now. I don't even know if it's real anymore. I think it's just for content. But it's it's a man. He has four women, and they, all, <laughs> and they all live in a two bedroom apartment. If it's five of y'all, and y'all two live, bedroom. Oh, yeah, I seen that. They wild. They, if y'all if it's five yeah. of y'all, y'all living in a two bedroom apartment, y'all need to line up so I can slap all five of y'all. <laughs> yeah. now, they, I, I can see if they just starting out and they build it towards something, but if they've been there for like over a year. Oh, that shit like, bum me. Hell no, it, that shit is bogus and cheap. It's bummy. giving dirty and cheap. It's giving y'all poor. That's what the fuck is giving. It's that's giving, giving poor. poor. I'm not gonna lie. But you know that's not what that's not my point. Like so, if it's five of us, bro, we should be living like kings, bro. It should be an east. Facts. Like that's the whole point of being polygamy. Y'all living like kings and queens. That's what you American niggas don't understand. It should be an east. Like ain't nobody talking me off the mound, okay? <laughs> we go. We gonna do polygamy regardless. Katie just being hard. Right I'm now. not doing nothing like that unless I'm married. And it's gonna be the African traditional way where you gotta buy both of us a house. And we and, and it's gonna be that, and you're taking care of both of these households. That's how putting polygamy really works. We gonna you work towards the house. Into, we gotta work uh, towards the house. That's not you how they the do house it on the movie. Yes, it is in Africa. Yeah, yes, but we got fucking. We gotta is. work towards the house bu buying the house. We want the house off. Niggas the don't. Well, well y'all taking another person religion and making it y'all American way. And but they live in fucking teepees. You want a nigga to buy a house? You compare a teepee to a house. Working towards buying a house. Help me get the money. That's to not the point of polygamy. Polygamy means the man is the provider and he wants two wives. Which means All right, I give you the Can you help the man Why? get the money, though? Can you help the man get Why the money? If you go do it a traditional day, what if I get the Adobe house? Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Can I get the Adobe house? Can you help the man get the money? Or do man have to just That's get the money? That's not polygamy. Money? Just say you want two bitches. That's not polygamy, though. Oh, That's my not God. That. That's not polygamy. It's not, baby. It's a that's a that's a whole tradition. That's a religious religious thing. That two bedroom apartment, bull. <laughs> <Into some, laughs> like uh -uh. y'all trying to make it into some Americanized shit. Like no, just say you want to have two bitches and y'all want to build together. Just say that because it's not polygamy. Polygamy is when you marry two fucking women, you buy both of them a house, and you take care of both households. That's okay, Houston, that, 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 that Houston, that. Houston, 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 that, Houston, 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 I need Houston. I need Houston advice right now. But uh, but that's not polygamy though. Uh, mon monogamy only came into America. That's a Western uh, ideology. Niggas had uh, multiple wives uh, back Word. back in the day, and it wasn't. They all lived together. They all had chores. Like it, like it I just you bitches don't want to do chores. That's shit crazy. I don't know. I actually know people that are African. And that know about this thing that they do, including but Muslims. That, but Africa is not the only place that would. It is and they, part of Africa. It's okay for them to get married and then build together. That shit is part of Africa. What are we talking about? That's not what I said. I said I, it's not an American thing. That's not a fucking. It traditional was. American yes, it thing. was an American thing. It All was right. an American well, thing. What are you talking whatever. about? Never heard of it. Your grandpa yes. and your grandpas before yes, they never they did. did that shit. So oh, stop. Oh, wow. Because the niggas is westernized. They came yeah. over here and got tricked by the fucking by the colonizer. The colonizer wanted us back to have the, one wife. Back in the day, nigga, grandpa had a whole family was taking care of my nature. I feel that was a polygamy. That was sneaking around. Just, that nigga was sneaking around, he baby. Never, he never he married. Was never him. open. Every every why every nigga Bro. got a side bitch. 
Marriage it was never is open not now. Marriage. Like, like, and it was either. never open though, because you know bitches are not with that. You're not so supposed to have a plugging. wedding. That's a, a wedding don't make you married. By nature. Let's just keep it in the open so we ain't got to fucking argue and get caught up later on. I ain't got to fucking... Nigga niggas ain't... don't like it in the open because somebody's going to get the short end of the stick because niggas and can't marriage don't, both and a wedding don't for both women. Nobody That's why they end up hiding it. Because somebody's going to have to be the side bitch. Now, if y'all was a stand-up guy and made both of them equal and be the, the household to both providers. That's what we're talking be, about no, here. No, 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 no. No, you want to build with her. You have to be the provider for both households. That's how that thing works. Yeah, after we build it up together. No, bye. Damn, you want a nigga to be rich first and then come that's to That's not, you? I mean, if you want to be the one, you the one that's getting okay. this. You know this what? Week. You're right. You're right. At that point, I'm going to pick five wives then. At that point, like, I want to grow with, uh, the, I want to, you know, grow with the woman that that's with me from the gate and then to have them only. But if I'm at that point, if I'm coming, I, I'm picking you, 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 and you. I'm picking five if I'm already coming rich. Right. Like, I don't. I gotta pick it a little at that point. But the woman that that grow with me going through this shit, those are the fucking, those are the wives. Like, that's how I look at it. You know, and, you know, I don't look at if I'm, I'm already coming, like, yo, look, I'm a millionaire ready. I'm gonna take care of you, you, and I'm gonna still do me. That's 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 not it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't that like yo, nah, this this one. Like, you gotta know, be a disciplined nigga, and a lot of you niggas not even disciplined. I'm a disciplined like nigga. That. I'm a Somebody man. said in the show, sister wise, they broke up because he was giving more attention to the other one. So, man, listen, I don't know about the show, man. Because them niggas is bozos. I but y'all, bozos. y'all, y'all add a y'all add a Western philosophies onto like yeah. uh, polygamy. Like marriage, marriage was not that back in the day. Like marriage was if you had sex with the woman, you had you bust a nut in there, y'all was married. That whole idea of a church and a ceremony, that shit came from a false ideology they took from the Bible, and there's no weddings in the Bible. There you go. So, there so, you go. So all that bullshit y'all be talking about, all that giving. Well, I guess that doesn't shit. matter because it's, it's, it's none of y'all bullshit. grandparents live by that. Y'all know yes, not they one yes, they in did. y'all family. Only our did. family Hold, on. Our by that. Hold on, our great grandparents. I need your help, man. Wedding. No, no, they didn't. They didn't put no fucking diamond in no ring. They, that that the wedding ring and the wedding bang was just something that they had together. It's like almost like a promise ring. Not until like they start marketing the diamond until they start putting that shit in engagement rings and then start putting that shit in wedding rings. Then you have to get two rings. All this shit is new. Western traditional shit. You uh, a wedding does not make you married. Uh, uh, a sexual intercourse makes you married. And it, 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 that's through all religions. Like what, what we got soul about? ties. Hold exactly, on, on. soul ties. It's niggas you probably still married to to this day because y'all had unprotected sex uh, and it was passionate uh, and emotional. That's not true. I released them. I released them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, no, Houston. Hold on, hold on, Houston. Houston, I need your help. Because Yo, what up, bro? My bad. I fell asleep, bro. I, I know you probably sleep, man. We up here talking about polygamy. And, um, yeah, somebody hit my phone up, bro. I was like, yo, they... I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, they woke me up. Like, what the fuck? Oh, did they woke my bro up? So, like, <laughs> now we here. We here, y'all. So keep them super chats coming. So, Houston. Yeah, what up? You know, Katie. Katie's on stage, right? Uh huh. Katie is one of my wives, but she ain't gonna say it because she's a, she don't want to be a, a a polygamous wife. But she's one of my wives. Then how is she gonna be one of your wives if she's not with her, bro? Like that that don't make no sense. She, but I, I I need your help. Look, so Katie, <laughs> I can't convince her. <laughs> That's what you woke me up for, <laughs> bro. No, 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 no. I didn't wake you up for that. You've been doing this for thirty years, and yeah, yeah, yeah. She she she's basically saying that I. I need to already have had. I already, I already need to be a millionaire and then come get the and then take care of her and the other wife and have them in separate houses. That's not what I said. I said you got to be a millionaire. You're right, you said I already need to buy houses for y'all and uh, all that. Houston, is, is, that's not polygamy. So, so exactly, she said it was obvious. Houston. Can you tell? Matter of fact, just tell us what it is. I'm not even gonna say what she said. Just tell that's us. that's African tradition, though. I think all Africans that's do what that. That's what I said. It. Where they uh, yeah, uh, Africa, uh, motherfucker. I don't even believe I'm from Africa, but go ahead. Well, you asked me the question, brother. I mean, I gotta answer it correctly. No, no, though, I, was, I was, I was, I was, um, based on what she just said. Yeah, I was. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's uh, uh, that's more like an African tradition. I think a lot of Africans do that. Some, some do practice in the same household. You know what I mean? Um, but I think most of them do have a 
separate households and stuff like that. No, but it's not about the separate households. She's saying basically, she is saying that you got to have, you got to be able to take care of us, have us a separate household. And my, my, yeah, an African tradition. Yes. My my thing is this, Houston. Like, I'm telling her, like, now I I, I feel more comfortable taking care of y'all if we grow together, come up together, and, and, and get rich together. And like, hey, you have, you have my wives here. I take care of y'all. Versus, if I'm already a nigga who got it, and I'm picking you and her, I, I gotta have a pick in the lid. I can pick five of y'all, and I can pick ten. If I'm already a nigga who got it, and I can pay y'all, you like, it's not, it's not that genuine, you know. Well, yeah, it won't be genuine because you didn't build together. That, that's my. So, that's what I'm trying to tell Katie. Yeah, regardless, um, it goes back to the women. I mean, a lot of people don't understand that part, but you know, you gotta understand though. You in Western culture too, though. You know what I mean? Um, and you can't really. I don't knock the women the way that they feel over here because they think that if you buy a ring, uh, they think you married or engaged. You know what I'm saying? It's when you lay with the woman is when you married to that woman. Wait, say that again. I mean? When you do what? When you lay with the woman is. Brown just I, said that. Brown just said exactly he, what you just said. Yes, yeah, when you lay with the woman, but but you 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 you. you <sighs> A lot don't of y'all got un- no. A lot of y'all got to understand too, bro. Like the, the the upbringing of the way that the Western world is, bro. Like you you can't really knock the women on how they feel about that too. You know what I mean? Because there's no foundation there, bro, to begin with. You see what I'm saying? So like some people would say, "Oh, well, you haven't been practiced polygamy all your life." You see, I I hear that a lot too, and then you get the what they call somewhat polygamy, which is not polygamy when they're sleeping with two women at one time. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, I hate to say it, but it's more on faith based. You understand what I'm saying? It's not really of a, because we, we lost that heritage, right? So if you remember back in the days, our grandfathers would have other households. You see what I'm saying? And you'll be playing, your, your your parents will be playing with their own siblings and don't even know it, you know what I mean? So it was always hitting, like a hitting factor in there, you know what I mean? So um, if you go back to history, tradition, and text, yes, that's how we was. But in modern society, you know what I mean? It, it Sometimes it evolves for the better and sometimes it evolves for the worse. You know what I mean? So a lot of women that do feel like um that's not the way for them, you know what I mean? It, it shouldn't be forced upon them. They should be willing to do it. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, it's one of them things, bro. It's a tit for tat, you know what I mean, type thing. You know what I mean? Like it, it all depends on, you know, as, as in having the money and all that. I can understand that too, you know what I mean? Because this is a Western way, bro. Like, if you go to Dubai and all them places, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing too. Facts. You know what I mean? So I understand where the women are coming from from that aspect, you know what I mean? So you got you to gotta take that into consideration that w- w- what they're seeing compared of when I, I was born and raised in it. You see what I'm saying? So what they see in and compared to what I was born and raised in is like way different because you have social media and all that stuff. It's just like when we was watching the thing with the, with the brother and the, right. and the four and the, and the four sisters, you got two women sleeping with each other. Like that, that's not really polygamy, bro. That's, that's, that's more of a sexual fantasy or fallacy where they're sleeping in the living room with like the couch. Like that's not polygamy. That was crazy. They say it's polygamy, but it's not. That was crazy. They in our living room sleeping together on the couch. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like it's how, how, how you how you have. There's no way I can have those women, and we not capitalizing. We ain't like it's no way. I, we gonna sit down, and make this plan, and just play it. We gonna get some fucking millions. There's no way. There's no way. Like like you sleeping on the couches and shit like that. And that, one, that one, one of the bitches go hit fig for a nigga, and that's on the game. <laughs> like like. Yeah, I'm like, saying, like it's no way. <laughs> But but you know you 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 have to be patient with the women too, bro. Like we we always want to say you know what I mean the women the women the women, bro. But we gotta hold the men accountable too, cause a lot of men fucked up things too. You know what I mean? Facts. So 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 we can't 
we can't sit there and be like, oh, this, oh, that. You know what I mean? Like, it's well, it got to be accountability on both sides, and then we can fix things. You know what I mean? But there's never accountability on both sides. There's one blaming the other. You know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? Or vice versa, man. Is the man blaming the woman or the woman blaming the man? So there's no accountability on both sides. And that's why uh, it's kind of hard to even suggest polygamy. Some people call it polygamy. It's not polygamy. It's polygamy. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, you know, you got them weird people in Utah where these grown women offer their daughters. Like, that's weird. Like, that's weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> to to their husband that wasn't even they, you know what I mean? Like, some people are just like, that's they're doing a like a fad. They're doing like a fad out of it. You know what I mean? That's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like, so a lot of women will be, they'll shy away from it because it looked weird to them. You know what I mean? That makes me not like polygamy no more. I'm done. What happened? Breeding. Oh, now you don't like it. No, Hocus. No. <laughs> See, he don't know. How, 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 how? <laughs> you, if, if you practice it, you should be doing it. But if you're going to practice it and do it, you should do it in a way where it's sustainable for you and the women. You understand what I'm saying? So but you have to have... I don't want to do it, so what the hell am I doing? Well, not all... <laughs> not all going to be like that. You know what I mean? It's it just being the right ones that are willing to do it. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you... You, you, you got to... It, 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 how it has to make sense, brother. It has to make sense. I would have the title. Well, yeah, so, it has it has yeah, to make so, sense to the woman. Give me the title. I want the title. You're right. Yeah, yeah, it has to make sense to the woman. As the title is great. And where does it benefit the woman at? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what you got to get to the woman. But if the woman feel like you're not, you're not, you're not interjecting that into her, of where does it benefit her? You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like what you're seeing right now, I guess, on social media. Where people saying that they polygamy, they practice polygamy, well polygamy. They say polygamy, which is polygamy, or they practice. You know what I mean? Whatever they say that they're practicing, and they're not actually practicing what they're saying that they're practicing. They're actually practicing some weird orgy type shit that women are like, I'm not with that shit. But if you can get it together, where, where it depends how you go about it too. Like in reality, how it's supposed to work, you're gonna have your first wife, and then you're gonna have your second wife, and then they're usually gonna come together. Y'all gonna come together as three as a unit to get the third wife. You see what I'm saying? It has to be a a a, a, a get along gang. It's got to be a lot of communication, dog. It's, and I'm gonna have uh, them both pregnant at the same time, though. That's gangster. Well, I mean. <laughs> that happens, you know. <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get a boat pregnant because I would assume like one would be jealous that one is pregnant and one not. Like it's like you would have to like give them both a baby, like you know what I mean? Like that's crazy. Well, I mean that's gonna happen. I mean, you're not gonna avoid that, you know. What I mean, um uh it, it it's not I mean, yeah, I mean some women will feel some type of way if you got one pregnant and one not pregnant or but you have to make them just feel equal and how you make them feel equal is communicating where you're lacking with that uh, one spouse or the other you see what I'm saying the communication is the key behind it if there's no communication and y'all don't talk at least two three times a week as together as a unit but it doesn't you work. Them, but shouldn't should you make them bitches compete for your love? Like, because, like, it's like. What it's it, why, why would they be bitches, bro? They're your wives. <laughs> well, I mean, women, I mean, I mean, let's say my bad. I mean, women compete for your love. Like, like, because, like, it's like you just kind of like giving up both, like, sympathy trophies and shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, I think you're trolling, trophy. man. You like, trolling? <laughs> trolling. You trolling, man. I knew you was trolling. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so serious because it's just like you know, it, it's like you're the man in a, in, a, in a situation, and then it's just like the, the female you say you go treat them equally. But what if one is putting more effort than the other one, and then it's just like you know. That's where the communication like, comes in, brother. That's that's what the community. You gotta understand that it, it's 
but what it doesn't if that's work. Her? What if one is just more nurturing and then like more caring and then like you kind of like gravitate towards her more and then essentially like she earned your love more than the other one. You can't treat the other one the same. You treat this one. No, nah, if you do that, then it ain't gonna work, brother. You just might as well be with that one because if you're not treating them. Uh, I, I can tell you about my situation. I can't tell you about other situations. I, uh, uh, I could tell you about my situation. My situation is um, where I had two and I was good. And then the two was like, well, she don't want to marry him. You think you should take her on, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no. And I was like, I think you should, blah, blah, because it'd be easier for us. There's down the third. And I was like, well, is that's easier for you, but it makes it harder for me. And then, you know, um, it did make my life a living hell for like the first year and a half. And then, you know what I mean? And then it smoothed out to now, you know what I mean? So, um, but it's, it's all love the same. I mean, so you live with both your girls? All three of my wives. You got three? Oh, um, wow. So you got, so you got three wives. So just like, all right. So how does that work? Like, no, like, two pick one. Huh? Two of them pick my third one. Oh, the two. Okay. So then, so you got three wives, and like, yes. so, all right. So like, how how does that look? Like, what? How does your day start? Like, when you wake up in the morning, like, like who's cooking breakfast? Like, how does that? Look? They all contribute. They all contribute. And they own so way, like, brother. The eggs, we'll cook the toast and shit. <laughs> nah, one will cook breakfast. Uh, one will clean the house, one will make up the beds, one will do however they want to float that part. You know what I'm saying? Like, See, he living in a fantasy world, Houston. Yeah, Which yeah. The way you were explaining it, this is real life. Like, them niggas want a fantasy of the poly. You know what I'm saying? They not for real. Don't entertain this shit. No, I'm not because this nigga, this nigga's the real deal right here. Y'all niggas just talking about some other shit that wasn't even... Uh, polygamy, polygamy, whatever. But like, what I, what I'm trying to see is like, cause that's that's some fascinating shit. Like having like three wives and shit. Like, so you don't do nothing. What do you mean I don't do nothing? Like you don't have. To I, do <laughs> I, do, uh -huh. I do everything. I do. I do everything. Still gotta live his daily life. Still gotta work and shit too. What are y'all talking about? I, I do everything. I do. <laughs> The, the the foundation, the, the they the creation. think you can sit on a couch and these bitches, I'm sorry, these women feed you, bathe you. That's what they think, and that's what they think no. that they're gonna have if they're in a poly relationship. No, 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 nothing, nothing like that. Um, uh, you're not gonna lay Katie, down. You with just me. don't, Katie, you just. Just say you jealous, that's it. No, because I actually, see, that's how I know poly is not for everybody. It's not fit for every man to be in the poly. Houston, it fits him. Like, he, 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 Houston is. So, you're trying to be four? Can you, can no, you be in a poly? That's the question. Houston, can you be in a poly? Fuck with Houston. Houston. I, okay, because like I said, it depends on the man. It depends on you, baby. Like, if Houston was to recruit crew or whatever, somebody in relation right now, it would work for somebody who would never be with it. Because look the way he's explaining it. He, he, it's like this shit not for everybody. That shit is not for y'all. Because how y'all was just oh acting before Houston came in the room, y'all could never. That's why y'all don't need to be in poly. Because look, look, look at y'all questions for Houston. Like, that shit not for I everybody. I ain't asking no questions. I already understand. Everybody. Me and the brother talk here. No, me and Hocus talk a lot about it. Yeah, Hocus learns a lot about can it. Never convince nobody to be in a poly with y'all. Period. I can. <laughs> okay. You just <laughs> said oh, I'm not gonna even go there. Well, but I, I was, you know, no, 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 no. Let her go there. Go ahead. What I said. All I'm gonna say is nothing. I'm gonna no, say is what I said. Houston has a better chance of convincing a woman yeah, that, he been doing that's, shit not, 30 years. With, that's not with it than one of y'all trying to convince somebody. He's been doing it 30 years. He got it mastered to a fucking T. He been doing it. And, I don't, I don't, I don't, and, and he's teaching me a lot about it. So I, well, I, I was I, born and raised in there. Every, 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 every bisexual. Every bisexual girl that had then had a girlfriend and then we had a threesome and we was Katie just don't want to be in poly with me. That's like like, like that shit that shit is nothing. Like nigga having threesomes ain't nothing. It's just a, a, the idea of like being in a relationship. Sometimes no, that's that shit it, happens. She just don't want to be in a poly with me. 
You know what's crazy? Because I always hear men talk about poly, but I never hear the woman. So I never hear the woman talk about how they feel or how how the what they feel about poly in their well, poly relationship. Well, my wife, um, we talk, and um, they they think about doing an interview with Hocus, but they don't want all the shenanigans because they're not with that because they. They this are, is for it, real. This is real. Yeah, they like, enter the you truth, and they're not with the. You wouldn't even have with, anybody on tape. Yeah, with the fun and games and all that, they're not with that. Like they, they, they're not feeling what, what Facts. a lot of people do on here. You see what I'm saying? So, they're not, uh, they're not with it. You know what I mean? So I'm like, nah. I think after Katie hit him, then she'll be with it. Basically, yeah, I think basically, basically she basically was like, nah. We heard that brown skin Jesus fucking talk, and we don't like that cat. Like, nah, nah, nah. I don't got nothing to do with you, bro. I got to do with the way some people carry themselves, and that's why, I really, to be honest with you, that's why I started falling back more and more and more. Because people one minute they one way, and then they switch up, and I'm not with that with the shenanigans. So that you know, what I mean, like I just don't be with it. But to be honest with you, uh, sister, um. I was, I'm talking about my situation, is faith-based, okay? I was born and raised in Pali. So you know, this has been a tradition for people think that the, the movements that you see now, I'm not going to say what it is, hocus know what it is, that this is something new. This is something that's been going on for hundreds of years of just people catching on to it because of social media now. You know what I mean? So, um, but in my household, it's faith-based. It's not I None feel like people are becoming more fascinated with it because of what they're seeing on social media stuff. It's not really traditional. It's not, it's a not lot traditional. Of guys no. that are like you that are showing that platform it's a lot of bogus bullshit going on of showing this platform and making the name look bad you know what i'm saying well it, it, it's sexual fantasies if it makes sense it's not um what people call so-called poly no for, I, I don't feel like for me it would be sexual fantasy right because I could have sex, I could have sex with one woman for the rest of my life. Because I can, I can actually go without having sex with a woman for long periods of time. I did it. I went 22 months, uh, fucking on the street, not in jail. I went years in jail without sex, but I, I, I went just, just not having sex, and when I could, at, at the fucking snap of my fingers, right, and then had sex, and then still went, went more months after that, like just not doing it. Right? Yeah, but we talk about what people are showing on social media, no, not what you. No, but what I'm what I'm saying is this. This is what I'm saying. I, I just I just personally feel like, you know, for me, I just feel like it, it probably me and, and and my wives would it will catapult us, you know, in in a lot of areas financially, mentally, and just physically and um it socially. Grow. Socially, yeah. I think I I personally feel like that. If I build a foundation with two or three women, it would. It would grow to be something, you know, major. And I, that's just how I personally feel, you know. No, but it is. It'll make you humble yourself, and believe I, it or not. I think it, I think it will. You know, and Katie just don't want to listen. So I get it. No, it, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, Katie. <laughs> but you, you, you have to show her, not her per se. Let me not say you not per se. We talking about a woman in this place. Like you, you have to show the woman where it benefits her. Understand something. This is what people don't understand clearly. My situation is a lot different than other people's situations. I was born and raised in Pali. That's one. I was also my first wife and my second wife. Those were arranged marriages. You understand what I'm saying? Big difference. It wasn't over lust. You see what I'm saying? So my situation is a lot different than other people. Some people doing it because it's something to do. Some people do it because it's a lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? So, so can I say why I want to do it? Well, I kind of just gave a little hint. 
the Hocus want to play tonight? Why come in here and play around? <laughs> I'm not playing. She's getting my nerves right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> they put that, why you put that brown comment on? One makes eggs, one makes toast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no, yeah, bro, be trolling like a motherfucker, bro. I just bro, be cracking like, me up. I, yo, so so look, I don't want to do it like I, for some fantasy, sexual fantasy. I want to because I feel like I feel like you know it, 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 it you know, it, community wise, it makes sense to me, and we can we going to grow together. Like I don't know, I it, you know I will never. It, it, I'm a man. And I know I would never cheat on my wife. I, I won't. I won't cheat on my one woman. But I just feel like you know. I don't know. But like, you're choosing the wrong words, brother. So what's you how say, am I choosing you, the wrong words? Because you say community wise when it's tribal wise. Oh, so but I mean I'm choosing the wrong words. But you know the, what I'm trying to say. I know so, what you're trying to say, but understand that if you if if you choose your words more carefully, then a woman might. Want to follow your lead to it? You see what I'm saying? Okay. I, 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 so, so Katie, you heard that tribal? I want to build a tribe with you. So, Katie, come on, let's build this tribe. She ain't trying to hear nothing. I got to say. <laughs> Sorry about yeah, welcome. You use them words. <laughs> I, Katie, I already got another prospect for us. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna show you, them, and then we're gonna just. You need to take some more lessons from Houston first. Damn. Man, man uh, Sister Katie, um, don't make it seem like I'm a pimp. <laughs> For real. I damn. honestly don't you get that vibe. You got to take more lessons first. I said, damn. <laughs> All right, thank you. Because I was like, wait a minute, man. <laughs> what I'm it's, saying is that. But, Hocus needs to need to need some more advice. He's not ready yet. He needs a, a mentor. I need experience. I need experience. So, so why don't you experience with me and let's learn together? Well, you got to understand the values first, brother. And where if the values come in to build your foundation, in order for a woman to see the structure on it to get the values from it, and then the, if you lead, they will follow. Facts. You hear that? Right. I heard him. So let's do it. We gotta. We gotta. He, he just we, saying let's do it. He's not really listening. No, let's go, no, no, Katie. What I'm saying is, we have an in-house coach. <laughs> let's do Bye. it. Like, what are we waiting for? Houston is gonna coach us. Let's go. I walk you through it. It ain't hard to walk through exactly. it. Exactly. Like, 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 let's go. Like, he's gonna walk us through it. Like, yo. He but said that they will follow. So have me follow first. You need to do it. You don't want to follow. I'm, I'm, to I'm trying to have you follow right now. You just like no, 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 no. Yo, ho, we're gonna talk. We we're gonna talk behind the scenes every day for thirty minutes, bro. So I can break it down to you, bro. I got you. If you're gonna take it serious, bro, like behind the scenes, we'll talk about it. I, I know what I know what it's gonna do for me. She just don't see it yet. It's gonna you got choose. You got choose your words more carefully. I I do. I, I've been drinking too, so I do. Yeah, it it seems like a. I've been drinking so much. I know you're serious because you ask me all the time about stuff. You know what I mean? I know you're serious, but I guess, you know, I don't know what happened with the conversation before I came. But, um, you know, even uh, Dima would, you know what I mean? He was on the phone with me on Face Chat and they just sat there quiet the whole time. Every time I talk, they sit there quiet. You have one that's run bunches, though. You know what I mean? My first wife, she's run bunches. But uh, the other two, they just be quiet, bro. Like, they don't really be with that. You know what I mean? But um, you know, it's it's in time, you know what I mean? Once they see that you're serious about it, I think I think you you you'll be able to to lead them to the path that where you will show them that it benefits them more than it benefits you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you see what Jasmine talking like? Jasmine. Jasmine said Hocus been had when well, we put the chat live on stage. Hocus been had women say I'm with it. And he ain't picked none of them. This is going on over yet. Jasmine, I did not have women say I'm with it over a year. But I did have women say they with it. And I've been talking to them. And I'm trying to introduce Katie to the family. That's it. 
Well, no, well, 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 let me ask you this, Hope, if you don't mind. Uh, how women? How many women you been talking to? How about it. Two. Mm -hmm. One. Maybe two. I'm gonna say two. Two. Okay. I'm gonna say two seriously. Maybe three. Two. Two. Yeah, it sounds like two. Two seriously, right? So, do, does the two know about each other? Do they talk to each other? Nah, cause this ain't this ain't this ain't no like it ain't it ain't nothing like etched stone. This is me having a conversation. This is, you know, what I'm saying okay. conversations, this, right? Yeah, this, yeah. This is just hocus, just like living his day to day life. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you off on some things because you've been drinking. Yeah, and yeah, and I want yet. you to watch what you say. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. When you're having a conversation with one, you should be having a conversation with both of them at the same time. It should be a group effort. It shouldn't be individual efforts. And then if Katie want to include herself, make it a mutual thing, not a me and her thing, a we. It's got to be, you got to understand that no longer is focus around you or the other person you're talking to or the other person you're talking to. It focuses around all of you. So once you break that barrier where there's more communication between all three of y'all, then you'll be able to lead. But always understand one thing and one thing only. You have to have a foundation. Without that foundation, it's not going to work. You have to have that foundation. How do you create the foundation, right? That's what you're thinking in your mind. How you create the foundation is by starting by including and not having one-way conversations because you got one person seeing it one way, you got the other person seeing it the other way, and then you're sitting there wondering which way is it going to go when you can do it together, and now you're creating a foundation. Make sense? Makes sense. A lot of sense. You can't, you can't, you can't, Talk to one, and they'll be like, okay, this, that, and the third. Then you can't talk to the other one and be like, this, that, and the third. You have to talk to each other I, as I a group. Really, I didn't really make try try to make the attempt to like put it together yet because I felt like, you know, and, and even though we, I'm talking shit in here tonight, like, like you know, I, like I got, I got, I got some um things to clear up in my mind first before I even attempt to put everybody together. But I agree with you. Maybe I just need to, you know. So, Katie, yeah. Katie, I'm putting you in the group chat now. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get a group text tomorrow. <laughs> I like to do that. Katie's going to spaz out. I like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, man. But you, yeah. you, you. Yo, 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 Jasmine, who are you talking about, though? Like, who, who, I don't even know what Jasmine is talking about. Jasmine is just chatting. She's just like, She's in a she's in a chat. Jasmine is just chatting like she's just, who are I you love talking her, about? I love her bro. face expressions who though, are you bro. Talking about Jasmine, like you just chatting. Like I need to know who Jasmine is talking about. Oh, I hope it's had this person, but it, other other than who other than the obvious Jasmine, I know I know the obvious Jasmine. I know the obvious. Okay, don't say the obvious person, but tell me who I don't know about because maybe, maybe I need to court them too, and maybe I got maybe I got five potential wives. I don't know. Boy, you, boy, you trying to commit suicide, huh? <laughs> that's a that's a ticking time bomb waiting to happen, brother. <laughs> Ooh, five at one time. Listen, I could do one wife, but I don't know. I just, I just go go with what your heart feel, because you're not gonna be happy. I'm the alchemist, man. I'm the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <yeah>, crazy. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta go what your heart feels, right? If if your heart feels like you're gonna practice and do polygamy, practice and do polygamy. If your heart feels to be with one wife, be with one wife, brother, because you're not gonna be content, especially in the stage of of point that you are in your life. So that's something that you will have to make a choice on. Not here. 
That's something that you have to do on your own. Yeah, not tonight. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I, I see. I, she said I'm not gonna name. So, uh, Jasmine, I'm not. I'm not denying that I got options, right? But you're talking about. We're talking about specifically women who willing to do polygamy. You're saying. I think that's what you're talking about, Jasmine. I don't. I don't know more than two that I'm talking about with him. She so talked about you, herself. If you know, maybe you can help me, Jasmine. They she talked about me. herself. She talked huh? about her. She talked about her. She would have just said that. Jasmine is fucking raw. She would have just said me, nigga. She would have just said it. Yeah, Jasmine don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, she, <laughs> like, okay, Jasmine don't care. She's going to tell you how it is, and it is what it is, bro. She just don't want to say who they are, like put people out there, but she need to tell me. You need to tell me now. Let me weigh my options. Nah, but um, it's it's all good, man. I I know I know Katie will never be with it. She yeah, well, you you got a four bedroom, right? Yeah. There you go. You got four wives. Yeah, you know, I'm um I'm I'm moving to Arizona though. Are oh, you going to AZ? Yeah. Oof. That dry ass place. Focus. Well, if it all fails, my spirit is leading me to. Hey, that's what's up, brother. What you said, Brown? At least you still got Pamela. Miss Pamela and five daughters. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got more than Pamela, nigga. And that, nigga, I got the doll baby. No, I ain't got that. <laughs> what you got, well, Halle yeah, though? Yeah, I'm, you know. You I'm know they coming out with them I'm AI robots. Girl, nigga, women, like, look, yo, I be chilling. But you know they coming out with the AI robots, boy, that do all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, if they come out with that, I might as well just purchase because I'm, I'm I'm not having no love life. Like I'm really in. Like I have I have no love life. Like, and I'm a I'm a man who can, who can have a love life if I want to, but I just don't. That's because you 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 got a you got a little bit of soul searching to do for uh for what you want, brother. And I think you should go for what you want. I think uh. I think you have enough people around you that can lead you into the way of the way that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to polygamy. Yeah, you're right. I, I think I do. I might want what I want because having my way, it would have been few. I have heard three women say they will. Jasmine, can you please tell me who these three women are? Can you text it to me? Can you hit me in a DM? I, I Hit him on the back chat on Discord. Yeah, hit me in the back chat on Discord. You said I heard three people say they will. Like, who? Let me. I've know. heard two. I've heard two though. Maybe I didn't I've... hear them. Maybe I didn't hear. Them. I know one. I know Jasmine and me. Jasmine and Houston know one together. Other than that, I don't know because the other person, I'm I'm one hundred percent sure. Yeah, y'all don't know what? about. It. But one is one that I know that us three know about. Outside of that, I don't know. I don't know, Jasmine. Well, there was a second one that used to come on Discord. It was like she would, she would have too. But I forgot who it was though. I don't know. I don't know. I think Jasmine is just chatting for conversation. She's just chatting. Nah, Jazz, Jazz, Jazz don't be bash, man. What thing about Jasmine? Either she rocking with you or she not, bro. One thing, she don't be with that fugazi flip flop thing. You know what I mean? So. Nah, but there's one thing about Jazz. I need her to tell me the name though. So. Text me, Jazz. Well, you've been on here for six hours, bro. Yeah, I knew that's why I fell asleep. Yes. Ain't no more super chats. You know, it's ain't my pipe fell asleep. We ain't talking. Jazz, Jazz is the coolest. Jazz wants you, Brown. No, she don't. She just be talking. <laughs> she ain't Cali. She ain't Cali. That's the job. Man, I love Jazz. I love Jazz. Jazz, I don't real. Think Jazz and Cali. Yes, she is. Jazz, a real one, bro. For real, for real. I oh, mean, yeah, oh, Jazz. I yeah, I never seen a flip flop. She always stand on her ten. Um, there's a few of them that be like that. That stand on their tongue. Um, 
Uh, Katie's standing on her ten. I'll just talk to her for this little bit. Um, I'll talk to her. I talked to her before too, though. I think. Standing on her ten, stubborn ten. Katie, I talked to you before. <clears throat> hmm? I talked to you before. Yeah, I don't heard you talk about the poly before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's standing on her ten. I knew. I knew looked familiar, but yeah. I mean, brother. Let me tell you, let me be honest with you. Yeah. You know who benefited off this poly shit? The woman. Your wife. You know, lie, bro. Like, that shit crazy. I'm telling Katie, I said it. I'm going to give it up. Stop, Hocus. Hocus was before you walked in here. You said, Hocus, I'm going to, y'all going to get all the money for me. And then. I'm going to flip it and give it to y'all. Like, Hocus was making it by himself. There was an no. I and team. No, no, Hocus no, no, was no, putting no, the I and team. He wasn't saying no we shit. He wasn't saying no we shit. That's thing. not what I said. I said I, I said the same thing I've been saying. He was the been here. I said, yeah, my wives, y'all going to help me get rich, and I'm going to give it all back to y'all. The same words. That means a team. Y'all going to help me get rich. That means I, he's including my, himself. My same word. Thank you, Houston. Same words. I'm not gonna switch up the word. That's what I said. See me yeah. personally. Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Okay, you know I'm saying if I if I get married, I want a wife to where like I'm giving her my paycheck and she paying all the bills, and then like you know I don't gotta think about that, and then like me too. We, do a, we save up and get and I get allowance and we just do it like that. Like if I, I, if if I can't get to that point. I don't want to uh, be with the woman if I can't give her my money. If, if I don't trust her to that point, what's the point of spending the rest of my life with her? Like, that shit is stupid. Like, yeah, so. You know what, bro? Nigga, high five from fucking from East Coast to the West Coast right now. Because that's exactly what I'm talking about. I like that. Hocus. Oh, my God. Which one is it? What are you with? What that's you what I'm <laughs> if I say, if I, I just, I said exactly what he said, but in a different word. I said, y'all going to help me get rich and I'm going to give it all back to y'all. Y'all gonna control it. Yeah, of course. Uh, Y'all gonna. Help yeah, that's that's that that's a group effort. That's yeah, not. Yeah, and I'm giving it here. I said this from the gate. That's the, the replay, I mean, we from New York, so I know what you mean by the way you're talking. You know, no, but I mean? the replays is on though, bro. So she, the, if you go back and listen, I, hey, y'all gotta have it on. And I and I said this, Katie. You know, I said this. I said, yo, I'm not gonna die with this shit. My fucking will to my wives. Like I said that. I don't care about this sh material shit. I just want to live comfortable and happy and with, with, with women that I can trust that's not going to suck no other dick. But, Katie, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be real. <laughs> if it wasn't for them, I, I I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in right now, too. You know what I mean? Well, I could chill, um, do what we want. Um, thank, thank you, Amy. I did say that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we, we could do what we there? want. Did they have jobs? Or what? How did y'all get there? At first, yeah, at first, uh, at first we, well, I was overseas, and then they had jobs, and I did contract, and then when I got back, we just went to entrepreneurship and stuff like that. I've been entrepreneurs ever since. Um, never worked for nobody after that. So yeah, we've been went overseas, did a contract, came home. You know what I mean? And ever since then, it's just been. All the way up from there, you know what I mean? So the first business, you know, between the first year to five years, you fail. Once you get past that five-year breaking point, is you're going to elevate from there. Um, and then once you put, you talk about four people putting 110% into a business, you know what I mean? So then the second one elevated from there, then the third one elevated from there, then the fourth one elevated from there, then the fifth one elevated from there, so... It just got easier and easier because it was a group effort. Everybody played their part. See, it's, yeah. it's more easier than one-on-one. -on -one, I'll be honest with you. It is. For me, I, for me, I feel like my flex, right? My flex is having two wives, three wives, right? Or whatever. Y'all flex would be me, right? But my, my flex would be y'all shining. So like y'all have to look even better than me. Like my flex is already having multiple wives. Like y'all flex. So y'all already y'all can have it all. Y'all can shine more than me. I don't care. My flex is already your three wives. 
I can live. I, yeah, I, I don't. I can fucking grow my beard out and live. For, I wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, like, yo, I don't. Hey, man, watch yourself, man. Are you trying to clown me? <laughs> no, no. So, what, I just mess with you. No, what I'm saying is that because she, I, I feel like the insinuation was that, like, oh, it's all about me, me, me. No, it, which is not. I, that's already my flex. I have women that that love me, gonna take care of me. And the flex is when you got them three coloring sitting outside of your driveway, three different colors. <laughs> that's yeah, the flex. Come on, come on baby. <laughs> With no payments. Uh, no payments. <laughs> that's the flex. The flex when you buy three, four million in, in equipment, oh, baby, dog. Baby, 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 walk in the, down this aisle with me, man. We're gonna we gonna become millionaires doing this, Katie. You you gonna make me look good because you look good as a motherfucker. And I'm gonna make you. Oh my god. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got it. Uh, you want to start tomorrow? Okay. Katie play game. <laughs> Katie play game. What happened to Brown? Oh shit, Brown! You got to come back. Get, um, this shit saying device not connected. Yeah, his phone probably died. Like, well, well, but I mean, thank you for that, Houston. I like the way you explained everything and what you. Said. Yeah, because people got a bad misconception of it. We still in here, bro. Yeah, people have a real bad misconception because they've seen stuff on social media, and that's not how it works. Um, it's not. They having some weird things going on, um, and that's cool too. But don't say it's polygamy because that's not what you're practicing. By far. By far. Man, I, I love to practice polygamy because, like, at the end of the day, get some six, some sick cootie stitches and, like, you know, have a bunch of stuff in the house and go crazy. He got that LA shit. Here we go. <laughs> hey, yo. Nigga, everybody in my house sleep, bro. bro. Not, not, not this morning, brother. <laughs> everybody, nah, you, you make, make polygamy sound cool. Yeah, I got that niggas on the echo. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I make it sound cool. <laughs> yeah, cause look at me is the shit. Yeah. I see the, arrow. The cool part is the uh how they benefit off of it. Sierra, That's the cool part. I mean I do that tonight. The cool part, right? I could go to sleep today and not wake up and they super good. And my kids will be super good, you know what I mean? And my kids will be super good. That's that's the cool part about it. Is that um that they don't have no complaints. You know what I mean? This is it seemed like um some people be like, oh, that's a man having his cake and eat a tool and no. Because if it was like that, how come I don't get shit out the situation, but they get everything? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it ain't your cake and eat it too. It sounds cool, but exactly. Who benefit off of it is the woman, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know that, and I'm trying to give them the world. Do you really? Because it sounded like you was thinking it was you you were gonna benefit more. No, 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 well, let me tell you. Let me let me. Let me Brown and Hocus thought that they were gonna benefit more. Houston, no, that's not true. Out that's of the situation. True. That's not true. I that's never not, said that. Thank you. That yo, she put words in our mouth, bro. Yo, <laughs> honestly, I know, I know one, one million percent that y'all gonna be. I, I'm telling y'all that y'all gonna help me catapult to where I need to be, so that I can give it all back to y'all, and I would not care. Like it's a, like y'all are gonna, my wives are gonna be on pushed to the fucking forefront, top of the world. My flex is already having multiple wives. I don't need yo. As long as we all taken care of and happy, you guys can have the world. It's y'all's hair. I, all I all I want is loyalty. That's it. That's all men really want. We just want loyalty, respect, and, and loyalty. That's it. Respect and loyalty. That is totally it. I, I, I will never agree to another man touching you. Never. I'm never. Ever. It just, just double standard. Yes, I agree. I'm, I'm with the double standard. No. Not not agreeing to that. And if you want to step out and do that, then you can then we can get a divorce and you can go be with that person. 
And that's just how it is. But other than that, when it comes to financial, yeah, yeah, you want to see something about financial? Are you serious? All the financial gain that we make is really going to be because of the flex that I have to have. Yeah, here. Uh, what Brown said is totally perfect. Give me the allowance. Let me give me the allowance to go shopping. Your babe, can I, can I get a couple dollars going? Hit you. You can control the account. I don't give a fuck. As long as my kids are taken care of and 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 our bills is paid, I'm. Not, I don't care. And I could go down a rabbit hole every night. You think I care? What the fuck y'all gonna be doing with the money? Go buy yourself whatever. As long as we fucking got a roof over our head. That's that's just hocus for a fifth and how I think. So anything outside of that you was thinking, sorry, I'm not that dude. I'm not that dude that want to flex on the world, especially on my woman. No, sorry, sorry, Katie. You ain't going to put that on me. Uh, that's not, Katie, not that type of nigga. Do you mind me asking you a question? Sure. She just ain't with it. Uh, no, she... she, she, she yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's that she's not with it. You just got to make her believe in it. That's the problem. I don't think, I don't think that she's not with it. I think most women... Are, not most. I think that some women are, but I mean it's the answer to the hood. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. but uh, Katie, let me ask you a question. Um, what is a high value man? A high value man to me is somebody that I mean is a man that is a stand up guy. Like he takes very care. He takes good care of himself and his family, his kids. Um, he makes his family feel secure. Um, um, a protector, a provider, like that's a stand up man. Like, so, so, so that's a high value man, no finance, no nothing. Protector and provider and provider. That's what I just said. Yeah, but a protector of provider, somebody that, um, bring stability um somebody that you can trust like i just feel like a stand-up guy is like all women want a guy that's like they feel like they can trust like i can depend on you i can trust you like i know that you got us i know that there's some stability there like like women want to feel feel secure you feel me like that's a stand-up guy when you make a woman feel secure like she don't have to question you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, but finances is included in it too, right? Yes, that's uh, that's what I said. Provider, provider means um, financially stable. Well, provider, pro provider could also mean mentally too. All of it. When I say provider, I mean all of that in one. In one. Mentally, physically. How much? How much money does the the, the provider has to have? The, the so-called provider. How it depends money? on what type of lifestyle we live in and where we live at. I can't just say a man has to have a hundred k or a million dollars. It depends on what our lifestyle is and what what city we're living in. Okay, so just give me like a a a, a dollar amount, just just for shits and giggles, just a dollar amount. Um, what would you feel comfortable with a man making a year? Hmm. That's hard for me to answer because I'm never going to just feel comfortable. Like, I don't know. Like, you, you got to. No, it's just, it's just okay, for okay, Google so, says. Okay, so I'm never going to feel comfortable, right? But if mm -hmm. I, if I, if a, if a guy was to give me, ask me a number, I feel like it needs to be in, at least in the millions, like some type of Seven investment. Figures. Like it needs to be investments. Like it ain't gotta be a million dollars in cash. Even that type of. It don't have to be a million dollars in cash. It has to be like, uh, assets. You gotta have investments. What? That's that's more of my thing when I say you let gotta it, have this type of money. Like you gotta have investments. You feel me? Like something to fall back on. Something that's gonna be um, leaving a legacy. Something for your family, your wife, and your kids. So that's why I don't like to put numbers on finances. So like. As long as you're making investments, and that's gonna, um, that's gonna help us, and 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 that's gonna, you know, be something for us in the long run. Like I look at it more like that when you say money. Okay, so the seven figures, assets. Six right? figures, yes, it can be six figures. People that make a hundred, it can see people make a hundred k a year, and they're still making investments and putting in assets for their family and leaving a legacy.
Okay. Now, you kind of, you kind of good on it. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna give you that. You, you're kind of good on it. <laughs> I was trying to trip you up, but I think you kind of caught on. <laughs> now, yeah, trip up, man. Trip now, nah, fucking. Now, now, when it comes to to paper, what people so called call money. Uh, that has no value. So if, even if a person has seven figures, right, and they have seven figures in the bank, right? Now, you said assets. I'm going to get to the assets part. So let's say you have a million dollars in the bank. Um, let's say that bank goes insolvent, which most banks are insolvent anyway. So let's say the bank goes insolvent anyway tomorrow, right? And he has seven figures with no tangibles, what we call tangible assets or hard assets. So he got seven figures in the bank. So according to the FDIC, 250,000 of it, it's uh, insured by the federal government, which is bullshit because they can't even cover that 250,000. So in reality, he probably get like maybe five grand off of that million dollars. And then it ain't a real million dollars because it's not actual tangible assets. So even if the person just had like, what well, women have a misconception, what they think is because they buying IOU items with cash that uh, that they actually high value. That's not high value. High value is what you said, assets, hard assets, and stuff like that. So if a nigga, if you go with a nigga and he was a millionaire and he was making seven figures, and then he and then he got he got knocked off his hustle and started only making like. Fifty thousand, forty thousand, or like even thirty thousand. Would you would you still stick with him until they get back on his feet? Uh, if it take like five years, or would you be gone? Duh, like y'all be making seem like singles just be out here. Like that's not that's not somebody who you're dealing with. That's just somebody who you're fucking on that just bounce because you're because you drop from a mill to forty, fifty k a year. Like my thing is, I like to talk to smart niggas. I like to talk to niggas who make investments, okay? Like that that's what really matters. Yes. You're making seventy thousand a year, but you're making investments. She don't give a shit as long as you got hard assets, bro. She yeah, just, like yeah, that's what, that, that's my thing. I like, tried to trip her up. She didn't she didn't fall for it. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, she didn't fall for it. So really it's not it's you not build this shit together, baby. Yeah, it, it's not paper based. It's uh yeah, fuck paper. Based. Based. It's all about yeah. like I. I think I'm thinking like the white man. You feel me? Because I, yeah. I grew up in California. Like I grew up around these motherfuckers. Like I know what what you like. Growing up in California, like we don't go off materialistic shit. We go off by what you have. Like oh, you own. You got a house. You got property. You got this. You got that. Like what do you have? Because life is so expensive that. We never cared about just telling materialistic things like that. Like it's all about what you have. Like any everybody in my like my grandparents, my mom, like my father, like they all have properties. They have land. Like I grew up with like people who own businesses. Like my family's not rich, but also they make sure they leave. But they got generational wealth. Yes. They got generational I, wealth. Um, now both let me, of my last names, my daddy's side and my mom's side, they both have plantations. Like we got our we got streets named after our last name. Like so when I when I, I think about shit way bigger than fucking having a million dollars in cash or seven figures, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I think about shit that's long term for me and my family, leave a legacy behind this shit. Like as long as you can have fifty thousand dollars, but as long as you're making hard like you said, um that's cool. I fuck with it because I'm I'm gonna do the same. I'm not just gonna depend on you to do it. I'm gonna do the same as well. So I want to be somebody that's on the same page as me. Like, when it comes to being compatible for me, you we gotta be. We don't have to be alike, but when it comes to like um, bond, mindset and like you know long term, you want to be elevated. You yeah, be like, elevated. it has to be some type of elevation. I'm like the ultimate hustler, man. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Can I, can I ask you another question? I, I'm not trying to get in your business. I just. I, I just. I just want to ask you another question. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you mess with a man 
that is 150 percent in debt. If he he got to be trying to get out of debt, as long as he working towards getting out of debt and it's working, that's fine. Okay. It's so easy to get out of debt these days, though. But that's what I'm saying. Like that ain't nothing. Like, like yeah, that, I, I'm that, 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 I just got out of debt. I maybe he asked that for a reason, talk, but get so. ahead. Yeah, that's just so. Yeah, yeah, but the reason why I asked that is because. Uh, I wanted to trip you up on that one, but but it was a beautiful answer, though. By the way, I, I love. Is that happening? He's I love I love the answer, but I did trip you up on the trip. question. I'm, I'm waiting for her to trip. Keep trying to trip. She, she, no, no, I, I tripped her up on that one, and I'm gonna tell you how. Because you didn't ask me what type of debt was a good debt or bad debt. That's true, but you know we're gonna automatically think bad debt when you say. That. I know, but you. The point of but but because no, because you. You ooh up the other situation, right? With the assets and stuff like that. So I thought you was going to ooh up on this part. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you why. You always want to mess with a person that's 150% in debt or 200% in debt because why? <laughs> They're already rich. <laughs> that's why they have so much debt burden on them. You see what I'm saying? I never thought of it like that. That's some really shit. Rich people don't use their own money, they use other people's money. That's true. That's true. But also, like, with with that type of situation, isn't it easier to lose everything? When no. You're in? no it, 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 was a, it was a trick question, and it was a good question. It was a trick question. Yeah, no. No. Exactly. There's people that's 200% of debt that, uh, the debt is just cash flow money. You see what I'm saying? It's nonstop money. It would never trip up. You know, I mean, yeah, if you buy office buildings and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's a different story. You know, commercial properties and stuff like that, yeah, it's a different story. But there's the good debt that even if you're 100% in debt, it doesn't affect you because it's still good debt. It's cash flow. I mean, at the end of the day, nobody wants to fuck with nobody who comes with hella baggage. It depends on what type of baggage you're willing to deal with with that person you're, you're dating. But mm -hmm. nobody wants to deal with what anybody that just has extra just all this baggage that comes with them. There's certain things that you're going to be willing to do with, and there's certain things you're not going to be willing to do with. Are you so, willing to do with all the all the baggages that come with business? I don't know. Honestly, that depends because like okay, so for instance, like I was dating a guy or whatever. He was into trading, right? He traded. So it would be up and down, right? So, like, the reason why I still fuck with him and I still, like, what what I liked about him is that I know that he can still get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you fall short, I know that you're still going to get it, though. I know you're still going to figure I know you're still going to make a way. Even if it's not tomorrow, even if it's not next month, you are a smart person. Like, that's why I don't talk to dumb niggas. Like, you got to be some type of, you got to, like you say, you got to have that hustle skill or that type of mindset. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to talk to nobody that's just lost and got all these investments and don't know what they doing and just lost and just all over the place. Like, nobody wants to deal with that. But, yeah, people do fall short sometimes and things fucking happen. But... It's like when you know this person, like, they fall short, but they, you know they're going to rise back up. You know they're going to make it happen. Like, I'm still going to fuck with that person because I know they're still going to make it happen some type of way at the end of the day. Even if they have to depend on me for a while, that's cool. But I know that if they fall short or fall in their ass, they're going to pick back up. Yeah, I, I respect that. Um, I do can you be my life? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same thing like uh me being up on social media and just sitting here and I make I take advantage. You guys keep me up and when they be up in China and Indonesia and all that stuff, I'll be trading crypto the whole time while I'm talking to you guys on my laptop. You know See, what I mean? My, so my thing about the Pauly Houston is that like Sometimes I don't even want to be bothered with my own nigga, let alone another bitch. That's just not my type of thing. It's not my deal. Like, I don't like to be 
I'm not a people person. I'm not a human. I don't even like humans as it is. Like, and I barely like my nigga. So I'm damn sure not going to like another bitch. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm not into that. Like, you do that shit on the side separately. Like, one thing about it, I've never been one of those females that, like, clock my nigga. And I know he's doing him on the side. Like, because, honestly... Would I rather him do him on the side than do a whole poly thing? That's really a good question. I might rather prefer that, honestly. Honestly. Because I'm not into the whole happy family threesome, foursome shit. I'm not into that shit. That's that not poly. Okay, I get what you're saying. But some people sleep in the same bed together. Some people have their own place, mm -mm. their own house. People have different ways of doing things, right? But I don't, you, I don't you. see me just being he hollering with a bitch that's just, and we're ha a happy family. I don't see me doing that. I don't even like bitches like that. So I just rather my nigga do whatever he wants to do on yeah, the side and poly. make sure that I'm straight. I'm sorry. Like, because niggas going to do that regardless, I feel like. So as long as you're not bringing another baby into our marriage and, um, you being clean about your shit. You ain't bringing home no disease, no STDs. Like, you're not being disrespectful. Like, you really can do what you're right. Because me, per hold on, me personally, at the end of the day, like, before gender, we're all fucking human. And I feel like, personally, you're never going to just be attracted to one person your whole fucking life. That's impossible. Like... I feel like you can have relationships with other people and it not be fucking sexual. I feel like you can be attracted to other people and not fucking cheat. Like, you're never just going to be attracted to this one fucking person for the rest of your life and you're not attracted to nobody else. You're not looking at nobody else. That I just don't. That's not realistic to me, woman or male. Well, I don't. Um, I don't look what women with lust. You give me the whole passes? That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's what you just said, though. You just said you're giving out whole passes. Cool. <laughs> but no, here's, here's, here's the thing, sister. If, and I respect the way you feel. I respect the way most women. Some women want two men. That's cool. The problem is when you get pregnant, there's a problem that I see. But I'm going to tell you what, what Polly really is. Polly is really for you to be fruitful. Not just only with children, but financially. That's what Polly really is. So there's a misconception of Polly of, you know, when people having three sums. That's cool too. That's their lifestyle. That's their lifestyle. But in general, if you got two different households, you adding two different burdens. That's why if you have it all under control under one household, now there's no burden. Now, your finances go from what people call, like like Brown. We could take Brown for example, right? Brown probably makes high six uh, high six figures, right? So let's say Brown makes like one hundred ninety thousand. But that's like working at McDonald's somewhere because he lives in California. But now if you got three people making 190000 in the one household, now you don't elevate your status. You know you can do all that without having multiple wives, right? People do it every day in two, in one yeah. relationship with a person and still yeah, well, doing that. They do. They do. But it's to be fruitful. It, you see, you... You forgetting the fruitful part. He fruitful said be part. fruitful when it comes to having kids. He didn't say multiple wives. Um, yeah, fruitful. Yeah, fruitful is to have kids too. You know what I mean? Like it's not just the. It's all right around the board. But I'm saying, I don't know about the, the hokers if he's gonna have more kids or whoever he deal with in that situation if they're gonna have more kids. But yeah, you can do that with one person. It takes you a lot longer. Uh, from what I see in, in today's day and age on what people are going through today, right? So I'll give you a perfect example. I can ask Hocus, you, Prolific, and Brown 
what is going on right now in the financial system? And I guarantee you that Nadia could tell me what's going on. I know what's going on in the financial system, but... You know, what's going on? What you talk about as far as, like, the, the transfer of money to CBDC or, like, breaks or... No, no. I'm talking about what's going on with the banks right now. What's been going on with the banks for the past three days that people don't know about? Are you talking about what's going on in Silicon Valley and BlackRock and stuff? Nope. Oh. What's going on with the banks exactly right now as we speak? Even even right now as we speak, it's happening right now because I'm looking at it. Recently? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, for the past, I, I say for the past seven days. It's the bank runs. People are taking their money. They're not standing in line taking their money out, but they're pushing it to the money market because they're collecting 10 to 11% interest on their money compared to just leaving it in the bank. So the banks is actually selling their assets at a loss. Oh, wait, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. You said the bank, the bank got the bankrupt? Yeah, you got to have you gotta have a trading account to see it. Oh, huh? yeah. Is, is yeah people bankrupt? The, the banks are going bankrupt right now as we speak. So are you saying you know that I mean? people are um are people buying uh stocks or, or what's going on? Well they're buying money market. They're buying into the money market. You're getting you're getting ten, twelve percent on the money market, you know what I mean? Inflation is at ten percent plus. So why lose money when you can gain money, right? right. The FDIC, right? Like, like if you look at the FDIC, right? If everybody was to take out their money tomorrow, which people are doing it like rampantly. So you're talking about in seven days. Yeah, I'm gonna give you an exact number. Let me go back to my laptop. Hold on, because I came to the living room. Let me go back to my laptop. Let me go to my office. I'll tell you exactly how much they're fluctuating into money market. <sighs> Hold on. Let me see. I was trading when I was with you guys on here, full of sleep in this damn freaking Are you trailer. doing day trade? Are you doing options? What are you doing? I do everything, crypto, options, swing trade. I also have a trucking company. I also help people with their businesses and stuff like that. Um, we have a lot with uh, transport businesses and stuff like that, uh, brokerage. Uh, everybody pays their part. Everybody do what they do. Hold on. Let me turn this bad boy on. I don't know why it's off. There we go. As of right now, let me see. As of right now, $607 billion has been transferred in seven days from Chase. HSBC, Bank of America. That shit crazy. Yeah, two hundred and six billion went into the money market. So people are doing bank runs, but they're not doing it cash. They transfer it to theirs because what they're gonna do is they're gonna swing it from there to crypto. So that's what most people do. They have money, you know what I mean? Um. um I wouldn't even have my money. My money's in Switzerland, so I don't. I don't even have an American bank. You know what's crazy? Um, I that I heard about how people are putting their money in like different countries and stuff. Yeah, that's what you should do. Yeah, you shouldn't put your money in the banks here. And money, uh, cash. I only keep enough cash to. To sustain my businesses, I don't keep uh, most of my shits is in hard assets, so tangible assets uh, like crypto, right? Like, like a lot of people trade crypto with uh, Coinbase, Robinhood, and all that stuff. You're going, you're buying decentralized stuff on a centralized. Uh, let me turn on my other computers because I got like ten monitors. Hold on. Let me look at what's going on. I got 10 monitors that go at the same time for some reason. There's only two of them working now. Um, 
you know, uh, people, people, uh, yeah, crypto, my bad. I'm sorry. I just woke up. Um, so crypto, people traded on Coinbase, uh, you know, um, Robinhood and all that stuff. People don't know how to trade crypto. Crypto, why, why would you buy from a centralized platform to a decentralized platform and then you don't own the keys to your centralized platform? You see what I'm saying? So you really don't own that crypto, even though your Coinbase says that you got this amount, but you really don't have it because it's not yours. You're using their keys. You see what I'm saying? So you really don't own it. A lot of people don't know how to really trade in crypto and stuff like that. They don't know. Right. You had a whole bunch of people that was with these, uh, what we call up coins, bullshit coins, um, shit coins, as we like to call them, that was trading them things in like uh, Shiva, uh, Dogecoin, all that shit. You know so, what I mean? Like, You know how you said that people are taking their money off the banks or whatever, right? Bank um, runs, yes. But they still have a bank account. They're just not keeping all their money in there. Is that what you're saying? Because they're... They're doing below, way below the 250. Well, people with money, um, they're doing way below the 250. They're pushing it to other things where they can make sure that they get their money back. You know what I mean? What they're not going to keep it in there. Well, yeah, you're not going to get... I mean, let's be real. If the, the, the FDIC maybe got 2% of all the fucking money that's in the bank. If they lucky, if maybe 2%. You know what I mean? I mean... Look at what Sam Beckman freed did. You know what I mean? So are you saying that people are putting their money into trading accounts? Yeah, a lot of people put it into trading accounts, but they mostly put it on money markets. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, And everything, CBs, CDs, you know what I mean? Like everything that's going to make you money. You know what I mean? Like anything that you can flip your money on, that's what most people are doing now. Like even Warren Buffett and he ain't playing the stock market right now. You know what I mean? Like it's a coin. What's that one coin that's doing numbers right now? Uh, oh, what Bitcoin? Huh? Bitcoin? I don't buy um, uh it's a, it's some it's a new it's some new shit that came out like last year and hell of a person on it. No, it ain't Sheba, it's another coin. Damn, I forgot the name. It's another coin. It's not Sheba, it's not Dodge. It's it's what's that? XRP? What is that? XRP, uh, XRP mean. collapsed. So, oh no, I, I, I'll tell you in a second. I went for all my monitors. To, it takes a second because I got like this, these modems that uh, go up. So, like I really want to invest every dollar I got. Like I don't want to want to have cash. I don't want to have nobody in my account. I want all that to just go into. If you got cash, I will go with hard assets instead of uh instead of uh you know uh digital. I mean I could show you how to do crypto. I mean, I don't know if Hocus one, I could show you how you could buy the crypto uh the right way and have your own private keys and stuff like that. And the shit bright as fuck with all these damn monitors, man. There's too many fucking monitors. Yeah, I'm going to boot it up right now. Hold on, I'll tell you. Let me go to my crypto monitor. Why ain't you booting up? Uh, Let me see what's going on here. Damn, this shit is bright as fuck. Let me turn on the light, bro. But this shit too fucking bright. This shit killing my eyes. Oh. That shit too fucking bright. Too many monitors at once. It's all right when you're doing that shit, when you go to sleep and wake up and hit this shit again. Uh, let me see. Oh, yo. Oh. All right, y'all. Yeah, go to Discord. <laughs> Discord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Katie, <laughs> Katie did, did we help change your mind a little bit? <laughs> she let you know at Discord. <laughs> Katie's tired of my bullshit. <laughs> oh man, we're not even playing no music because it's fucking. We've been here almost seven. That's the longest we ever been on here. That's because we got 
I'm be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be transparent. We got over seven hundred dollars in um in super chat tonight, and that's because we had to really tell the community like, yo, y'all gotta support me. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not with this. Like, I'm not a robot. I come on here every night and give y'all content. Y'all niggas gotta keep the lights on. So we got over seven hundred dollars. That's that's <laughs> tomorrow. We back at it, and tomorrow y'all niggas still gotta support every day. If I ain't worth a dollar a day, 50 cent a minute for to you niggas, then I ain't worth shit. So we go on the Discord. Come over to the Discord. I'll put the link in the chat. Katie, come over to the Discord. I'm ask some questions. Sierra, pull up. Yo, you know, you know, sister Amy was the one that called me and woke me up, right? Oh, shout out to Amy. She's, yeah, she's like, wake your ass up, nigga. They asking for you. 